and gentlemen, here we are. Here we go. Friends. Ladies and gents. Right, ladies and gentlemen, today's the day when we find out. We find out, ladies and gentlemen, we find out if it's going to start. Is it going to start, ladies and gentlemen? I hope so. Snacky Jan, how you doing all right? I'm eagerly anticipating the start of this engine, guys. I'm really hoping it starts. I'm really hoping it starts. Come on, Lynette. Ken, how you doing all right? It's very windy, ladies and gentlemen. But it's the big test. Tackle, tackle. Ken, Rick, I've got to put some fuel in the engine. Right, I've got to get some fuel in it, guys. Your guess is as good as mine if this is going to start. Chuckle 2, how you doing? Guys, bear with us. It's got a fair bit of fuel in it. What's that wind like, guys? Can you hear any wind? Roy, how you doing? Michael Jordan, electric start with Wi-Fi start optional. It's a pool start. Jay, how you doing? Danny C, Ollie, boom, boom. Will, hope you spoiled your real like pick I sent. Yes, I did. Sweet corn kid, JF Bard, GJ, how you doing? Oh, hang on, I'm trying to put the petrol cap on the, on the fuel cap. <laughs> not a good start <laughs> guys I'm well anticipating this big Mike S for fan how you doing is it gonna start ladies and gentlemen it's in pristine condition and like I say it's got a wide pack ignition I can't see any external reason why it won't start John Hatton how you doing oh let's get the power on There we go. Right, I'm gonna try and start it. Don't panic, it's hard not to panic, ladies and gentlemen. Right, so I'm opening the fuel on the top. Little bit of wind noise. It should be better when we get up the back there. The teeth are really good, guys. Yeah, really good. Really pleased with it. Right, I'm opening the fuel tap to see if the fuel's coming through. It is. Now we just got to prime the engine, prime the carburetor, see if the primer works. Yeah, it's working. Right, okay. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to try and start it on idle. Was that? Oh, it's Tom. How you doing, mate? All right, big boy. Switch adventures, Lynette. JJ, here we go. Right, I'm gonna try and start it, guys. This is it. Need some sparks, buddy. I know. I'm hoping there's enough in it. It'll probably take a couple at first. how long it's been sat idle for. It's not started yet, guys. There it goes. Just sorting the clutch, setting out a set. Choke.
It's alive! It's alive! Yeah! Never any doubt, ladies and gentlemen. Never any doubt. Come on! Fartbox! Right, this engine is more powerful than Fartbox the first. I've, I've found out. This has got a whole 1 HP more power than Fartbox. So Fartbox had 2 HP. Apparently, these clutch model, 40 plus is still 40 plus, but it's got 3 HP. We'll see how it goes. It's also got 3 arms to the prop. Don't it sound lovely though? It's, oh, <laughs> turn it in, turn it in. Is anyone looking? Oh dear. Right, let's take the anchor off and go for a spin. Because now I've got to see if the prop works. So and squeakingly deep. Right, let's have a look then. Right, I'm gonna set us off. Yeah, we can idle the engine now, ladies and gentlemen. So wing. Chang cha cha chang 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 cha cha chang 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 chang. Right, I think we should go and find some big congas. Ah, bass fishing with Paul, you said you would. Paul, you absolute legend. Bass fishing with Paul. Paul, thank you so much indeed. Let's go for a little jolly. Let's go for a spin. There's some lovely big warships. Oh, hang on, that's the wrong one. There's some lovely big warships over there. I want to go and have a look. I want to take you lot for a guided tour. Bass fishing with Paul, thank you very much. Ah, <laughs> we got a clutch model. Holy Fed, Thomas, Chase, Sparky. It purrs, it purrs. Painted tackle of mate, how you doing? Yeah, this engine's very good, very rare, and in the condition it's in, guys. Oh, you know what I mean? Turn it in. I was a bit worried there when it didn't start first two pulls, but <laughs> she's fired up, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna go and have a look over here. Let me show you what we're gonna go and have a quick look at. It is a bit windy. Cheers, guys. It's It might rain a little bit. Let's go and have a look at them warships. Ladies and gentlemen, those ships of war. Oh, oh right, hang on. Are we under propulsion? We are. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Ship, ahoy, come on, pop box. Yeah! That's only about quarter throttle. It's not gonna nail us around, but it's good enough, ladies and gentlemen. Get it up on the plane. <laughs> I'm gonna get vibration finger from it. <laughs> Made of voyage, ladies and gentlemen. Come on! Pop box! The second. <laughs> Bounce the bow and land on their deck. <laughs> Tom, thank you. And we're away. Martin Dunstan, how you doing all right? Come on! God, it does vibrate quite a bit. Jason Brown, how you doing, Mark Miles? It's there. I do need to put the fore prop on it, though. I think it is a little bit slow to push. But it's okay. Yeah, I'm going to need to get an ex a, a um, extension arm for it. Bring some fishing. Lovely to see you there. The water gets a little bit choppy here. We'll have to be careful. Phil Holgate, how you doing all right? We're gonna have a look at the warships, ladies and gentlemen. Gonna get some splishy splash here, ladies and gentlemen. Holy, holy, ladies and gentlemen. 
a little bit choppy here. Don Foley, lovely to see you joining us here tonight for the maiden voyage of Harper. Oh, it's well vibrating though. I'm going to have to get a handle. Listen to it. Ollie, don't you laugh at Fartbox. <laughs> Fartbox is loving it. <laughs> Come on, Fartbox on the second. Ladies and gentlemen, beautiful. Brasso, Brasso, <laughs> Brasso, Brasso. We'll be punching the tide, I believe, the other way. Thank you, Stephen. We're at Sea Fart Box. People are loving you already. Come on, Fart Box. The inauguration, ladies and gentlemen, the inauguration of Fart Box. It's a little bit choppy, this side of them ships. Well, it's well choppy here. got to be careful, we don't want to get soaked before we get to our final destination. Isabel is there, Lawrence is in the house. It's great, just messing, change gear. <laughs> whoops me, Farmer, the whoops me in. Yeah, they're decommissioned. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to get this close otherwise. I'd already have been shot by the special forces. So yeah, these ships are decommissioned. They look great at night when you move around them. And, and they act like little reefs, you know. You can get round them, you know, so you can fish around them, ladies and gentlemen. You can fish around them. Uh, Carl Gilbert, lovely to see you there. Lovely to see you there. Thank you for joining us here this evening, ladies and gentlemen. They're gonna sink them. No, I don't think they are. Handbrake turn, handbrake turns and everything. Come on, up, up. man the starboard, grab the bow. It's a little bit calmer over here. The Millennium Falcon is slow in comparison. Oh, I know, I know, yeah. They got nothing on fart box, ladies and gentlemen. Nothing on fart box. I'm just going out a bit so we can get a better view of the ships as we come round. Blow up! Up, up! Jackie, how you doing? Up, box two! So it's okay, so one has power tail, other has consumer tail. There's two switch locations, one has power tail, the other has consumer tail. I'm not sure what you mean, Jay. Sorry, I'm not sure what you mean. Can you more up and fish by them? Yeah. Yeah, you can. People do, but I'm not going to. I'm going up the other end. I want a bit more. I want the big eels that are in the channel. Oh, that's a good point, actually, Ollie. <laughs> yeah, there is water flow. Yeah, yeah, it's flowing. There is water. What you don't want is steam. Oh, sorry, Jay, got ya, got ya. Mind you, actually, there's not a lot of water flow. In fact, there is no water flow now. There was a second ago, there ain't any more. Right, hold up, let me stop a sec. Yeah, there's no water coming out of that. There was when I looked initially, but then I looked back again and there wasn't. Then let's, let's let it cool down. I wonder if it needs the water, um, the waterways cleaning out. I knew it was too good to be true, ladies and gentlemen. I just knew it. I knew it had to be too good to be true. 
Let's let it cool down a second and see if... Uh, Does it have water initially? Oh, I hope this ain't gonna do what the last one done. Right, hold up guys, let me just drop an anchor for a second. Oh, the good thing is we can start this one in gear. So we might have to fish here for the night. We might have to fish here for the night. So yeah, it might need the waterways cleaned out, ladies and gentlemen. If it was an impeller problem, I'd be able to fix this one because it hasn't got the same bolt as the last one. Let me just anchor us up here a minute. It's funny, the second you said is there water, I looked round and there was a good flow and then it just stopped. It was weird. So I'm hoping when I start it again, that would suggest there's something maybe going round inside that gets wedged, but now I've stopped it, we'll see what happens. And I can start this one under clutch anyway, which is all right, where's the... Ah. Ooh, the excitement. <laughs> you can say, oh yeah, sorry, you guys are all right. Get out the way. Right. Be a shame if that's blocked. <coughs> It'll be a nightmare, ladies and gentlemen. It'll be an absolute nightmare, will it, ladies and gentlemen? Is the live chat on? There it is. Sorry, guys. Don't work. Congrats on new engine. What's her name? It's Fartbox the second. Right. I'll just let it cool down and then try and start it. Well, start it in idle again and see if. The water flows. It was flowing initially. Well, I don't know why it stopped. I don't think it was the red. Oh, I don't really want to fish here for the night. It's cut full of eels, little eels. Damn engines, well, they can be troublesome. Teething, hopefully, mate. Yeah, it's all right. Did you not run it in a bucket first? No, David, I, I actually on purposely ran it here because I wanted you guys to see it, you know, for, for all it was, you know? So any issues we had would be live. You know, I didn't want to run it in a bucket and, you know, this makes it more real. You know, it's one of them things. It's one of them things I will, I mean, it probably just needs the waterways cleaned out. Possibly, I mean, we'll have a look. We won't have a look now. Oh, hang on. Oh no, I haven't got the kit with me. I was just saying I could have done it here, but I ain't got it with me. Yeah, all of the bolts are good, so it'd be an easy job if that's what it needs. It's peeing out there. Yeah, the water's running perfectly, look. But it, when I looked around a minute ago, it stopped. Yeah, it's flowing beautifully now. Like I say, got round inside and just stuck for a moment. But that's flowing perfectly there now. I don't know if you can see it on there, but it's, it's weeing, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, John, something obstructing the inlet. That's what I was thinking. I turned it off and now it's... It might take whatever it is a moment to get up and round. But we'll see. I'll stick it in gear. We'll motor off again. But it's running perfectly now. Can't see any reason up why it would, you know, heat up and then stop. Or when I put it in gear and stop. How rude. Should we crack on? I think we should. Right, ladies and gentlemen. We got conger eels to catch, and not long in the tide. Must have been sat for a long time. Well, no, they said they had it out last, the week before I brought it. Righty, thank you so much, you DJ Legends. Right, I've got a lot of anchor to pull up here, because this is quite deep here. Yeah, it's flowing lovely now.
come on for box and we got fish to catch. I've still got to get to know this engine, you know. If there's a famous stat, it won't pump all the time. Oh, I don't know then. No, these don't have a thermostat. They're not that modern. They ain't got none of that modern malarkey in it. <laughs> it ain't got none of that modern malarkey, my friends. This is a, a war engine for the war effort. Right, here we go. Take two. <laughs> Gentlemen, looking good. Yes, all right. Right, we're off to see the wizard. Pull on the ball into the ball. Come on, far box. My guess is the blues are connected to the brown. Somewhere in the middle. Just don't cut the blue wire. <laughs> don't cut the blue one, Jay, or whatever you do. Right, you'll have a little bit of wind interference because the wind is blowing into the wind song. We are flying. Absolutely flying, ladies and gentlemen. Look at the speed. We're going so fast that it doesn't look like that boat is moving. But I think the fart box will handle it easily. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna plow it. We're gonna plow it, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Oh, no problem for fart box. We're just out on the open here, the open water, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, fart box. Oh yes, fishing pants though, yes, yes the wake is tipping the ship. Could the same with the harbour, I'm still speeding in the harbour. <laughs> yeah, we got to watch out. We'll have an escort in a minute. <laughs> Lovely evening down there for a boat ride. I'm chucking it down. Yeah, they said it might rain here tonight actually. It's a bit of a risky one here tonight. We might get away with it. Or we might get a a, a light shower. Turn it in, <laughs> water ski on the back of that. <laughs> Come on, Bob Fox. Thank you, Nick the Fish. Thank you so much. Long time no chat. Any dolphins are surfing the wave. <laughs> ah, they love it, they say. The dolphins are loving it. Hold up. Great, that warship in the background. Look at the disruption of the sea as we motor forth. Absolutely outstanding. Bit of sunset, ladies and gentlemen. Don't mind if we do. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. There it is. Bit of sunset, bit of warship. I hope so, Oli. Hopefully. Come on! Come on! 
what, let's get you back round the other way. No, there's no mackerel at, oh well, there's mackerel in the channel on the big boats. Huge undulations. <laughs> Massive undulating waves. You're getting chased down by the ship. I know, Jay, they just can't catch us. We've left them behind now, my friend. We've left them behind. Come on! Come on! Right, we've got to watch out for the shallow water. Do I have brakes? <laughs> no, I do a handbrake turn in it and it's stuck like this. And then we sort of stop. Here we go, she's running like a sewing machine now, bless her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it does sound very, very similar, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I was worried when that water cut out, though, for a second there. But running a dream now. PPE in Vendor's needed, yeah. Well, the great thing is we can idle it as well. It's just ideal. Absolutely ideal. But I need to get a, um, a tiller arm. A tiller arm extension. Massive undulating waves. I'm hoping it's not going to be too bad where we're going. For the breeze, ladies and gentlemen. That breeze. Come on, Bobbox! We're on our way. Bobbox number two is on its way. Bobbox has a twin. Jackie owns the twin. Come on! Bobbox! Libertarian minded. Yeah, because they're our own. Massive. Undulating waves. Are those ships always anchor? Do they still move about? And then with my engine, well, it was just a bit of weed. Clear, nice. Never done it again. Suck something up. Right, I see. Yeah, no, yeah, no. One of the ships is always there. The other one's just been put there. So they're decommissioned. Uh, yeah, I'm not entirely sure what happens to them. Lowered their sails in respect. <laughs> Gee, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> they have lowered their sails in respect of the <laughs> approaching fire <fog. coughs> It's got some smoke coming out of that. Mind you, it's not smoking like the other fire box did. It more just smells, you know, too smoky. Fire box actually smoked like a trooper. There's actually no smoke coming off of this one. I think the smoke off a of fart box was probably burning old smoke in the in the in the pipes and that. But this one's running a trip. You'll get the customary 24 fart smooths. <laughs> Come on, bubble. We might be fishing. Some slightly dodgy water here tonight. Might be a little bit choppy. Ollie, thank you. She's sounding so sweet and, and consistent as well. The engine, the sound is consistent, which I'm really pleased. Really pleased with it. But I might get a four prop for it though. It's not the one that's on there. It's got a three prop on there at the moment. The four props are quite a bit bigger and give you a little bit more push. How much HP on that bad boy? I think it's rated at 3 HP. 3 HP. But what they were designed for was to push weights rather than speed. So they could push really big sort of boats. So they're not very fast, but they'll, they'll get you there <laughs> and push an awful lot of weight. Designed for the war efforts. Come on, Farpont! Oh, I'm pushing it a bit now, giving it a bit more. I don't want to put it full thrust too soon. You know, warming it up, 
seeing what we can get out of it. I'm giving it a little bit more throttle now. We are on our way, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to find some fish. So it does choke out if I give it too much. But it's O A O K. 50cc scooter that I had 3 HP with a top speed of 35. Oh wow! Wicked man. Here's the propeller on backwards. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Possibly. Well, are we going in reverse, ladies and gentlemen? Now, you can't put the propellers on here backwards on these. It's not possible. Because the clip that holds it in it is designed to be clipped in one way. Oh, Steve, see, you absolute legend. Let me see if I can give you a heart. Actually, I'll see if I can like it. Steve, I'm not going to try and heart it at the moment because it might end the live. But Steve... Fishing is buffering. I think Mike is buffering. Are we all buffering now, guys? Have we lost the live? Are we okay? Are we still live, guys? Oh, okay. All right, wicked. All right, hopefully it'll come back in a minute. It won't be too bad. Cheers, guys. We'll keep going on. We'll keep pushing on. Thank you, guys. Thank you, John. Cheers, guys. We shall push forth. The machines of war are trying to cause a buffer. They will not stop us. Thank you, Snacker Chad. Picture is pixelated. Oh. Rainy but still live. Oh, hopefully it'll come back in a minute. Alright, guys. Is there anyone watching who's got a clear picture? Portsmouth Sea Fishing, lovely to see you there. Alright, hopefully it'll clear up in a minute. Fishing pets don't go well. Lovely, jubbly. Kenny D is in the house. Absolutely fantastic. It's going too fast for the signal, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> It'll be okay when I stop. Okay, hopefully. Hopefully, ladies and gentlemen. We shall see how it goes. We're on our way. The camera can't keep up with the intense speed of car <laughs> It's absolutely magic. Come on, pop, pop. Oh, the radar, yeah. Yeah, possibly. Possibly the radar, ladies and gentlemen. Can I ask why you don't fish the pilings you are passing? They must have conger in them. Yeah, they might do. But they might not. <laughs> And it's right in the shipping lane. So there's a little like lane passage to the right of me here. I'd rather go up the back here where I know they are, you know, where I know they are. Bumblebee, Bumblebee tuna. Sounds like a swarm of bees in the motor. <laughs> Come on, Bumblebee, Bumblebee. Come on, Bumblebee. Philip Brown is in town. Right, we are making a very good progress, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, pop on. You can do it. Let's 
like can vibrate it with fart box. Yeah, possibly. It's all right. When we get to the mark, hopefully it'll be all right. Sorry, guys, I can't see it on here at the moment. It might might be the cab or we hit a little bit of seaweed there, ladies and gentlemen. I love it. I love it, ladies and gentlemen. I love it. Right, we're making good progress, ladies and gentlemen. It might be a little bit lumpy here tonight, you know. Might be a little bit lumpy. I'm just going to go up a little bit further, guys. Bubble bear tuna. Bubble bear tuna. Bubble fire box noise is exactly what it sounds like. When the wife is moaning at me. <laughs> oh, dear God. <laughs> Uh, hopefully she's not watching. <laughs> Bubble bear tuna. Bubble bear tuna. <laughs> Bubble bear tuna. I mean, it does take you forever to get there on farmers, but it's good fun. Now we are travelling at the speed of light. Yeah, it must be vibrating or something through the. Then the engine is vibrating a lot more than the other one did. The other engine didn't vibrate like this one. It's all that extra power. All right, Steve, hopefully we'll see you again soon. Hopefully we'll see you again soon. Right, I can see the buoy that we want, ladies and gentlemen, over the back there. We are making our way towards it. Making our way that's a war thing. Come on, Farmbox! Come on! Right, I can see the one we want, ladies and gentlemen. Oh hang on, there might be a bloke on that boat. And he might I think he lives on it. We'll have to see, we might have to move a bit later. Prop not balanced properly, yeah, causing the extra vibration. Yes, yeah, definitely vibrating a lot more than the last one did. Oh, it's not a boat on the back of it, it's an engine. Oh, we should be all right here then. Right, bear with us, ladies and gentlemen. Easy peasy, person in yachts. Bear with us. Bear with us. That don't matter. Right, bear with. Proper warship, yeah. The Prince of Wales, is that the one? There's a, a bear with you. I know, sweet cooking. Well, bear with me. <laughs> bear with me, and we'll be fishing soon. Hopefully the wind ain't too bad because it's going to pull us round, so it might be freezing. Um, right, let's stop the engine a sec. Martin, how you doing all right? Right, guys, has the screen settled down? Can you see? Is it clear? Are we okay now? Please, please be clear. Please. <coughs> Is it all right? It's better. Yeah, is it good though? Good picture, really clear, wicked. That's what I wanted to hear. Right, ladies and gentlemen. Veronica's on for a jolly. There it is.
paint and tackle, it's not clear for you. It's not clear paint, and is that right? Well, you've not got a clear picture. I'm sorry to hear that. Is there anyone else it's not clear for? I want the majority of you to enjoy it at least. Oh, it's perfect. Okay. Guys, thank you, sweet. All right, wicked. Right, we got pilchards. We got mackerel. We've got a brand new big box of squid. And we've got a little box of squid. It's perfectly clear, wicked. Mwah, mwah. Right, we're gonna we're gonna get sorted here, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna set up. Right, let's just sort some bits out here. Right, just bear with me, guys, while I get everything ready. The mouth's feeling good, honestly, brilliant. It's weird because I was expecting loads of uh, some aching from it, but there was nothing. Oh, let's get. John's logo up the front because he was kind enough to donate his hat to us so it's fine pictures okay wicked well that just basically means you're going to see the big old fish come out that we're going to catch here yeah it's smooth on season no I'm after big congas we might catch a, a smooth on the baits we're laying down if we're into the harbour but big congas we we're after here right let's have a go I mean, when I say big congas, the size of what you can get here is ridiculous. Like, really big. So, we're going to have a go. Right, let me just get set up, guys, while it's daylight. Right, talk amongst yourselves. Go and get yourselves a coffee. Go and make yourselves a coffee, a cup of tea, a cup of char, ladies and gentlemen. A cup of char, a bite on custard. <laughs> What, you're eating a custard sponge there, are eh? It's going to get chilly here tonight. The temperature's going to drop to eight, uh, nine degrees. That's pretty chilly, but it's doable. You know, that nine degrees is respectable. It's respectable. Right, I'm getting this set up, guys. Right, we got, we're here at the perfect time tonight. So what happens is when the tide turns to go out, the first couple of hours, that's the best time. Oh yeah, well spotted, yeah. Popo, checking out what all that noise was, yeah. Yeah. They're watching, ladies and gentlemen, they're watching. I know they're watching, because once upon a time, I was, on, I was winding them up. And I sat here going, look at them, I bet they're watching. And one of them came out on the back of the boat and went, we are watching. <laughs> we were live as well when it happened. So I know they're watching. And that's good for keeping safe in the harbour as well. Because if I have a problem, they might be able to help. They might be able to assist. David Tyke and Fishing, how are you doing? You all right? Lovely to see you there. I've got my radio with me, but I haven't got it turned on at the moment. I like to save the battery in it in case I need it. Turning, here they come. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a shark stalking, getting closer and closer, coming in, incoming. Don't look at them guys, if we don't look at them, they're not there, all right? So just pretend you can't see them and we'll be okay, all right? They're coming, <laughs> look how close he is there. Oh, oh, an announcement there. Oh, hang on. Everybody fart box is there. Give them a wave. Yeah, they're waving back. They're all right. We love them, really, ladies and gentlemen. We love them. Right, we've got some squid bait going in, guys. We've got some squid bait going in. Right, here we go. Let's get it in. Hopefully we'll be keeping them company through the night. Leg it, <laughs> leg it. <laughs> Quick, leg it. No, you know, I, I've got to leave them with the impression that their boats can outrun fart box. You know, otherwise we might offend them and we don't want to offend them, do we? You know, because uh, 
we don't want to show them up by zooming off on Farbox, you know, when they've got like V12 supercharged engines on their boats. God, blimey, that's a strong old gust of wind. Oh, guys, we've waited so long. Glenn Pellet, how you doing, mate? Lovely to see you there. If they're watching the live on the boat, they are, Matt. They are watching the live. They really are. They genuinely are. Yeah, no, they genuinely do watch. We know they do. Like I say, they came over earlier on. Not earlier on. They came over last time we were here, well, one time when we were here. And they did that and went past. And I was on here going, I bet they're watching. They just want to show, uh, uh, show themselves off. And he came out and went, we are watching. <laughs> but like I say, it's good to have them watching in the harbour because if something goes wrong, you know, and they've got to sit on them boats all night, man. It must be, you know, it's a great job and everyone's envious of it. But, you know, can you imagine staying on a boat all night when there's not a lot going on? You know what I mean? You got me rolling, Jay. They see me rolling. It was last, about September last year they were watching. Thank you. I'll be going to, we got the first rod ready to go. Pennell rigs, ladies and gentlemen. We're in a better spot here tonight and we're pointing the, the, um, the, um, the deepest part of the water. What was that? <gasps> oh, I reeled that in a bit too far. Right, let's get baiting. I'm watching you while I build boat rods. Nice. Ollie Bidley, how you doing? I, um, the Warrior webcam, if you go on to that now, if it's on, you'll probably be able to see me because it pans around in the daylight. And if it's panning, if it's on, you'll be able to see me on the Warrior webcam. Right, let's get the first bait down. It might not take long to go. Just starting off with squid baits at the minute. Oh, it's not working. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Typical. Right, so there's a bit of weed going through here. A bit of seaweed. We're going to get that in the harbours at the moment because we're heading for the May rot. So this seaweed will head out the harbour into the ocean, break down, and then it will start to regrow and create a May rot. So the old stuff dies, breaks down into its small, you know, particles, and then they start to grow and expand. You get the May rot and the new growth. Uh, Will, you are drifting, or are you drifting on an anchor? We're drifting, well, no, we're at, we're at anchor, we're tied off. We're tied off. But we're swinging round in the wind. That's the problem with a sib, you know. It's, well, it's not a problem. Yeah, you know, it's frustrating because you're all over the place swinging, but we're approaching, we're very close to the, the turning of the tide as well. There's several turns of the tide in the Solent when you're on the water. And we're very close to the one that's going to be pointing us towards the harbour mouth, which is good. That's what we want. The globules. The globules. Four, two, zero, started. Yellow. Oh, yellow. Oh, what is in? Yellow. <laughs> yellow. You know, hello will do. <laughs> well, hello works. <laughs> Yellow. I thought he was giving us a bit of cold play then, and it was our oh, yellow. Scorby Ken, lovely McJubbly. A lovely McJubbly. Right, we're getting the second bait in. It's a squid bait. I've got to keep an eye on that rod. I took my eyes off that for a long time then. And we know. Oh, I've got to sort the power pack out as well and move it. I'll have to do that like urgently. Right, let's just get this second rod in. Right, bear with me, guys. Let's get this second rod cast in. A 
and then I've got to sort that power box out. There's a few spider crabs showing. I'm starting to see pop up on people's fishing feeds now. This is notorious for them. Now, if the weather settles a bit, we'll see the bites. We'll see the bites. Yeah, I saw that like a seal. Hello, how are you, Kooky? How are you doing? I'm very well, mate. I'm very well. We're back on Fire Box. We've got quite a lot of fuel in the box that was given with Fire Box. Right, now I've just got to sort the power box out, guys. Bear with me. I've got to move it so it's up top. Up top, Girl Scouts. There's a woman in America with Tourette's, and that's all she does. Up top, Girl Scouts. It's really annoying. Right, let's get the power box up here. Oh. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, I've got to wire the light as well, haven't I? Forgot about that. I really should get like some sort of switch system for the light. Let me just check the light. 207 likes, guys. Oh, sorry, 100 likes. And 200 likes now, ladies and gentlemen. You absolute superstars. Right, let's check the lights working. For when we need it. We don't need it just yet. So I thought I heard something go there. More dinghy action, GTA, love it. Next fishing trip is going to be target mackerel with feathers. Nice, nice. Uh, is that the right, right way around? Yeah, light's going to work when I get a minute to sort it out by the look of it. There it goes. Yeah, I just have to sort it out in a bit. I won't do it yet because there's still enough light here. But that's good, the light is going to work. What light you got on the boat? Different to the beach, yes, different to the beach. I'll show you, I've got a spare one here. So I can actually pick it up and show it to you. So the lights I use on the boat is one of these. So I have that light pointed at me. It's separate, this is a spare. So I drilled a hole in the front of my power box and that sits in the front of it facing me when I'm on the sib. It's a motorbike light, so it's, I think it's called a Hawkeye, a Hawkeye light or something like that. And you wire it into the fairings of your motorbike and down to the battery. Well, I drilled a hole in my power box. And then what I do is with that inside the power box facing me, I just pull the wire out the top and put the two wires onto the battery. Because when I had it in the box, um, this end here, when you wiggle it about, this breaks and frays. So I, when stuff damages it, so I just loosened it up and then I have it in there loose. But yeah, it's one of them. You can get blue ones, red ones. I'm not sure what color this one is, but it's just a backup until we get home if one breaks. You know, it might be red or it might be blue, but it's just a backup. Right, we're good. We are fishing. It might rain. Uh, it shouldn't rain a lot. Ken and Fen are in again. <laughs> Wicked. Fitted three of those to my battery box, if you remember. Right, sweet corn. Right, yeah. So yeah, same, same batteries. Same thing. Right, here we go then, ladies and gentlemen. We're just gonna sit here for an awfully long time until some fish bite on our rods. Can you see them? If I have it like that. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. 
We are here for the night. Glenn Pellet is the legend. He is in the house, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that's actually quite a good view there. Look at that ship in the background. It looks great, doesn't it? That's, hopefully that's, you know, we're still pointing at when it gets dark. But with the wind and the tide constantly moving in the harbour, we'll probably spin round. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping to see some bream bites here tonight. You know, it'd be nice if we could snag a bream. And then I can give it to Ian, <laughs> South Coast Drones, because he loves them. But yeah, we'll see if we can get some conger reels. Ship's broken again, Skeet. Yes, that one is, I believe. I'm not entirely sure, but I think there is a problem with it. Pain and tackle and bait, lovely picture now. Good, I'm glad to hear that. I was concerned when it became apparent that you might not be able to see. But here we are. In the summer, this will be really good fun. Darren Lister, how you doing all right? Lovely to see you there, Stephen Merchant. Guys, lovely to see you there. Yeah, I mean, we got the freedom of the seas, you know. It's a little bit risky tonight, just... There is a strong westerly wind, and it's gonna get a little bit chilly, but we're okay. It's not gonna get any worse than it is now until midnight. It's all right. It needs a new fart box. Yeah, it does, yeah. No, oh, Queen Elizabeth has the problem. Oh, is that not? So that one there is okay, is it? I'm trying not to point at it. <laughs> Don't want the old, anyone to think we're like, yeah, that's the one. That's the one, get it. <laughs> is one of your patches at the back of the boat coming off? Looks like it's flapping a bit, does it? Where? What, do you mean this? Do you know how deep the water is where you are? Yeah, between 40 and about 80 foot. It might even be deeper than that because they dredged it out for that ship. A few years ago, I could trigger fish. You caught trigger fish, yes. First and last time. They do get them. There are marks where they get them. I don't know where they are. But yeah, they do get them in the Solent. There's a regular mark, they catch them actually in the harbour somewhere, I believe, along with um, Gilted Bream. But I have no idea where that is. Fart box, outstanding. Well done, Fart box, well done. You've done us proud. you got us here. So starting to get dark, getting ready to go. That's what the tents are getting ready. Oh, right. Oh, yeah, I see, right. Ah, oh, wow. You're out on Dunwich Beach, two doggies, three whiting so far. Oh, the whiting is still there. Looks like it's behind your knee. There are no patches there, Mike. I don't know what you're seeing, mate, but it's not a patch. Yeah, Gilt Oats, it's in Langston. Yeah, we're in Portsmouth Harbour here. Yeah, you get them in Langston, and I think they get them around the back of Portsmouth. No, there's no patches on here, mate. I don't know what you're seeing that's flapping about, mate, but it's there's nothing in, there's no patches in view. Nah, unless you're seeing the packet down here flapping about. I think it's your paddle. Oh yeah, it might be the, what, at the end of my foot? Let's see if we can figure out what, what it is. Right, Mike, guide the hand. South Coast Drones, how you doing? Do I move my hand towards the engine or away from it? Left. So is that left to you? Oh, it was my pocket. Oh, it was the bait, there you go. You helped build the carrier at the shipyard in Appledore, Stuart, wow. That's pretty good. An amazing accolade there, well done. Yeah, nice. Bottom left, stick fisherman. Yeah, it was the packet of, the packet of mackerel. Did 
Did she run well? She did, South Coast Drones. Yeah, there was a little hiccup initially. Only a little one, but it was okay. It looked like for a minute, the water wasn't coming out. But I stopped the engine and started it again and boom, shakalak, rude boy. It worked. I think what we've got nowadays is at the time that this engine was built, the expectation for an engine to run spot on was not as high as it is today. So when we take, back in the day when these first come out, when you took it out, you had a few issues with it. It was just one of them things, but you were on the water and your motor and you can fix it. And you go, it's brilliant. In compared to the engines of nowadays and modern human beings with all the tech we've got, once we get an engine with that, it, it, it's, it's deemed as quite a big issue. But if you imagine in the day when they were created, I mean, it still runs today like it did back then without the expectation of a, a 50 HP Yamaha, you know, four stroke, massive big boat engine. You know, these came out during the basic engines. Uh, 43 years old, I believe this engine is, Daz. Do you have a bit more power like you thought? Uh, I'm not sure. It's hard to say, South Coast Drones, until we're on flat car water with no wind. I mean, it pushes us roughly the same as Fartbox. I think I need to get a bigger prop for it. It's got a three-bladed prop on it. I'd like a four-bladed prop. So I'm going to order a four-bladed prop. Fish on angling, my word, how you doing? It's the Morris Minor of the Sea Ski. Exactly right. Do 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 do. Someone asked what anchor I use. A heavy one. A big steel heavy one, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what it is. I don't know if it's a Bruce anchor, is that what they call it? It's that. Is that a Bruce anchor? Anchor. You get a Brucey bonus if you don't drag when you chuck it in the, in the ground. Brucey bonus. But you've got to be careful when you retrieve it. Because if you bring it up like that, pop and down you go. So on the, on the rope, I've got knots tied, so I know how far down it is. And then for the last little bit, I put it away from the boat, up and over. You're not swapping the prop for the old fart box? No, the old fart box is gone. Uh, evening all, and I see you on the sim fishing with Jay. Thank you very much. Has old fart box got a four blade prop you could swap? No. A Danford anchor, then. God help you, I had a Morris Traveller. Ah, you got a five-bladed prop. Oh, nice. That'll be a Silver Sentry you've got then. That won't fit this. So, uh, silver Sentries only, are the only Seagull engine that take the five-blade prop. Um, as far as I'm aware, you can't get a five-blade for a 40 plus. Uh, a big anchor. Does it just look bigger on the camera? It might just look bigger on the camera. It's not massive. Adam S. Ward, how you doing? But it's got to be able to hold this boat fully loaded with a load of mackerel on it <laughs> and my weight and the weight of the kit. So, you know, it's got to be good. How much is a four-bladed prop? I don't know. I have no idea. I haven't looked it up yet, mate. I will have a look, though, and I'll, I'll post it up. We're just dragging round, guys, a little bit. That's what that bend is. But, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I haven't looked at them at the moment. I'm sure spare parts prop on one of those decommissioned chips. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You was going to offer it to me. Thank you. Yeah, no, they, these don't take the five blades. Those are silver sentry blades. These only take uh, two, threes or fours. Unbehavable. Ah, oh, Sib is back. Confirmed. Great to see you back on the water, mate, you legend. Your arm have a bog, bow, 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 b
Right, I'm gonna set the lights up, guys. Unbehavable, you legend, thank you. I'm gonna start the light, get the lights going, and then I wanna do an experiment, ladies and gentlemen. An experiment. I'm gonna start Fartbox while we're static and not moving and see if the vibration still causes an issue as it did when we were moving. Right, hold up guys. Right, which one of them's being a problem? That one. Oh. That one. Yeah, I need to get a better bit of wire on that. Right, bear with me, guys. It's really fiddly. I don't want it flashing because I'm hoping we're not flashing some sort of SOS to that ship, you know what I mean? That wouldn't be good, would it? I need to find some better way of doing this. Oh, come on, that's it then. Oh, it's this one. Being a problem. It's so light on there, though. I don't think that's going to stay like that. Sorry, guys. I need to sort this out as a priority quickly. That's it. There it is. Oh, it's a big old ship there, ladies and gentlemen. Big old ship. Right, guys, what I want to do, I want to start Fartbox up and see if the idling of it when we're sitting still causes the same issue we had earlier. The Roro ship, Brigadier, Ah, Bretta Gnep passenger, Roro cargo ship, wow. Stephen Buckley, lovely to see you there. Thank you for joining us here tonight in the company of Fartbox. Right, hang on, guys. Oh, I nearly got cramp in my leg. Then. Cramp in my leg. So is that, does that cause the screen to vibrate? <laughs> it's only idling, isn't it? No, it doesn't. Wicked. Oh, it's just great, look. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Car box segment. Hang on, that looked like a bite. I think we had a bite then. It is, it is. Guys, get ready, there's something looking at this. It might not be big, but it could be. What way rounds that? Right, I'm going to strike this. I think there's a fish there. 
There was something looking at it. I'll bring it in slow. There is. Oh, big undulating wave. Oh, has he let go? Oh, we're caught around the wire of this one. There was something there then. Hang on, is he on? No, he's let go. Let's just have a look at it. Oh, we had a fish there. Let's just look at the bait. Oh, is that caught round there again? Right, the bait's okay. Let me get it back in. Just check this one. No, that one's all right. Right, we had a bite there, ladies and gentlemen. We had a bite there. What I'm going to do, I'm going to stick a bit more bait on this. Because we got a lot of bait with us. So we might as well use it. So bear with me, guys. Well, I just get a little bit extra bait on it. I haven't gone with massive hooks today. Sometimes when I'm doing this here, I use really big hooks. But I just want to try with some that are not so big. I think they're two holes. They were adequate, you know, they were right. Right, I'm going to get a pilchard on here. The pilchard's been quite popular recently. It's made a good show. Right, bear with me, guys. So, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut this into two bits, this pilchard. So, from the tail, I'll go in and just cut down and then if I can go through the head and well what that does is it keeps the gills in one side well both sides so I've got the, the it's in two bits we've got the gills here and the gills there they're full of blood and the congas go absolutely berserk for it so now I'm going to whip that on well, to be honest, everything goes to berserk for it down here. I know the big congas are about. I want a 30 pound conger eel, ladies and gentlemen. Older engines will outrun the newer ones all day, Tim. Yeah, they're beautiful. I love them. Hayley, how you doing? Sorry if I miss anyone coming in. I love the seagull engines. They are so simple to run. They're not everyone's cup of tea on you again in the background uh, are they yeah yeah then <laughs> i'm not looking i'm not looking if you don't look i can't i can't see them i can't see them. um they're not everyone's cup of tea because you know they're they're not a modern engine and they they don't run perfectly they just don't you, you get a few issues with them but i love the nostalgia that, that comes with them i love them i love a seagull engine they're absolute quality That's just us drifting round, guys. Yeah, we're drifting right round. Massive waves on the way. Oh yeah, yeah, well spotted. Thank you. Let's just lift that up so we can drift round. Thank you. Yeah, massive undulating waves, ladies and gentlemen, right there. Massive undulating waves. <laughs> right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get this other rod back in. Pilchards and squid. Beautiful cast. Beautiful cast. The water's really clear. I mean, considering the wind we've had recently, the water is crystal clear. I mean, I know that sometimes that's not great. You want a bit, you know, a bit of colour to it. But this is all right. It's usually like this in the harbour, actually. 
and that's why we see the bait balls so clearly when they're in. Just give that deck a wipe. You'll have to forgive me guys, I, I've got to pay a lot of attention to what I'm doing on the boat in this harbour and just keeping an eye around me and that generally as well. As I'm sure you understand. Oh hang on, let's move that back. No, I don't have one down for small fish, no. Not yet, we're still just getting used to being back on it at the moment. We're still just getting used to being back on it. Oh, there's the spinny. Let's see if I can get you back up there a bit. Get the spinnaker in, there we go. Uh, 12 pound with 2.99 post, I've sent it to you. A four bladed prop, oh! Uh, hopefully it's a four bladed prop for the 40 plus clutch model Big Mike. You've got to write the right one in and not just write seagull engine four bladed prop because there's a lot of seagull engines and they won't all fit each other so it's got to be for the 40 plus. But thank you for that. I will take a look and if it fits the 40 plus, fantastic news. It's a good price. Bayball is the best, unbehavable. They are. And we'll be seeing them here. We'll be, as you guys know, we'll be seeing them at some point. We will be seeing them. Ladies and gentlemen, hopefully we'll be seeing some lovely big old fish here tonight as well. I did have a bite a minute ago. It was going. I don't know how long it was going for. I didn't have the rod on my leg like this. So I didn't, I didn't see it. I didn't see it until the last minute. But it's absolutely magic out here, ladies and gentlemen. Any rays come out last night? I had to go, no, nocturnal, no. I always write, or, or I try to write in the description what I've had. So in, when I've finished, if you go into the video the next day and just read the description of the video, you'll probably find out what we had. So I've written the description, it tells you what we had. It does say for a 40 plus. There you go, Big Mike. All right, then it, then it will fit Fartbox, the second. 388 people in the chat, guys. Wow. 268 likes, guys. Do smash that like button, guys. Don't be shy. Come on, then. <laughs> smash the like button. Show how much you love a bit of sim fishing, ladies and gentlemen. It gives me more oomph to get it out every time. That little kick up the backside we need, knowing that people love it. Because I love it. I love it. Bit risky tonight. They, they forecast light rain, but I'm prepared for it. I've brought a, oh, hang on. Oh, it's in my pocket. I brought a plastic cover for the power pack and we'll just have to put something over the phone if it rains. Won't be easy, but we'll see what we can do. No fish just yet, but we've had a bite. I could bring the other bait in as well, actually, and get a bit of mackerel on it. I might just bait up the other one with a bit of mackerel as well, guys. Coolio, Coolio, legends, ladies and gentlemen, legends. We're having a go. We're having a go. That's all we're doing. We're not doing nothing wrong. We're not doing nothing wrong, we're just having a go. Seeing what we can find, you know. Seeing what we can find. We nearly found a fish a second ago. I'm just debating whether or not to open that mackerel. I think I should. Let's get a mackerel bait on as well, along with this sardine one, because mackerel bait's always done us good. Hasn't it, fart box? Yeah. Right, let's get a mackerel bait on, ladies and gentlemen. 285 likes, you legends. Let's get a mackerel on. See what we can find. It's nice when you've had a rod down for a while, you reel it in and suddenly find you've got something you more, you, humongous pulling back on the other end of it. Let's have a little look. 
by the crab maybe. Oh, there's an eel. We've got a conga. Well, there you go. Exactly like that, ladies and gentlemen. Exactly like that. It's not humongous, but it's an eel. It's a start. We've got a conga. Oh, is he? Oh, I thought he'd come off then. Right, let's get the kit ready to take him off. Right, little strap conga here. Got to be careful, obviously, on the balloon. Right, we've got our first fish, strap conga eel, ladies and gentlemen. Let me turn that light off for you. We're in conga juice time. <laughs> we want them slightly bigger than this one. Oh, oh, he nearly went over then. Thought we was gonna lose it. Right, gotta make the hook safe priority. Oh, cheeky, cheeky, cheeky. There he is, ladies and gentlemen. First fish, first blood for fart box. One man, one boat, two rods and fish on deck. There you go, life goals. <laughs> there you go. We want one considerably larger. Thank you, Lynette. Fish count one congreal so far. Let's get him back in. I'm gonna see if I've got a bigger set up here before I put this one back. What have we got in here? We ain't really. Didn't I bring a bigger setup? What's that one? No. Oh, I forgot my rigs. Let's have a look in here. Oh, that's just the drag dropping down to the seafloor there. Let's just see if I've got anything in here. We don't. Oh, we are. Oh, that'll do. Is that a pen or a single? A single. Mm. Right, I'm going to change this rig because we don't want to be pulling them straps up. Thank you, guys. Hey, love it. Right, we want to get it back down there quick. Now, I didn't realise that fish was on and we had a bite on the other rod, so it could be busy, you know. Remember last time we were here, it was crazy for the first part and then it went all quiet. So I want to capitalise while we've got fish down below us. So bear with me guys. The priority here is a 30 pound conger eel. We've got to, we want to land a big, well, let's, let's not go too big. We, a double figure conger eel, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, anything else could pick the baits up. You know, there's several species in the harbour. I know there's smooth hounds here as well. I saw one, someone put a post up yesterday. They caught a smooth hound and I recognise the floor that they were standing on. And it tells me there's smooth hounds in Ports Portsmouth Harbour. So let's... Yeah, there was gravel and sand. <laughs> they were standing on gravel and sand. It was definitely Portsmouth Harbour. <laughs> right, let's get this boat weight off of here. Right, I'm gonna do a proper setup here quick, guys, with mackerel and squid. Forgive me if I'm not in the chat constantly, guys. I just want to get, I want to get us into the big fish. We, we don't get a lot of opportunity to get on the sib at the moment, and who knows when we'll be back out on it again. So we want to make the most of it while we're here now. So I'm going to be focusing quite a lot on getting these baits in, but also keeping an eye on that rod. Can you, yeah, you guys can see that. Keep an eye on that rod for me, guys, if it goes. Uh, Paul the Blue Birds, lovely to see you there, guys. Skeet, Dean, Nick the Fish, lovely to see you all in the chat. Right, where's that other squid? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the other sardine on, the other pilchard, sorry. Let's go with the other pilchard as, as I've got it cut anyway. So pilchard and squid sink, ouch, ouch, straight through the finger. Right, we're going to put the pilchard and squid on. It's a single look. Now, with this bait, because it's a single look at the front and a lot of fish at the back, we, we might see lots of bites, you know, but so it, it will look frustrating on the screen because you'll be, there's bite, it's biting, it's biting, and we keep missing it, and, and it might lead to, oh, blunt hooks, you've got blunt hooks, and oh, you're not hooking it right. But the, the problem will be the rest of the bait. What we need is a big enough fish to come in and just slam that entire bait, and when he does, you'll know. So I'll slowly work the fish in on this bait. 
uh, as and when it goes. We will land it, we will land a fish on it. It's a perfect bait for a big fish. And it avoids the um, panel deep hook, so I prefer that. We don't want to catch them little congas all night, so I'm changing one of the baits to a big hook. So we can hopefully avoid too many straps. We'll definitely get them on that rod that's in there. But hopefully the only fish we'll land on this will be a decent one. Right, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it back in. We'll have a better cast on this rod as well. It's a shorter panel snood rather than the running leisure. Oh yes, that's better. There we go, right, then I'm gonna wipe the deck of juice. So it's a lot to do on the old deck of the boat. You've gotta be careful. Right, let's just wipe this deck down. Get those hooks safe as well, actually. Let me just make these hooks safe. Take the bait off and then put the hooks in the bucket. So I've got to do this quickly before one of them other rods goes. So I don't have to chuck these down somewhere quick to deal with a rod. So let's just get all the juice off it. There we go. And then make this rig safe. Priority, get the hook safe, obviously, on our balloon. Right, there we go. Wipe the deck. We don't want a slippery deck. Right, we're good. We are, in my opinion, in, at the best part of the tide here, when we're pointing that way. We're not, well, we're not quite there yet, but almost. It's the wind probably keeping us in line. The tide will win as it starts to rush out, but it's only small tides, so it might not quite have the power to push us against the wind. But when you've got the spinnaker behind you, it's a good time to be fishing here because the tide, the, the um, water's at the right state for the big congas. That's, we've always had them when the tide turns in that direction. But I want to get those rod tips in as well, it's difficult. Here we go. Absolutely fantastic, ladies and gentlemen. Word Slinger, Danny Crane, lovely to see you there. Gamekeeper and Fishing Adventures, how you doing? Evening all. Lovely to see you joining us here tonight. Oh, 300 likes, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. Oh, what's going on there? Oh, I've tapped the light. I shouldn't have looked at that light for so long then. There it goes. It's gonna conk out on us, isn't it? You can see it playing up. Ladies and gentlemen, 300 likes. Thank you very much indeed, you absolute legends. You absolute superstars. SB UK69 Tightlines team. Thank you so much indeed. Snacky Jan is there, Lynette is there. You guys are lovely, wonderful, fantastic. The moderators of Local Marks Fishing, ladies and gentlemen, absolutely outstanding. Feels like saluting. There you go. Saluting. Anything big yet? Craig, very specific question, isn't it? <laughs> Turn it in, mate. We've caught fish, we've saved the blank. We haven't had nothing massive, but we're on the water and we're having fun. Never mind the big stuff. The big stuff's on its way, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully, you know, hopefully. The saluting solution, yes. The saluting solution, ladies and gentlemen as we wait for, well, I mean, you can get tippy tappy here, but you can also get one hell of a big old screaming run from these big congas. 
So, you know, we could get a very nice surprise while we're sat here, ladies and gentlemen. Our Great White Racing officials in the house, LC350 joins us too. Lovely to see you guys join us here this evening down by the water. Well, we're not by the water, ladies and gentlemen. We're on it. We're on it, ladies and gentlemen. We're on it like Sonic. Fair enough, get one of those beast congas that will pull your boat around. That's what we're hoping for, Craig. That's what we're hoping for. And it's well possible, you know, it might happen. It might not, it might not. You know, the big congas were here a couple of months ago and I know the big netters are pulling them in. So they are about, and, and where you can't fish the arbor for them or net it, you know, through the channel, there's usually big old congas sat in there. Nigel Brown, how you doing? Hi, Will, I hope you're okay, mate. Ted the cat is enjoying the show again. <laughs> oh, Nigel, hello, Ted, you are right. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, 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 meow. I'm very well, mate, I'm back on the water. We've got a bit of a tricky landing when we leave here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Low tide is two o'clock. Sir Will, in his natural habitat, unbehavable. Absolutely, absolutely outstanding. I love it. When we land, that it's going to be low tide. So we've got a bit of a tricky landing. We either land on low tide and drag it all the way up the pontoons, or we try and sit it out for a bit and wait until there's a bit of water on the on the slipway or to, so we can make it to the smaller pontoon. We'll have a look when we get back. But yeah, I believe low tide is around half, half two. Snacky will uh, seems a chipper getting tooth out. Finally, lightly out. Yes. Yeah, it did. That, I was, it was hell on earth, guys. I was having to pretend that everything was fine while we were doing live shows, while I was sat there in agony. But now it's gone. It's gone. It's good. It's hard to put on a good show when you are have a toothache. But we've done it, ladies and gentlemen, you know, because we love it. Kayak Dangler, lovely to see you there. You all right? Hold my beer. Do you eat any of your fish? Yeah, I do. Yeah. You, you will be around, sure, around 6 a.m. then, Will, with these tides. No, because they're neap tides. If it was a spring tide, yes, because the water would be right out, but they're neaps. So it should hit the pontoon pretty quickly. But we'll see when we get back. You might be right, Ski. You, you may well be right, but they are neaps. That's why I'm here, because they're neaps. So there is a chance we won't have to wait too long. For, I'm just going in to have a look now again. Uh, High tide in one hour, thereabouts. Low tide, half two. Yeah, 2.4. So it's the highest of the neeps. Hi Will, Richie D, lovely to see you there. Firebox two is very good. Ran absolutely like a dream, got us out here perfectly. Perfectly. Uh, is my brightness all right on here? Let's have a look how much brightness. Oh, it's right up. And we're still charging, which is good. Let's just clear that. There we go, we're good. Right, so we're just waiting for some more tippy-tappy, ladies and gentlemen. Or a screaming run. The Sea Angler Classic competition this year. Top prize is a new boat outfit. Anyone on a boat in the Solon has a chance to win. Yeah. Yeah, no. I won't be doing that. <laughs> I won't be doing that. No, you, yeah. Anyone on with a boat has a chance to win, but they ain't going <laughs> to. Now, you need a proper boat out there to win that. You want to be getting into the big blonde race and the, all the big stuff. Very specific, that competition as well. The rules. I, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't enter it myself. Not that there's anything wrong with it, but it's all the rules. I just, yeah, I couldn't, I don't really do rules. You probably guessed. So yeah, I just, uh, you know, not those sort of rules. That's why I don't do competitions. There's too many rules and that. You, I've, I've heard of the circumstances that fish have been disqualified from those competitions and nah, not for me. That's for proper fishermen. And I'm definitely not one of them. I'm just a bloke that has a laugh, enjoys his fishing, brought a little sib, fishes from the beach. Nothing special. You know, I just do it and film it. That's all I do, it's the only difference. I'm just like all of you lot, I just put a camera on. Anyone could do it. 
You're back tomorrow morning. Nice. Will, would a fish finder unit be of any use on your sim, on your setup? Yeah, absolutely would. But it'd be too much. I wouldn't put a fish finder on here. It'd be more cables, more a transducer down there, the power unit, it would just get in the way. Yeah, I mean, of course it would help, a fish finder and depth finder and that. But it's too much, not for this. This, this has already got enough on it. If I had a prop, proper boat, I would. And we're exposed, so if I have a nice fish finder and it rains, it's gonna cause damage. So, uh, nah. Yeah, one day we'll have a proper boat, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe, you know, maybe one day we'll have a proper boat or a cabin at least. And then we'll be able to get a fish finder on. But I quite like the Sib, you know, it's nice. You know. We, um, I mean, I'm reluctant to get a boat because, you know, where do you keep it? Unless you can keep it at home. I wouldn't leave it out on a mooring because someone would just smash it up. You know, the jealousy is rife, and if anyone knew where it was, it'd just get sunk or smashed up. So I like the sib because I can pack it away and take it home. Yeah, it's good. Just browsing boats on eBay now, Daz. Nice. Nice. Got some low cloud. Oh, hang on, no, but it'll be actually moving away from us over there because of the westerlies. Strong westerly winds here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Kayak Dangler, the legend. Well hooked, I should say. Well hooked, thank you. Just keeping an eye on these rod tips, ladies and gentlemen. Just waiting for the telltale signs of Tippy Tappy. Can't feel anything at the moment. We're just after darkness, another hour till the tide goes well out. But you'll notice the tide has turned, but there's still an hour to high tide. So there is, the, the tides are strange like that in the solar because they turn before the high. So they, people, some people say it's too high tides. It's not too high tides. It, it's different to four turnings of the tide per 12 hours. So some people will say, oh, there's the first high and there's the second. But it, it's actually different. The tide turns twice per six hours. Whereas in your head, you'd think it would turn twice every 12 hours, in for six and out for six but it doesn't in the Solon. It turns twice per six hours. So we've an hour to high tide, we've just turned, it'll come up, and then about an hour after it'll turn back. So that's two at the first six hours, then down, and it'll do the same over low. It'll turn an hour before high, hour after. So four turns per 12 hours. And it's at that third turning towards the high tide, depending where you start, that I've caught all the congas, or the best of them. How's your elbow, Penny? Yeah, it's all right, Penny. Yeah, very strange how uh, my elbow ain't too bad. I can feel a little bit of a niggle there still, so it's not completely healed. I thought that taking my tooth out healed it, you know. <laughs> That's my logic. Tooth came out, elbow wasn't hurting. It was fine and dandy. But, you know, setting all this up has caused a little bit of a niggle, but not a lot. You know, it just plays up a little bit. I was hoping it was sorted. I was hoping it was sorted, but you know. Uh, you'll be fishing this weekend, nice, nice. I saw the um, the sea where you were working. You know, when this is out the back of where you're working, I saw that, it did look very nice. Yeah, and I know your pain, you know what I mean, when you want to get a rod in. That's the aching gum without a tooth. It's perfect, Paul, really good. Yeah, it's beautiful. Honestly, no pain with a tooth, it's crazy. I took a risk last night going out and fishing after having it taken out, but there was no problem with it. There was a little bit of throbbing, like, for about half an hour as we were packing up, because I was rushing, because I knew 
I had a lot to do to get this all sorted. And we made the decision well late to come out. Uh, you went to that ship, you see, well, I think it is. I got there too late on the ebb and the water disappeared really quick. I had to pack up and go to a different place, Thomas. Oh, oh, you went to the slip, right. That's a lovely looking spot, yeah. Very, like, as you say, it rays, looks ray, very ray. Sadie's in the house, fart box too. Sadie, lovely to see you joining us here tonight. Oh, there's a big old ship coming. Lots of ships coming through, I think, because it's high tide. Because it's high tide, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to bring one of these baits up and swap it for mackerel. Ah, Normanda, Normandie passenger row row cargo ship. Ah, a row 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 your ship gently up the armour. Merrily 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 merrily, what a massive palaver. Hey, <laughs> do you have any luminescent bait hooks? Get some mackerel. No, Craig. No, mate, no, a little bit early for that, my friend, a little bit early. Uh, I'm guessing you're not too familiar with the stuff that's in the water at the moment. I swear you asked me if I've ever caught a sea lion earlier, and now you're asking me if I can catch mackerel. I'm guessing you're new to the game, my friend, new to the game. Right, here we go, let's have a look, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. He has much to learn, that one, ladies and gentlemen. Much to learn. mackerel bait down on this one just to test the waters up for that other one again. Oh it's all smashed up. Right okay. Oh no it's just caught around there right. Right let's get some mackerel bait on this. Let's get some mackerel bait on. We're going to see what the congas are eating here today. Sometimes they eat, they love mackerel. They'll, they'll smash them up. But we'll see. We'll see what it fishes like today. Sometimes it can be a proper game changer. Uh, my mate caught one. It snapped his rod in two. We get sea lions up here in the north. Oh yeah, we don't get those down here. Nah. We get seals, but not sea lion. Sea lions. Yeah, we don't get those down here. Snapped his rod in half. I'm surprised it didn't break his arm. Come up and kill him. <laughs> sea lion. The least you can expect from that is a broken rod. Shut up. We're filming. Oyster catchers going nuts up there, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, sea lions. We don't get them. Don't get them in. I mean... I've, I've seen a seal, iron, lion, iron, yeah. I think the lion bit gives it away, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're dangerous. You don't want a sea lion on you. Iron, lion, iron, da 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 da. The sea lion. So I'm just keeping an eye on this other rod. They can tear off at any moment, we've got to be careful. Got to be careful, ladies and gentlemen. There are times when we fish here where you just can't have one rod on the deck because the other one goes off almost immediately. But we're not at that time of year yet. We're still testing the waters a bit, guys. Still a bit early. You know, the summer species are coming in, but 
you know, we're not really seeing them a lot. That bird is going to get his friends to come by for an airdrop. No, I hope not. No, that's not Spirit Guide Skeet. No, that was an oyster catcher. Spirit Guide is a heron, so it makes a slightly different noise. All the bigger boats I can afford, that's nice. Dean A joins us. You had Spur Spider turn up spring right, Coastal Marky. Okay. Yeah, yeah, there they are catching those. I'm expecting to see one of those tonight, actually. They're catching some really good sized ones as well. I know that last week someone caught a huge one uh, in Langston Arbor, so they'll definitely be here in Portsmouth Arbor. So there's a high chance that we'll see one. It's highly likely, but we always see the bite on them when they go. Spider crabs. Right, I'm going to get this one back in, guys. See, one of these rigs I have to stand up to cast because it's running leisure. Lovely big old cast there. that wind it's gonna turn northwesterly later that might be a bit tricky for us yeah that's fartbox 2.0 Dean yep runs like a dream runs like a dream that message for Jan I'm sorry didn't put your name on no Tony. you're in Scotland fishing on a boat and a minky whale came by the side of the boat the captain said we better move. We're not going to catch anything now. And I'm going, no, no, I've never seen a whale. The minky whale, the only whale that can... Hang on, let me think before I say that. Is it the minky? They're the ones that retrieve your phone and play football, aren't they? Sorry, they retrieve a football, sorry, they don't play it. I don't usually mention that, but that's the only... You will know what I mean by that whale when I say that. But yeah, they're the only whale that can rotate their neck so they can look around. They're the only one that can do it. They've got an, like an opposable thumb we've got. They've got an opposable neck. They've got a vertebra in their neck so they can look around. I think dolphins can do it, but they're not considered a whale. But the minky whale, is that's the white one. I think you get albino white whales. I think they're white, are they? Evening to you all, Ian Watson, all the NMF family, hope you're all well. I see we are lording it up tonight on the sim. We are, ladies and gentlemen. We are having a go, ladies and gentlemen. We're waiting for one of these rods to go. I've just put a bit of mackerel on, it could be a game changer. You know, we've got a bit of mackerel with us. If the mackerel rod goes, I know we can then start to put mackerel on the baits. We'll just see which one works. I haven't had a bite on one with a fish bait on it yet, other than the squid. Those are the ones so the Navy have trained to plant mines, that's it. Uh, and they're minky whales. And minky whales. Oh, beluga. Oh yeah, beluga's white. Oh, hang on, is that the one I'm thinking of? I can't remember which one I'm thinking of. There's, a, there's one where a woman drops her phone in the water and it goes down and brings it back to her and she literally just takes it out of its mouth. They're like a dog. Might be Beluga. Yeah, Beluga. I might be mistaken there. Fishing out of Mevagasi. Had a visit from two dolphins checking the boat out, Wayne. Wow, nice. Dolphins are smart, you know, they won't take his beluga. Right, got you, Craig, his beluga. Thank you, guys. Yeah, dolphins are smart. When the guys are out fishing on the boats, like Solar Warrior and that, or and guys in Cornwall as well, when the dolphins won't take the line caught mackerel, you know, while they're on the lines, it's like they know, you know, they're smart enough not to hit the mackerel that are on the lines 
Or that's so that's what I've heard. That's what they say. That was a beluga. Right, got you. Sorry, not a minky, the beluga. The beluga whale has a vertebra in its neck. So ignore what I said, it's not the minky whale. The beluga whale has an, a, a neck that can move around. The only whale that can do that. So pretty amazing, really. Pretty amazing as we wait for Tippy Tappy, ladies and gentlemen. We've got the brand new fart box. It starts, it idles. We can have it on tick over, ladies and gentlemen. So we can make sure that engine's running before we drift anchor. The trouble with the old fart box is I had to start the engine and it's always in gear before we set off to make sure it was gonna start. Oh, they're well intelligent, Dean. Yeah, really intelligent. Yeah, I think they're, the, are they the ones that the Navy have trained to plant the mines? I mean, they are like a dog. They're just crazy good. Crazy good. Slow on the tippy tappy here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. But it's okay when we've got you lot to keep us company through the nights while the bite's a bit slow. You know, you've had seals take mackerel off the line, but never the whole fish or the hook. Wow, that's awesome, yeah. I see a lot of harbour porpoise in the kayak around North Wales marks. Wow, that must be pretty cool. If you can get close to them. One man is African twin joins us here. Earwig is there. What's happened to the pirate act? Too cold, too cold for it, Earwig. Too cold, mate. It's vitally important when you're out on the water and it's cold that you've got your head covered with a warm hat because you'll lose most of your heat through your head. Even if you're wrapped up firmly, completely wrapped up firmly, your body feels perfect. If you ain't wearing the right headwear, you're gonna freeze. Your ears will get cold, your body will try and compensate by taking warmth from the rest of your body. You'll get a confused state going on in your body and you'll just feel cold. So I've got my thermal hat on because I've got a freezing breeze hitting me from the back here. It's gonna be cold tonight, ladies and gentlemen. We've come out into a little bit of a chilliness. A little bit of a chilliness. I swear I just seen a shark. <laughs> Turn it in. Turn it in, will ya? Come on, man. What are you doing, Ollie? Turn it in. <laughs> How can you do this to me, man? How can you do this to me, man? I'm sat on a boat in the ocean on my own. And you just said there's a shark fin out there. Come on, man. Freak me out. My head's right next to the water. I'm literally sat in it. <laughs> if you remove the boat, I'm sat down in the water a couple of foot. Well, not quite that deep, ladies and gentlemen. But where the sharks are swimming, you know what I mean? Jaws music, yeah. Oh, the deer stalker hats. Yeah, they're good. They're good. Whale pops up. <laughs> yeah, have you lost your phone? Yeah, yeah. Da -da, da -da, da -da, sniff, sniff. Turn it in, man. Come on. <laughs> Loads of likes, guys. 332. Thank you, guys. This is what we love, guys. The, the spirit, the community spirit. He's got spirit. The rascal has spirit. <laughs> Throw him to the floor, Centurion. Friends of the floor? Yes, waffly. Yeah, about nine o'clock. <laughs> yeah, come on, fish. Let's have some bites. Do it. Nice little surprise conger eel on the bait earlier, but we want something a little bit more substantial. Surprised we haven't had any taps at the moment. You need a woolly pirate hat. Yeah, sit down, yeah. I think they do do them as well. We like the dreadlocks and that. <laughs> yeah, woolly pirate hat, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, it's all right out here. It's not too bad. I brought my snood. My neck snood. So I've got a neck snood here, a Yamaha one that was um, donated to me when John Locker came down with the Solar Warrior and visited that time. So John gave me a hat, Dave gave me a snood, and I've got it here with me. Best family on YouTube, LMF, Sadie, thank you so much indeed. Porpoise, Coastal Marky, porpoise. Did you write that on porpoise? 
<laughs> he wrote that on porpoise, didn't he? Eh? <laughs> I'm hoping a fish is going to take our bait on porpoise in a minute. Come on. Tippy. Tappy. Do it. I mean, we know they're out there. I know there's there's fish out there. There's big ones out here as well. We just got to wait for them to, to hit us. Uh, killer whales attacking yachts and sinking them. Yeah, yeah, they're they're smashing the the um, stabilizers off, aren't they? At the bottom, you had a pod of twenty dolphins following us and the bow last year. Wow! And on the bow, uh, Little Ampton. It was an amazing experience here, Wick. Wow. Yeah, wicked. I, I saw a story the other day about bottlenose dolphins. Oh, Sean White. Wow. Sean. Oh, man. You're legend. Sean White, ladies and gentlemen. Hang on. Ladies and gentlemen, amazing support. Thank you very much indeed, Sean. That is a great help, and it will go towards the fuel for Fartbox. Absolutely. When the summer comes, we're going to be uh, taking Fartbox out. Hang on, hang on. We just got hit then. Where's the weight? Is he swimming in with it? Yes. Yeah. Right, hold up. Right, I'm not sure what's going on here. Ah, oh, is he there? Right, hang on. Hold up, guys. Yeah, there's something on. Right, here we go. That was a lovely hit. Let's see if he's still there, if we can bring it in. Right, we might have a fish on. He might come off. It's a bit light. That's the mackerel, actually, I think, that side. We'll have a look. See what we got. I don't know if you can see the water. Coming up really light. Little strap, maybe. Oh, no, he's smashing the bits. Oh, uh, oh, he's hammered us on the way up. Oh, no, that's the sardine. Oh, he's destroyed it. Ah. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> oh, guys. Sean, guys. You brought the fish. Sean, thank you. I'm not going to touch that button now because I've got wet hands. But, Sean, you're a legend. Let me just sort this out. Get it back down, guys. Guys, I really appreciate it. Thank you. Please don't think because I've got to deal with this that I don't appreciate it, guys. And I, I don't acknowledge what you've done. It's brilliant. But I've got to get this sorted and get it back in quick. The fish are there, ladies and gentlemen. Come on. I'm going to have to cut this line, I think. Right, let's get this to guys thank you so much the support is amazing and it gets us out here right let's see if I can fix this oh he's made a right mess oh uh, yeah. Oh. Sorry guys, I just want to get this back in as quickly as possible. Oh, look at the state of it. How has he made such a mess? Got to keep an eye on the other rod because that might go while we're doing it. That was a lovely big hit. Whack! Absolutely magic. But he's destroyed. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go, we're getting there. Duh. Right, there we are, there we are, right. Let's clean that up. So that's the new big hook, that big bait with a big hook that I put in the single 
big hook that'll attract a better stamp of fish. Well, it'll get bites from the little ones, but they won't hook up. The ones that hook up on this rig would have to be, I'd say, oh, well, I say not the little ones, you know, three pound plus on this one, as opposed to the loads of them little ones we just saw. So I've got to sort this out with all the mush all over me hands. Guys, amazing, amazing support, thank you. Let's get this back in as quickly as we can. We want to land a big fish here tonight. We've got to keep an eye on that other rod though. This is why I usually put bells on the rods here, because you're always preoccupied when the bite's on. Right, just wash my hands off in the water where you lot have told me there's sharks. <laughs> right, let's get bait back in. Just clean this up. God, he completely destroyed that bait. That was a decent fish, that. Oh, come on, please. Right, here we go. Right, we've got control back now. Let's wrap it up, get it in. So that fish hit that bait and that was in his gob in one, in one hit. I felt the hit, bang. So he took that whole long bait in one go. And that's what I was saying, you know, it's a long bait and if we get little tippy tappy, which we will get, it'll be the small fish. But we want the big one that hits that bait in one go and gets that hook. Oh, we buffered there. Are we all right? Did we buffer? Are you still there? Is the picture clear for you guys? I want to make sure the picture's good for you. Is it all right? It's not horrible buffering or anything. Are you guys getting a quality picture? Perfect. Oh, brilliant. Right, let's get this back in. Let's get this back in. Right, we've missed a good fish there. We don't like that. Let's get this back in. Right, I've got to get this deck cleared quick. Covered in slime now. Juice. Sorry guys, I'll be with you in a sec. Let's just go and make sure everything's good here and I ain't left a hook somewhere or something. Oh, scissors, see, just like that. We gotta make sure everything's out of the way. If you kick a pair of them into the side of the sieve, it's game over. So you've got to just keep your wits about you constantly. Right, it's beautiful. Right, we're back in. Guys, Sean White, thank you. Absolutely amazing support here, guys. Sean White. Oh, hang on. Oh. We like those bigots that come out of nowhere. You're trying for an early hound, top fishing blokes. Wicked, good luck. Slang names for fish. Do congas have any nicknames? Snot eels, snot eels. JC, how you doing all right? Lovely to see you there. Guys, thank you for the amazing support. OG Sean White, you are amazing. Did you do another one as well? 
You did. Oh, mate, Sean, thank you, guys. Incredible, thank you so much. Uh, from pole to pole fishing, how are you doing, all right? OG Sean White of Local Mars Fishing, amazing, mate. Thank you so much. First, so massively appreciated. Thank you so much, guys. You absolute superstar, ladies and gentlemen. Amazing support here. As I say, in the summer, we will be back out. And all the funds generated go back in to get us here. They get us here. They, they do. The, they cover the repairs, the fuel. Just There's always something that needs doing something somewhere. So thank you on behalf of everyone, because we all get to benefit from those who support. So thank you. And you do support, guys, and it's amazing. And it's why we're here. This sib was brought with contributions made that were saved up and put back in. So I can't thank you enough for the opportunity. From pole to pole fishing, lovely to see you back there, mate. Absolutely outstanding, thank you. You join us if now we've got the tower coming into view behind us. Remember when we're pointing that way with that tower behind us, best fishing. What we got is the wind hitting us from the west, pushing us slightly that way and the tide trying to put us that way. But because it's a deep tide, there's not enough power. The wind's beating the tide until the gust of wind stops and then we get the tower back in. It might start rushing out and keep the tower in the background, but it's unlikely. When we're pointing the tower, we've got a clear shot at the channel here. So we can put rods directly into the channel. And that's where the big stuff is sitting. I've got a belt with a watch on it. It's a waste of time, but very good. Home Slice, how you doing all right? <laughs> it's a waste of time. There's not many places you can fish along here where you can hit the channel with a bait, because you're not allowed like up there to fish in the... Whoa! It's up. It's up, it's up. It's up, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. He's not there. Oh, hang on. He's getting rattles. There he is. Right, hang on. Not sure if he's there. Just need to feel another head shake. There. Little tap there. Could be something small, but it's hard to tell. It was a good initial hit. Don't know where to strike it. There he is. Did we get him? Yeah, yeah, head shake. Right. Doesn't feel massive, maybe a... Oh, did he just pop off? Oh, I don't know. No, no, head shake, rolling. Right, we might get a wrecked rig here again. There's something there, maybe a little strap. Little strap coming up. There's something on there, I believe, unless we lose it on the way up. No, it's gone. There was something holding on to that. It's a big old bait, as I say, though. Let's get it back in. I'm going to check the other rod, because it's been awfully quiet. There might be something on it sat down there. Let's just check it quick. Make sure the bait's all intact, at least. We 
getting a few regular bites here now. Right, that hook's been dislodged. this one back in. Seeing some tippy tappy here now guys. Sorry guys. Oh, we're getting some some action here, ladies and gentlemen. Tricky these little congas. We need a double figure to hit us. Simon Bustin, how you doing alright? Lovely to see you there. We need a double figure fish to hit us. That won't come off. The little ones are so agile, they will hit you and then do you rather sit fishing or shore fishing from pole to pole? Well, I'm sure you've been asked, but how big is your sib? It's a 3.3. Yeah, 3.3. Um, I like both. I, well, I like all fishing, honestly. We've had a great run of fishing through this winter. I'll be honest with you, previous years have been slow on the shore. And we do go through periods at the moment where it's slow because the solents are hard work, ladies and gentlemen. Trying to catch a decent fish through the winter in the solent, it's not easy. I don't care what anyone says. You know, long-term angler, first out, it is not easy to catch good fish in the solent from the shore. But this winter, you've seen the last compilation we put together, we've had a blinder. We've had a blinder. You know, we've had some periods where we've had long spells where we haven't had a good fish, but we found them in the end. You know, we've had some good fish this winter from the beach. It's the first winter I've really properly enjoyed fishing from the beach because we've got the experience now to find those big fish from the shore. But the sib, you can't beat it. You can't beat the sib. You cannot beat the sib. Just rewound. I've renewed your fishing licence. Uh, shout out Florida Wildlife Management. Nice. Good oh, good stuff. Yeah, the sib fishing's a different league. I enjoy beach fishing for what it is, and I enjoy the sib fishing for what it is, but this is a different game out here. The fish will be pulling out on this in the summer. It's next level. It's always frustrating going from the sib back to the beach, because we will always find fish on the sib, but we will have blanks from the beach. You know, the chance of finding a much better fish from the sib is just, it's the percentages through the roof. You know, if there's a big fish out there, we'll find it. As opposed to the shore where, you know, you set up and you hope to catch something. If there's a big fish down here tonight, we will catch it. They will hone in on the baits. But we'll see, ladies and gentlemen, we'll see how it goes. We've come back better equipped tonight. Thank you for sharing JJ's link, ladies and gentlemen, to the Last Cast Saloon. With summer coming up now and it getting so busy, I did say to JJ, I probably wouldn't be in there as often, but that is where I shop and that is where I go. But with everything blowing up now and the summer coming and the sib out on the water, you know, my, a lot of my time is gonna be, if I'm not asleep, I'm setting up to go out and it, it leaves me limited with time because it's exciting you know we've got to make the most of the summer and that so i probably won't get a chance to go in there as much but i will always that it's always where i go new restaurant opened in gosport called karma 
no menu, you get what you deserve. <laughs> Very good. Well, we've had an epic sim session and nothing shore fishing. So we got a boat now, that's it, from pole to pole, yeah. Yeah, it's the natural progression. Progression, hang on. Was that a hit? I don't know, it's right. I thought something rattled that then. It's all right, it felt a little little tap. Yeah, they're doing online orders at Last Cast Saloon. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they do online stuff. Jay Sparky, mate, wow. £10 paper for providing such great entertainment. Jay, you're welcome, mate. You're welcome. You, you make it possible. You guys make it possible. It's humbling. Thank you. Thank you. Nocturnal, how you doing? It's still Thursday. You fell asleep for an hour. <laughs> Jay, thank you so much, mate. Honestly, it means a great deal. As I say, to me and everyone who gets to enjoy this. Jay Sparky, your legend, mate. Jay Sparky with an amazing hyper chat, guys. Thank you so much. Absolutely beautiful. Good fun, the old harmonica, ladies and gentlemen. It's quality. It's quality. We had a tap on this a second ago. Hold up a sec, guys. Let me just have a quick feel of this. The good thing is, both of the baits are getting hit. We've had a good hit on the mackerel, and we've had a good hit on the pilchard. Those pilcher baits are deadly. They really are. They're deadly. They're messy and they're soft, you know, and I guess they, they wouldn't be your normal preferred go-to bait, but they are deadly, man. When I put one of them pilchards on, they get, they, get, they always get hammered. They're really good. We, I think that's what they are anyway. Hang on. It's these. They're, they're scaly, they got big scales from blast frozen baits from ammo. It's an ammo bait. Does anyone recognize it? Let me try and give you a better look. That there, there's one, look. Is that a clear picture? Is that a pilchard? I think they're pilchards, someone told me. They are deadly. They're really soft, they're scaly, they're a mess. They break up when you cut them up. But if you can get a good slice down the middle of one of them and whack it to a bit of squid to keep its integrity, whip it together and bang it out. We've had some quality fish on those. Sorry guys, off to bed? No, Hayley, what's going on? No. Roy, we're buffering. No. Snowy Master, how you doing? Look at that motor, nice and shiny, I know, I know. Did the Tooth Fairy come last night? Yes, she did. Computer's getting old got loss of memory. <laughs> Is the life gone? Looks like a sprat. No, it's not a sprat. Have we lost the life? Oh, it's all good. Oh, brilliant. Sorry. I must be at Roy's end. I get worried because the other day YouTube went down. It just crashed. So now we don't know what's going to happen when we're out. Come on, ladies and gentlemen, let's get stuck into them. Let's get stuck into a great one racing fishing. Oh no, it's Roy lost in the time warp. <laughs> Roy, brilliant. These are size sprats from the dog food shop. Yeah, two hours, yeah. Two hours playing on, one touches the ball with swings, the other out goes, two hits, the other two. Oh God, dear. Pilchard or herring, they look the same. Right. Jason, how you doing, mate? Any news? Not well, anything that you can reveal on here or send us a message. All that wind, ladies and gentlemen, here comes that wind. Here comes that wind. We've got a little bit of chop on the water here. Thankfully, there's not a great volume of water between us and the tide. 
so it, we shouldn't it shouldn't get too bad epic law how you doing all right well can you show that bait again I believe it's a pilchard. Really soft and messy. Yum food. <laughs> no. I mean, ideal to stick them on hole, really, I guess. You know, but where we fish every day, we want to make the bait sort of last. But, you know, if we were minted, I'd be putting them on hold. They are brilliant. They are a brilliant bait. Might be wrong, but that looks like anchovy. Yeah, I'm not sure. Fish like I caught both in the last video. Did he really go smarky? Wow. Yeah, he's very good, is our John. John's very good. Uh, catching fish, ladies and gentlemen. Hence why his channel's ridiculously large. Because he's very good at what he does. We love the fish locker, ladies and gentlemen. He is awesome. As you can probably tell from the hat that I've got on. They're too big for anchovy. Yeah, I don't think they're anchovies. I've brought anchovies. I've brought the anchovy packs. Yeah, no, they're, uh, but they're pilchards. I think they're pilchards. Pilchards didn't message you, being told another two weeks more testing with dye apparently. Right, okay mate, alright, okay. Oh well that's a good thing then. Yeah, maybe they're just like, oh there's nothing there, we need to do more checks. Well, no, you know, not there's nothing there, but yeah, I'm sure it'll be I'm sure it's okay. Hopefully, hopefully it's all good, mate. Keep me posted, please, keep me posted. Just an idea, Will. Why not put a couple of your stickers on the transom? It would look good. Yeah. Yeah, it probably would, wouldn't it? Wonder if herring could be used. Yeah, herring could be used, John. Yeah, absolutely, we've used that. You could go out further one day, you might get bigger catches. Uh, yeah. It's not about going further when you're here, it's getting in the deep water. If the further I go, the shallower it gets, because I'll either be at the other side or the other end of the harbour. So we're we're at the deepest part of the harbour, right here. We're in the channel. The channel's here. With there's probably hundred foot of water behind us. If I go further into the harbour, the further you go, the shallower it gets. The closer to the mouth of the harbour you go, the deeper it gets. So yeah, no, we're in the deepest bit of water here. It's, it's only quiet because of the time of year. It's still a bit early. You wait till September and you see what we're catching here. 420 Fisherman is there. Lovely to see you there. We've had two fish. I have never tried it, but we'll give it a go. It's good. It's worth it. It's worth it. Ah, Snowy Master. I haven't put my advertising stickers on the transom and I'll tell you why. Because if people are watching this, then the advertising that they've seen previously has already worked. <laughs> There's no point me putting my name on that, because the people are already here watching. <laughs> they know it's local marks fishing. So I don't need a sticker down there. It's counterproductive, ladies and gentlemen. I'll put local marks fishing on there in case anyone watching doesn't realise that it's local marks fishing they're watching, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> but no, no, I don't need any advertising on here, because if you're already here seeing it, then the advertising has already worked. It creates that paradox, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I don't need to stick it on the back there. <laughs> I mean, it would help for people that see me setting up. Do you use an avionics app? No, I don't. Being honest, mate, I'm not bothered either way. Uh, right, no pressure. Well, on behalf of us all, we're needing 150. 150. Oh, a 15 pound conger. Yes! Yes, we are. We are. Sorry, we're all over the place. It's hard to read. Yeah, 15 pound conger would be nice. I uh, thought you was bobbing around with Wheelstream. <laughs> yeah. 
No, it would be good for anyone that sees me setting up, I guess. They'd see the sticker and be like, oh. But yeah, I mean, the channel's growing organically anyway, you know, every time we go live. And when we're not live, it's, it's growing, you know. So the advertising really, we don't really need to do too much of that at the moment. The channel's off, like, it's on its way, guys. It's like someone lit a spark under a rocket and it is away. And the more it grows, the faster it grows as well. So it's just snowballing, really. And with the summer and taking the sib out, you know, we don't want it to grow too quick, you know. Not like the vertical streaming growth. We don't want none of that. Uh, why do you call me Dave? My name's Rodney. <laughs> Johnny John Goodman, how you doing? Only just got home, I hope I've not missed any big fish. No, you've not. We've had one big bite, but he smashed us up. It was a good hit, a good initial hit. The rod, whack, I felt it on my leg when he hit it. Let's make sure these drags are set, actually. Yeah, drags are set. It's lovely when they tear off. Is the tide turning? Tide's going out. Uh, Robbie Chin, how you doing? Lovely to see you there. Farbox the second. <laughs> I say it's tight going out. Some of the time quick. Yeah, it's high tide. It's high tide now. So, yeah, tides. Yeah, essentially. The tide already runs out before high tide here. As the water floods in, it just pushes it out there and it gives the appearance of a turning of the tide. Fartbox 2.0. <laughs> it's beautiful, that fartbox. We can have it on idle, ladies and gentlemen. I might just start it randomly. Let's have a little listen to fartbox, ladies and gentlemen. Let's have a little listen to fartbox. For anyone who's not heard fartbox, it's quite easy to start as well. You know, Fartbox had some torque behind it. You know, you really had to whack it. But this one actually is quite nice. Nice and smooth. I mean, look, you know, it's crazy, isn't it? Oh, I love that, man. We can just idle it. That's it. Who needs music? Or oh, when you could just have far more. Apologies, the captain. Capitals. I wasn't shouting. First try, yeah. Wait for it. Far box starting. <laughs> Keep your voice down, Lynette. You scared fish. <laughs> oh, it feels lovely rumbling away there. There's a lot of vibration to it. You show it off, Will. Yeah, yeah. It's just that sound though, isn't it? It's idling though. There is something out of alignment though. Someone's now in love. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh. Right hand rod just down the pool. There it is. Just a little knock. Oh, grey white racing. Oh, guys. Hang on, grey white. You legend, thank you so much. Grey white, thank you so much. Farty fart farts, ladies and gentlemen. Sounds like a Labretta. Yeah, it's beautiful. That lovely old two stroke. Two seconds, guys. Should I take up the weight? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Right, hold up. Hold up. I think there's something on this. 
We'll start the fart again in a minute. As soon as I started fart box, it summoned a fish. Is he on though? He might be, but will we land it? I don't know. Yeah, there's something there. There's something holding on. Is he going to stay on? Doesn't feel very big. Is he let go? I think it might have just been holding on to the bait. There was something biting it, but I think he's just let it go. Oh, behave, will ya? Oh, look at the state of the rig again. See, that's what happens when you let conga bites develop out here. Look at the state of it. Right, let's sort fart box out and get fart box started again while we sort that rig out. So we've got something to listen to while I do it. Right, I'm just gonna sort this rig out, guys. Bear with. Thank you for that amazing super chat as well, honestly. Bear with me guys, every time we get a super chat, I'm, I'm ending up having to sort these rigs out. Rids, how you doing? Great white racing and fishing, mate. Uh, absolutely outstanding. Thank you so much. Let me just get this sorted and back in, guys. Go on, far box. <laughs> the smell of two stroke in the morning at Fart Box the Fish Whisperer. It seems that way at the moment. like the sound of sweet music that is. I love the sound of the seagull engines. Beautiful. So nice to know we can do it with the clutch in as well. And then just set off and put it in gear, you know. It's running when we leave. It's just brilliant. So much safer. Peace of mind there, ladies and gentlemen. Right, let's get this back in. That's that pilchard bait again. We're just drifting round. That's it, isn't it, ladies and gentlemen, right there. Go on, Farbox. 
Fart box the fish whisperer. <laughs> Fart box the grapes. Great white racing and fishing, thank you. Let me see if it'll let me like it now I've dried my hands. Give you a heart. Don't want to risk losing the stream. No, I'm going to see if I can like it. No, it's not going to let me. Sorry, Great White, it's not going to let me like the stream. No, no, it's not having it. I don't want to risk losing it. Yay, go on, Fart Box. Rita, you're doing all right. Fart Box is idling beautifully, ladies and gentlemen. We just couldn't do that with the other one, you know. We'd be just, well, you just can't do it. No gears, prop just generating thrust. I love you, Fart Box. I love you. I love you, Fart Box. Well, say it back then for crying out loud. It's even got a little anchor point on it there, a Jubilee, but I've got nothing to clip it to because it ain't a proper bug and I ain't clipping it to myself. Oh, we are. Oh, it actually clips on at the back there. Oh, that's Sandy. There you go. So if it comes off, we won't lose it. I love you too, Will. <laughs> Sounds amazing. You do love a two-stroke, Reese. It does. I love that sound. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, Ten to one. It's purring nicely. Actually, I sent an email to Saving Old Seagulls, a guy called John at Saving Old Seagulls. I need to check my emails at some point, actually. Let me do it now, because I asked him about the 25 to 1 conversion jet, because you can get a conversion kit for these. He hasn't replied yet. No. Yeah, I've had a, I've, I'm going to get a jet conversion for it, if I need it. I mean, you know, I don't want to play a bit too much, but 25 to 1 is so much better than 10 to 1, because you, you hammer through the oil. But it's so sweet, listen to that. The water's good, yeah, it's spitting out beautifully now. JP, how you doing all right? Lovely to see you there. Uh, you join us here, ladies and gentlemen, with the fart box. Why is that pulling off over there? What's that weight on there? It's not a snag, is it? Oh no, we're not into a snag. I've never had a snag here. Yeah. Are we about to pull up a 50 pound gong grill? I think we're into a snag. I wondered why it was pulling over there. There's something stuck here. Oh, we've got a snag. That's not good, because I don't think we got another rig. Oh, we're going to lose it. It's well snagged. It's going to go, ladies and gentlemen. It's dragging in slow, whatever it is. Snap. I think we've caught something, an anchor line or something.
What's that? Sorry guys, we're pulling some. It's gonna snap in a minute. Feels like there's movement on the end of it. Oh, there it goes. That was odd. Let's see what we got back. Rinse bike. <laughs> Might have been a shark. Yeah, possibly. Um, there was something, I don't know, I don't know, it's hard to say. Let's see if we got anything attached to the end of it, like a bit of a tooth or something. Something. We got the whole thing back. That was weird. The hooks are all intact. Oh no, that one's straightened. Right, I'm gonna have to sort this rig out, guys. We've got a proper straightened up. Oh, I'll show you in a minute. Hang on, guys. Let me sort this out. I thought the other rod was knocking while I was doing it. Let's just have a quick check on the line here, guys. No. Watch us pull up an old sea mine or something. Electric eel cable, yeah. Yeah. Well, there'll be a few snags in the harbour. You know, it's been used since the old ancient days. God knows what could be down there. God only knows. Right, let's see if there's any big rooks in here. Laying about. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, that'll do. Oh, 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 oh. yeah. Oh, that'll do nicely, ladies and gentlemen. That's what we want. Now we're going to have a rig with two very big hooks on. Right, can I clip that to there somehow? Oh, the light's playing up. Hold up. Is it that in? Yeah, sorry guys, two seconds.
We've attached it straight on. Now let's get a whole mackerel on that. Well, no, actually, let's get a couple of big squid on it. And a bit of pilchards. I'll cut that out for a minute. Right, we had a snag there, guys. We don't want snags. Right, I'm going to get a large bait on here. Ridiculously large baits. It's time to see if we can find something a bit special. You know, we can but try. It's all we can do. The world would mean nothing to me. So what good would living do me? God only knows where I'd be without you. Scooby dee boo ba ba yeah, Scooby doo. Where's that gone then? Oh, there. Right, we're getting a ridiculously large panel rig. So I don't usually like using panels if they're like the little panels we've had on, but these big hook panels, these are good. Because it's very rare, they, they're both hooks go in a gob. You know, these really big rigs that I'm using here are what I use to target the congas in this harbour specifically. And when we're in the Solent. I didn't realise I had one with me, but I've just looked in there and found one. I think there might be another one in there as well, actually, looking at that. Well, we'll get this in. This is a big bait with big hooks. Hopefully, this will catch us a big fish. If we don't lose it, it's the first time I've used that double clip set up there. We'll see how that goes. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's chuck that puppy in there. Oh, there's a flatty rig in there. It's a flatty rig. Right, let's get it over the edge. Sorry guys, I'll be back with you. Forgive me, I get distracted and we have to just get a lot done in a short period of time. But let's get it back in. Right, we're doing okay. Right, that's a massive bait. 400 likes, guys. Wow. Hey, right, hang on. Hold up, ladies and gentlemen. Hold on. Guys, thank you so much indeed. 400 likes. You absolute legends. Guys, thank you. Great white racing and fishing as well, thank you. I was massively distracted then because we got into a big old snag. But thank you so much. Nick the Fish, thank you guys. Thank you, it's down to you guys. You hit the like, so you know, if you didn't hit the like, it wouldn't happen. So thank you guys as well. Jake Sparky, thank you, all of you that have hit the like, amazing. Thank you so much, it really is appreciated. It really is appreciated. You know, we're on course to get a big old fish here, hopefully, tonight. I really want it to happen. I swear that rod was going while I was dealing with that one, but... But there was nothing there. Koala tea, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, koala tea. Uh, Earwig, you must be so proud of yourself for the results of the channel, mate. It's been hard work for you, but much appreciated by us lot. Well, you guys make it worth it. You guys make it worth it, and that is why I do it. It is hard work, 
It is hard work. I know it doesn't look like it because I'm sat here on a boat and you know, but a lot goes into it. But you guys make it work worth it. So you'll see that tonight when we try and land this boat, you'll see how, how it can be hard work because I, I don't think it's going to be easy getting in later. And we're limited for options. It's going to be hard work, ladies and gentlemen. But it's worth it. It's worth it, you know. I, lo I love it. And we get into these big fish and, and we get to show you guys some big fish. You know, and you guys are in inland. You guys that are inland, you know, you don't get to see this a lot, you know. You don't get to experience it. But I like to try and bring that experience to your living room for you. You know, look, we are blessed to be by the sea. Not everyone has this. I remember as a kid growing up, wishing I was by the sea, but never seeing it. You know, you see it on telly and that. I think I had two trips to the sea when I was a kid, two trips to the coast. So I know what it's like, you know. It's, it's nice to bring this to you, interactive and that, and be by the water. And you guys, all of us sharing a passion. And as I say, you make it worth it. So thank you guys. I love it, I love doing it, it's great. Thank you for making it possible. What is that catching on? Oh, the tackle box. I desperately need the toilet, <laughs> but I don't want to turn the camera around just yet in case the rod goes. Because that'll be when it happens. I'll turn the camera around and all you'll hear is <laughs> it's funny that I mean I say it's hard work what it is all of the hard work is off camera the actual filming part is the part where you get to relax and just do it to put in place what you've worked to do yeah so a lot of the art a lot of the graft is off camera so, you know, when we're sat here, this ain't hard work. But when we shut the live down, the live, the, the work really begins then. You've got, there's a lot to do, a lot of, oh, I don't even want to think about it now. We're relaxing, we're relaxing. Let's, we forget about all that at the moment. We're here relaxing, it's beautiful. Next project is to get a party boat so we can all join you in the ocean. Do you know, that'd be a dream. One day, maybe a, a rich investor will say, here's a party boat, five years paid more in. You know, it's over there at the front of the spinnaker. It's the big gray one, you know, 2,500 foot high and 1,000 foot wide. Uh, go and jump on it, take half a pool's with, with, with you and head out and fish. You know, maybe a big shake in Dubai. The shake of Stevens. I always hope the shake of Stevens will one day invest in the channel. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows where it's going? Connor, how you doing, mate? Just chillax. Just chillax. A lot of editing. It does, Swifty. Oh, yeah, if you do edited videos, it takes a lot of time. Going live makes it a bit easier, but it comes with its issues, you know. But it's still fun, nevertheless. It's still fun. I am going to have to turn the camera in a sec, guys. I need to use... I need to wet the lettuce, ladies and gentlemen. I need to wet the lettuce. What I'll do, actually, is I'll start fart box so you don't have to listen to me wetting the lettuce. I may not always miss you. Oh, there is an extra rig there, I didn't realise. Right, bear with us guys, I'm going to start the fart. If you hear them drags going, it's a fish. Right, ladies and gentlemen, we're just going to take an intermittent advert break and I shall return shortly. Grids, lovely to see you there. Ironics is in the house. Right, bear with us, ladies and gentlemen, bear with us. Bear with, bear with.
tired of looking for insurance? Maybe you should try Local Mark's Fishing Quotas for all of your car insurance needs. Need a breakaway? A holiday? Local Mark's Fishing just for you. Check out the surroundings of the south coast of the UK whilst basking in the ambient warmth of your living room. Tired of the food at the co-op all being the same? Local Mark's Fishing is for you. You can enjoy for hours while somebody enjoys that co-op food so you don't have to feel tired of eating it all the time too. Relax in the ambient atmosphere of Local Mark's Fishing as you enjoy your night's in whilst eating your co-op takeaways. Tired of the views from the living room? Local Mark's Fishing is for all of your Beautiful view needs, ladies and gentlemen. You can get yourself some local marks time while you wait down by the sea. The flower's not growing in the garden, ladies and gentlemen. The flower's not growing in the garden. Get yourself some local marks fertilizer. Absolutely perfect for all your horticultural needs. Need some tint in the windscreen? Local Marks Fishing for you, ladies and gentlemen. For all of your window tinting needs. And that ends our short intermittent break. We'll now return you to Local Marks Fishing's live show down by the Sib. All right, guys, right, we're back. Let's just um, get this rod sorted back on our lap here and uh, stick that there. There we go. Right, sorry, guys, you'll have to um, forgive us. Yeah, Fartbox had a toilet break as well. Apparently, you get some adverts during the break, but I'm not sure. I don't get to hear them, see, it's only you guys that do. Can you hum the Pearl and Dean tune? from the cinema intermission. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Sponsor stickers on transom wheel. Yeah, sponsor stickers <coughs> could go there. <coughs> <coughs> Fart box. Yeah, yeah, we could do that. Hola, buenas tardes, Nigel. How you doing? Viva. Fart box. Viva Las Vegas. Viva Las Vegas. Yeah, Viva Fart Box. Absolutely. Oh, hang on. Was that a bite? Yes. Oh, good bite. Good bite. Hold up, guys. Hold up. Hold up. Here we go. We just had a good hit there. Is he going to come back round? Doesn't look like it at the minute. That was a good hit there, guys. That rod went there. You're, yeah, attracted them. No, he's not on there. We'll leave it there. We had a good look there, good hit. Good hit. You gotta be mindful where you shine your headlight here, guys. Because when I'm looking at the rods, if there's a police boat behind me, I don't want to be blinding them, you know. You gotta be really careful. You know, you don't want to be a hazard. You don't want to create a hazard or boat, boating in the distance or anything like that. It's 
nice having the rods on your lap. You can feel that hit. We had a good one there, but he didn't pick it up. Big double squid bait, I think I stuck on there. I'm just gonna have a sausage roll, guys. Do bear with me. While we enjoy an intermittent snack break. <laughs> Local Mark's Fishing for all of your snack needs. Snacky Jan. <laughs> oh, food. Oh. Surprised that fish didn't have another go at that, but we've got them big hooks on there. So it would have to be a substantially sized fish to get it. So we had a good bite, but we're going to need a really good one for the fish to pick that up. Yeah, sausage roll for good luck. Thought there'd be something with it. You need one of those camping stoves on there, Will. No, it doesn't go down very well, that. Trust me, I brought one with me once and I threatened to fire it up and cook some mackerel. Oh, you should have seen the chat's reaction, ladies and gentlemen. You should have seen the chat's reaction. Uh, Boro Bahi, how you doing? We're in the south coast of the UK. Obviously Portsmouth Harbour, <laughs> by that structure behind us. Keith, lovely to see you there. I got so excited seeing you out on the sim. I forgot to hit the like button, done it now. Been here from the start. That's all right, Keith, thank you. 421 likes is just outstanding, guys. Just outstanding. The weather's settling down nicely. Yeah, we're fishing Portsmouth Harbour, ladies and gentlemen. It's hard to, you know, not that we want to disguise where we are, but, you know, we've got a massive warship over there. Uh, we've got the Spinnaker Tower behind us and we've passed a couple of battleships in the harbour. <laughs> yeah, I'm not giving this one away. It's a secret, ladies and gentlemen. Nobody knows where we are. Oh, here we go. You off to bed, mate. You're welcome. Thank you for making it a good, a good night, you know. Like I say, the chat that you guys give is great and... Keeps us all entertained, doesn't it, eh? Keeps us all entertained. Well, we're waiting for big old tippy tappy. I want to hook into something special, you know. We know they're here. We know they're here. There's a chance we could hook into something really good. I'd love it to happen. beautiful out here when that wind drops off which it has now it's dropped right off it's stunning it's gonna get really windy later no intermission music John no not at the moment YouTube was gonna do it Kiora. YouTube was gonna put adverts so you could press a button and there were adverts but they haven't done it Rob thank you so much Fartbots is looking good and sounding even better Proper ticking over fart boxes now. It's absolutely stunning. Matt Green, how you doing all right? I didn't keep fart box running because I didn't know if it was doing your head in over like just the sound of me trying to talk with fart box in the head, in the background. I just, you know, with an idle option, we don't want to get through too much fuel as well. You watch me blow a load of fuel just idling the thing all the time. Oh, you're watching from London. Nice, Borrow. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome to the channel. Thank you for choosing Local Marks Fishing for your evening's viewing. We've had a couple of fish. I've missed a couple and we've had a couple of smashed up rigs that have come up. The firebox sounds lovely and idle, Jack. Yes. Yep, the, far, the clutch version seagulls are just a godsend. That lovely two-stroke engine. Love it, mate. All right, wicked, guys. Should we get it back fired up for another couple of minutes? Do you want to hear that engine again? I do. <laughs> I don't mind. Hold up.
I like the sound. I like that I have to have the sound of the rain so I can sleep. Yeah, let her rip. <laughs> oh yeah. I always misplace parts. Where's it gone? Where's the handle gone? Oh, there it is. I thought it had gone over the side. <laughs> Let her rip, ladies and gentlemen. Let her rip. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, hold up. Hold up, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, hang on, hang on. No, he's not there. I'll check the rig again in a second. Might have smashed us up. We just had a couple of attacks there. Actually, I don't want to put that down without the drag set. Okay. I'm just going to check this rig and make sure it's not um, smashed up. Oh, hang on. The other one went in. Little tap on the other one. Okay, we'll get that back in. It's like a little go-kart engine on idle. Just have a feel of this one. We have not. Well, I was doing the other one. No, it's okay. Outstanding fart box. Out. Standing tippy tappy. When I get some lights, guys, you'll be able to see the end of them rods better. What did the sea say to the sand? Nothing, it just waved. Oh, very good. Very good. LC joins us here for tonight. LC, how do you do? Lovely to see you joining us here. 2238 loads of time. Loads of it. How long did the motor sit? For about a week. It was in use until the bloke sadly passed away. Yeah, I, I, um, hang on. Yeah, when I went to buy it, I said, is it all right? Is it running? Is there anything you know that's faulty? And they went, no, he was on it last week. So the bloke passed away and I got the engine the following week. 
It's a perfectly restored, fully working, clutch model 40 plus Seagull engine. Rare as rocking oil. I mean, there's, there are better engines you can buy, better modern engines that will shoot you around at 100 mile an hour, but that's, I like the nostalgia of this, I just love it. Purring like a kitten. <laughs> What's the purring, Steve? We've had, I think we've only landed one fish, haven't we? Gary Moose. Oh, it's Gary in. Gary! How are you feeling, Gary? Are you okay? There's been a really dreaded man flu going around. I know what it's like. I had it. I had it, guys. We were live throughout as well. I was well ill. So hopefully you guys are feeling a bit better. sound better. It can last for years. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that engine's 40 odd years old and it's purring like a kitten, like you say. It's just beautiful. Gary Moose, can you do the Fandango? <laughs> can you do the Fandango? It's the man and his sausage roll. That's all it takes, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> One man, sausage roll, a fart box, and away we go. Yeah, lovely, isn't it, eh? Is the engine running because you have the heater on? I'm not sure what that means. the engine running because I have the heater on. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. Sorry. You can see the bar box weeing. Yes. Yeah, beautiful clear waterways. There was an issue when we started out that got me quite worried. But not anymore. Yeah, it sounds like it's got more grunt than it has when it's idling. Bum, 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 bum. Like it's going to start a V8, you know. And then you turn it up and you're like... <laughs> it's pathetic. You've been off work all week with gastric flu. And both me and the wife and kids have had it. Oh, nasty. Wow. Um, Farbox the fifth. We can see water coming in out from there. Farbox the first. Oh, V1, V1. Uh, guessing that's heated water coming out. Yeah, yeah, V2 for the cooling. Yeah. Well, it serves the same purpose for both. It stops the block overheating. So it's sucking up cold seawater, goes all the way through the block, and then comes out of there warm. And this is why you can't run boat engines in a bucket for too long. Because the warm water... Warm water going back in the bucket will make it hot. Plug will oil up on idle for a long time. Here it is. That's right, I'll change the plug. <laughs> change the plug. I'll 
turn it off then. We just like the sound. Head shakes. Head shakes. Head shakes. Let's see if I can get it in before it smashes us up. Oh, I think I felt it come off then. Oh, are we going to bring up another smashed up rig? Can't believe it. They're smashing us to bits. I reckon we're going to have another tangled rig here. Oh no. Oh no, we're all right. Right, let's get some more bait on it. I know, I'm sorry guys, I just can't help having it. Hook a fart boss up to radiate a heat sip. Oh, I see, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you could. Yeah, you could do a, a makeshift heating system, yeah. Somehow, I guess. I imagine someone's probably done it somewhere. Yeah. I mean, these engines, you can tune them for racing, you know, it's crazy. So they'll deal with extreme heat in the block when they race them they're heating them right up we need a big fish to turn up guys we're getting hit by lots of little ones here at the moment little strap congas we got the big hooks on so we can avoid them thanks everyone kids seem to have recovered quicker than me oh and the wife yeah it's not nice Flus and illnesses, or like I say, I had that flu that's going round, and it really knocked me for six. I think I'd, I don't know if that's the one where I had a couple of weeks off, where I was just ill for ages, and we were doing like the COVID test and all that, because I felt like I was dying. Found a COVID test on the beach. <laughs> Currently having a stare off with a badger. Oh, badger, 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 mushroom, mushroom, badger, 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 mushroom, mushroom, snake, snake, oh no, it's a snake. Oh, badger, 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 mushroom, mushroom. For anyone who has no idea what I'm doing, Google the badger song. Google the badger song, ladies and gentlemen. You won't regret it. Badger, 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 mushroom, mushroom. Badger, 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 mushroom, mushroom, snake, snake. Oh no, it's a snake. Bombs away, or baits away in this case. Yeah, we need to lock into something big here. You know, when we find the big stuff, it's, it's here. We've had some beautiful fish here. Really beautiful big fish, but... Lots of little ones around at the minute. Frustrating. Ladies and gentlemen, but no less fun. Still good fun, guys. It took me years to get that out of my head, and now it's back in my head. Thanks, Will. <laughs> yeah, badger, 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 mushroom, mushroom. <laughs> it's just a weird song. Um, just did PMs, Matt. Private messages. What to me, Matt? Is that P what PMs to me? Sounds like my old 197cc Villas. Yeah, well, that's the Villas. Yeah, Villas engine. It's got a Villas carb. Uh, yeah, I think it's Villas. Yeah, they've got Villas, Villas carbs on them. Yeah. No, Fartbox the First is no longer with us. Fartbox the First is gone. As soon as that thing came on the market, Fartbox, I couldn't wait to get rid of Fartbox the First, to be honest. Not that there's anything wrong with Fartbox the First, other than that impeller. Once that's sorted, good engine. But clutch model, that will do nicely. I mean, you can see the benefits, you know. Isn't mushroom in the sib, JJ? Very good. <laughs> mushroom, mushroom. 
<laughs> a badger, 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 badger. F crazy frog as well, yes. Yeah, crazy frog was crazy. Bing, 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 I know, I know, I know. I mean, but it's only because we know we'll see Firebox again. We'll see Firebox again, not on here, but I mean, you know, if Jackie restores it and Lawrence, and you know, they do some like. Hang on. I'm going to check this other rod quick because it's been quiet and we're getting loads of bites on this one. I just want to make sure this one's all not wrapped up or something. Or that there's not something sat on it. They're breamy bites, you know. We, we tried for bream the last time we were here, but we got bass. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, something looking at that then. Looked like something was having a sniff at that. Keep an eye on this other rod, guys. There's something looking at it. There. Right, hang on. Right, hang on, he's, he's getting ready to go. Oh, hang on, I might be caught round it with this rod. That might be what it is. Let's just bring this up and have a look. I think I might have caught the line. That usually causes that bite effect. Yeah, I caught the line. Ah. Right, this bait's still good. I think there is something looking at this though. I definitely had a bite. No, it's not there either way. Let's get that other rod back out. Getting a few breamy type bites, you know. It is about, well, we know the bream are about. A badger, 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 mushroom, mushroom. Still getting the knocks, which is good. Oh, South Coast drones. You absolute legend. Oh, it let me like it. See, if I don't have to scroll up and down, it lets me like it. But if I have to scroll back down or up to get to the chat, it, it creates problems. It's a nightmare. And it, I feel bad because some of them I can like and heart and some of them I can't. South Coast Drones, you are a legend, my friend. Thank you so much indeed, guys. Amazing, unwavering support from the people. Uh, Ian of South Coast Drones. Do check him out as well. He's got a Facebook page as well. South Coast Drones. He was on the Alan Titchmarsh show twice. Twice. His footage was. South Coast Drones, you feel bad? You couldn't come down? No, don't feel bad. South Coast Drones of local marks fishing, ladies and gentlemen, who let me down badly earlier on. <laughs> Beautiful. Don't worry about it, it's no problem, mate. Honestly, no hard feelings. Honestly, no, no hard feelings. Honestly, e, no problem. You know, it's all right. 
it's okay that I had to come out here and do what I did and you just totally turned your back. You know, no, no problem with me. You know, it's all right. You know, I don't feel bad at all. Don't feel bad about it, E. Don't feel bad about it. It's okay, mate, that you left me all alone, stranded and desperate. No problem, mate. It's all right. No, you're okay. Don't you worry about it. No, no. Thanks for the donation, mate. Thanks. <gasps> Thanks a lot. <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. <clears throat> e, the reason I called you up earlier was basically to explain there would be a nightmare if you had have come down. Because I had to sit and idle the engine and then set the gear up and then head off. And you'd have had to have the drone up above me while I was sort of messing around with it. And we broke down. It, well, sort of broke down. So it would have been a nightmare. So I just wanted to take it out first. Oh, there's a big boat coming. Is that a row row boat? Ladies and gentlemen, Ian, thank you so much, mate. You're a legend. No problem, mate, at all. Have you noticed any performance increase from Firewatch 1 to Firewatch 2? So if you've been asked this question before, no, I haven't. I would need to test it in be better conditions. I mean, it'll get us, it's getting us from A to B with less problems than we've had with Firefox. And we've had one issue on the way here, so, you know, that's all right. I think it'll probably be the last issue we have with it for a while, touch wood. But something went through the water ingress up to the um, waterways and probably blocked them a bit. Ah, oh, Condor, Iceland, a passage of row row cargo ship. Awesome, it's on its way. It's not as brightly lit as all the other ones we see. There's far better looking boats. That one's a pathetic effort. Oh, it's raining. It's raining. Right, hang on. It's raining. Right, two seconds, guys. Let's just cover some bits up. Cover some bits up quickly. So I need to just cover the power pack here, sec. Like so. And then hopefully if I can, just cover that a little bit. Right, it's gonna be hard for me to see the chat here, guys, at the second. Oh, what a tart, oh, what a tart. Oh, what a ta 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 what a ta 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 Oh, what a ta 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 what a ta 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 what a ta 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 Oh, what a ta 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 Oh, what a ta ta 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 what a ta what a ta ta what a ta ta what a ta ta Oh, what a ta what a ta ta what a ta ta what a ta ta Oh, what a ta ta what a ta ta what a ta ta what a ta ta If you're a ta ta a ta he's a ta she's a ta they're a ta they're a ta ta Oh, what a ta ta what a ta ta what a ta ta what a ta ta Oh, sorry, that's in the way the camera slightly there. Sorry, guys, I have to try and make some effort to cover the camera while it's raining. So it might only rain briefly. I mean, it's very light. It was only due to ten percent rain. Oh, those rods look all right there, didn't they? You can see them right there. Oh, I might leave them there for a bit, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, what's a ta ta? 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 Oh, what's a ta ta? 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 Ta ta! Absolutely fantastic. If you need a friend, I'm a good listener. It's Bars One sent rain clouds in retribution. Yes. Prince, if you feel like you need some time with Fartbox, you're welcome to pop in for a tea or a coffee and have a moment. Oh. oh. With her, Jackie. Oh, I see. Immediately changing the gender. <laughs> Ian, he can't play the moral card. He's just dumped Fartbox for a younger model. <laughs> One twink of the eye and gone. <laughs> gonna make tracks Nick oh you're welcome mate take it easy thank you for joining us here tonight sorry we haven't caught the big one yet ladies and gentlemen yet it's beautiful out here though it's beautiful beautiful I was talking to a guy who caught a flounder the other day 
I can't remember where he caught it. He's like, I was really surprised. I put my bait in and caught a big, he said he caught a big old flounder. That people don't realise, there's plenty of them about. They're just hard to get through the bass and the congrets, eels to get them. Sorry, I assumed her gender. <laughs> No, it's fine, it's fine. Fire box is whatever you want him to be. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, he's whatever you want him to be, Jackie. <laughs> Poor old fart box. He's probably wondering what on earth is going on. <laughs> Come on, fart box. You should turn the volume up, Jackie, so he can hear me. Come on, fart box. We're still thinking of your fart box, don't worry. Even though we do have the other one. <laughs> have you thought about a trailer? No, GI. Nah, no, I haven't got the room for a trailer, mate. Fart box is watching and crying. No. No, fart box, no. Philippa, no. <laughs> Philippa, no. I'm tempted to bang a whole mackerel out. What have we got down here? On that big old rig that I've got on there. I might just whack a whole mackerel in, you know. Well, say a whole one, this one. I might just whack that in. It's got a little chunk out the side. Let's do it. I'm going to bring in that big old double, like, 5 to 8 o jobby and whack out a massive paint. <laughs> Sorry, just spit everywhere. <laughs> we're, going a massive, we're going to put a massive paint on. Let's have a look, ladies and gentlemen. I think, you know, it's all or nothing, isn't it? Let's get a big old bait out there. A big old mackerel bait. You can't usually go wrong with a bad mackerel bait. Home slice, do it. I reckon a big conger will find it. Big old conger will find it, ladies and gentlemen. Swack a whole mackerel on. Oh, undulating waves. Oh, yeah, the ship. Massive undulating waves, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my God. We're not going to survive. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, it weren't too bad. It weren't too bad. Oh, there we go. How can I try to explain when I do he turns away again? It's always been the same, same old story. From the moment I was born, I was ordered to listen. Now there's a way, and I know that I have to go away. I know I have to go. That's still a lovely big old bait, but we'll feed it to the fish. Because we've got loads here with us. Right, ladies and gentlemen, let's just go crazy. See if we can... I mean, this is what I caught my 21 pound conger on here. Not here, but on a, this bait the other day. I'll show you a little trick my mate showed me once for holding a bait on the line. So you can see that mackerel's got the tail on. A lot of people cut the tail off, right? Let me show you a little trick using the tail of the fish. So there's your usual hook set up and you whip your lines on. I am gonna whip on in a minute, use some whipping. But see that tail there? If you create a loop, in the line, like that, put the tail through it, and then pull that loop tight. That loop will hold that mackerel on when you cast it out without ripping the hooks out. But I'm still gonna whip it on, you know, to stop any spider crab pulling it. But yeah, tie a loop in the line, round the tail, pull it tight, and then 
all of the pressure is on is round the tail and boom you can whack them out. But that's only if you leave the tail on your bait. Some people take them off. I'll leave them off for that. It's good enough to eat. I know. It, yeah, if, it, if it, I'm hoping the congas will think the same rids. <laughs> I'm hoping so. I want to get stuck into something ginormous here tonight. I say I know they're there, but we haven't seen evidence of anything massive at the moment. I guess we're still sort of testing the waters for them. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Let's chuck this puppy out. There's a big bit of weed going through there. Let's get that out of the way. The water is crystal clear. The water's starting to run now out this is good when the water starts to pull on its way out so we're getting to the mid tide the start of the mid tide now you can see it's starting to pull out so hour after low or something maybe a little bit more because it's a neat but it's starting to pull and that's what we want when that water starts to speed up we might see some action here and it's easier to see the bite as well because the tide pulls the line that way. So any action on the rod, even if the fish grabs it and comes this way, it causes a pull down on the rod. If he grabs it and goes the other way, we definitely see it. So this time with the tide is really good. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> I love it, ladies and gentlemen. Right, let's have a little tap of the sib, ladies and gentlemen. Everything is still pumped up, we're good. We don't appear to be losing any air. Because how are we going to float with no air? No air, no air. I assume the loop will pop off on a fish, Elsie. How do you stand and cast like that? I tried to cast on a jetty and got jelly legs. Yeah, well, you've, it's, it's having the correct stance and distributing your weight properly. So, you know, you're standing in a, a, a yeah, I don't know how to explain the position you stand in. It's just uh, stand with your legs at right angles and uh, you can steady yourself and get the cast. As if you were boxing, you know, you've got one foot forward, you know, standing in an orthodox position or a southpaw, whatever you are, gives you that balance, legs evenly distance apart, right length in front and behind each other. And then you can maintain balance on a rocking surface like a canvas or a boat. Where's my water? There it is. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, my water. Oh, the old wrist little bits flapping about in front of the camera here. It's horrendous, might cut that off, hang on. I don't want to try moving it because it's in a perfect way. How long have I been into boxing? All my life. I love it. Love the boxing. Oh, sorry, I nearly knocked you over. Have you caught anything yet, mate? Carl, how you doing? We've had one conger reel. We can see it, Well, we can see it. Nice. Oh, what? You can see the thing flapping in front of the camera. Hopefully you can't see it now. I've just cut it off. Yeah, there's nothing in front of the camera there, around the edge. Yeah, we're okay. Absolutely magic, ladies and gentlemen. 
Oh, you can't see it. Sorry, I thought you said you can see it. Sorry. You can't see it. No, I, it was in my way, though. I, it was flapping right in front of where you guys comment, like very annoyingly. 461 likes, you legends. I'm a little bit concerned about the colour of these clouds coming over, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not going to lie. Have you eaten the sandwich? Yes, E, I've eaten the sandwich. Sorry, mate. I, I just still have two sandwiches. So I've got um, two chicken sandwiches left. Chicken and mayo. Well, I've eaten a sausage roll. Thank you, Jack. The speedball. Yes, thank you. Yeah, I, I love the speedball. Great fun. Great fun. That was a slightly heavy speedball. The lighter ones you can go a bit faster with, but that small one, the, the, the large heavy ones, I think they're a pound. They're, they're quite slow. They're a slow ball. But it's the little light ones, about half the size of that one, that really you can rapidly transverse them. Uh, Jerome from the Netherlands, lovely to see you there, mate. Thank you so much indeed for joining us here this evening, ladies and gentlemen, where we're having a go to see what we can find, ladies and gentlemen. We found one conger eel, a tiny little thing. I've just chucked out a whole mackerel though. I'm hoping to find a bigger one. We're struggling. We're struggling. We've usually had loads more bites than this here. But it's quite quiet at the moment, guys. It's quite quiet, but the rods are there. It only takes one big fish to scream off. And Bob's your uncle, ladies and gentlemen, will be tucking into some lovely big old fighty fish, hopefully. It's that beautiful waiting game. But there's no better place to be waiting for the bite to happen than here, you know. I mean, the beach is beautiful because you've got the sound of the waves on the, and the shingle. But, you know, out here it's wonderful. We've got the sound of, of a warship, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> When is the best part of the tide? It varies for different people in different areas, Rick, so it's hard to say. It, it's difficult. Uh, sometimes just having a bait in the water is the best part, you know, and it, it can fish up and down. Dep at midsummer, I mean, different tides can fish at different times of the year as well. You know, when you've got midsummer, a mackerel all over the place, bass everywhere, you can chuck a bait in, there's bream all over the show, you'll catch them up you know top and bottom of the tide especially the smooth hound you know when they're in you'll be the whole tide will be great for me the congress it's the just as the tide turns when it's going out i say it turns to go out it turns an hour before it goes out and then it goes up over low and then up over high and then turns out again it turns it goes up and comes down so you could call that high tide, but it doesn't turn at that point. It, cut, it turns, then the hour goes up, still rises for an hour. Then you get to high where it slows down and comes back down for an hour. Then it turns the other way. Well, when that tide turns, the first turn towards the high tide, and it's coming up, that, and then goes down for that first hour. That's my favorite time for fishing for the congas, when the big ones are about and we're out in the Solon or even in here. That time has passed now. It just shows me that the, you know, it's a bit gonna be a bit of a slow one. But, you know, we got a right bait in the right place. It could still, we could still see a very good fish. If, you know, we're, we're, we're offshore, we're in the middle of the harbour. Well, I say we're offshore, we're, we're fishing in some very deep water where we know there's good conga, so, um, big pout as well we haven't had a pout here tonight and bream as well you have normandy yes swifty yes well, nice yeah better looking ship this one i can see it coming yep coming out yep i can see it right there quick hide the popo is out could you see them there i didn't know if you could see them yeah they're right there they're boycotting due to you replacing fart box here and it could be the case i'm hoping it's not the case Oh, there's an SBS sib over there. 
There's the special boat service, ladies and gentlemen. What are they up to? I assume it's the SBS. They're the only people I know that can get that close to the ship without being swiftly told off. This is a lovely looking ship, this one guys. We're gonna get a beautiful view of this when it comes out. It looks like it's got like an ice cutting front to it, you know, really sharp and looks like it could smash through ice. Massive undulating waves, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Massive undulating waves. Yeah, it is one hell of a view here, you know, it is nice. Beautiful absolutely magic and to know that we're going to probably you know touch wood we'll be able to get back in with no problem is absolutely beautiful fart box will carry us home we don't have to worry oh the popo coming in close close it's the popo it's the popo of life it's the popo it's the popo of life Here comes the Popo, very impressive boat, big old, I think it's a V12 engine in the back of that boat. Very nice. Party boat and half that is. It's got some wicked disco lights on it. Absolutely fantastic. The Popo Roro. Trying to look inconspicuous, ladies and gentlemen. If we don't look at them, they can't see us. What the fish, Snowmaster? Nighttime training, yeah, yeah. They do a lot of that here locally yeah when I used to do the kayak and fish around brown down you'd see them almost every night um, actually when we're on the Solent on the Sib you pretty much see them every night well you hear them I, I, I've seen them a couple of times you can see their show because they turn all the lights out when they get out the front there and they've got all this head gear on and like one monocular thing on over their head and they're all in the gear I remember I was on a kayak once and two of them come steaming over and just stopped right next to me and they checked me out and then they was gone. But they had all this like kit on, it was crazy man. Like something out of Universal the First Soldier. A proper movie scene, you know. They come straight over and check me out, it was mad. I down on the river having a little walk, a lovely view of Liverpool home slice, nice. A little home slice of Liverpool. Look at that view there, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful. Absolutely magic. Very quiet, these rods though, and it's early. It's still way early. Too bright, I like it dark. Going to say good night, Sadie. Help me with school runs tomorrow. Up early, thanks Will, Dream Team and chat. Sadie, lovely to see you. You have a great night. Have a great night and we'll see you later, all right? I just noticed I've got a message when I saw that. Let's just have a look, see if it's important. I why I saw one boat pull into Fort Moncton when I was at the wall, it literally headed to shore from the sea wall. Wow, quite possibly. Yeah, quite possibly. In training. Oh, two seconds, guys. There we go. The 
comes the waves, the massive undulating waves. Yes, yeah, a bit slow still, still early in the year, you know, the hounds haven't really arrived in number, the bream aren't really inland, you know, on the boats it's amazing, you see it all going on the boats and you think, wow, amazing, you know, out on, in the channel, but it, you know, it's not happening inland at the moment, inshore at the moment, it's frustrating, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, oh, nice view of the beach where you are, Danny. You, all you can see is a wind farm. Wow. They do look pretty impressive, though, those wind farms. There's one when you fish Selsey Bill and you look out and you can see all the lights going off on it. You're not allowed anywhere near it. It'd be great for fishing, a natural reef. I don't think you're allowed near it. I'm not sure. Offshore wind farm. Yeah, absolutely magic there. Oh, come on, fish, give us a bite for crying out loud. Right, let me change the bait on that right hand rod now. On that right hand rod knee. I think it's the right one I just changed. You know, it can all change in an instant though with a good bite. You know, there's always that threat when the bait's in the water that we're gonna get that big massive tape and lose the rod. It's now time to make a change. Just relax and take it easy. You're still young, that's your fault. There's so much you have to learn. To find a girl to settle down. If you want to, you'll marry. Look at me. I am old, but I'm happy. Oh, I'm caught around that line again. Oh, only just though. There we go. Had a bit of seaweed hanging on that little bit of seaweed covering the bait. Oh, it's on that line now. No! It's all right. We hooked into a big old bit of seaweed then. Get a new bit of sardine on here, guys. Is it sardine? Top projects, how you doing all right? On the east coast, it's a big old farm, Danny. Nice. Well, would it be the same one? What if it's the same one that we see? It's just from a different angle. Because you can see the one at Selsey from all the way around the coast. This is absolutely huge. Oh, Lincolnshire. No, nope, it's not the same one. <laughs> Caught just the entertainment. Ian, thank you. Yeah, but we want to catch some fish, though. Oh, Ian, no, thank you, mate. You're welcome. No, pleasure. Well, like I say, you guys make it what it is, you know, as much as I do. It's a, it's a collaboration. It's a collaboration, ladies and gentlemen. This collaboration rules the nation. We have <laughs> Right, I'm going to get another fresh sardine bait on. Sounds a really make you rub and dog. I'm bumming a bit, bumming a bit, 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 bit. Straight down the middle. I've only got squid bait left after these mackerel and sarp pilchards are gone. So, I still really make 
the rock and talk. This collaboration grows me a shine with version. Yeah, this is why we love the old fishing. Sometimes it can be hard. You know, like now, it, we're struggling on the bike, but you know, at any second, especially here, we could see it scream off. There's a lot of seaweed making its way out to sea, ladies and gentlemen. That's gonna be fun for people fishing near the harbour mouth. We got seaweed going through. Top projects, lovely to see you there. We're doing all right, mate, we're doing all right. We've had one little conger eel. It's embarrassing. <laughs> We've come all the way out here and got this simmer. We've caught one conger eel. I'm determined to catch something ridiculously large because one conger eel does not cut the mustard, ladies and gentlemen, for a sib session. We know there's bigger down there and I intend to catch it. We have to do the sib justice, ladies and gentlemen, you know. But whatever time of day it happens to be, where you are, thank you. You're in Skegness, Danny. Oh, wow. Miles away. Miles. Miles. Yeah, there's some tide pull here now. That wind's turning northwesterly. Starting to hit us from the front now and not the back. Can you see them rods there? My shadow's out of the way. Let's get them into a bit slightly better. So you can see when they go. Can you see all of that rod? Make sure them drags are set. Beautiful. New upload in progress, fantastic. 468 guys. Thank you for all of those amazing likes, guys. Incredible support, absolutely fantastic. Top Projects has got new uploads in progress. Real, what's the difference between a sib and a rib? One's got a hard surface to it and one's got a soft. So a sib is a soft inflatable boat. A rib is a rigid inflatable boat. So it has a rigid base, it's like an aluminium base with tubes around the outside at the top. That's a rib. A sib is soft and you put the, the solid floor in. Todd, we've had one conger eel, mate. One conger eel tonight. One little one. We've lost plenty of little ones as well. We've lost plenty of little ones. Frustratingly, They've hit us, but they've smashed us up. You're welcome, Swifty. Yeah, for a rib, you need a trailer. For a sib, you don't. You definitely aren't getting a rib in the back of your car. Just back from the beach, dog fest, and, and free whiting. Is it my imagination, or are dogs getting bigger? Yeah, more abundant. Need to have many in one, never had so many in one session. How's the wind? Sorry if I already answered, uh, if you already answered. It's not too bad. The wind's all right. We're protected here. I mean, it is, it's a bit blowy, but it's nowhere near as bad as it would be if you were on the beach at the moment. Mind you saying that, oh yeah, westerly. Yeah, the, the sea out on the front will be well choppy, I imagine. But it's nice here in the harbour. Beautiful. Thank you for all the likes, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely fantastic. Thank you very much indeed. 
as we endeavour to get something half decent. We're giving it a go, ladies and gentlemen. It's not easy. The fish aren't making it very easy for us anyway. It's nice to be out here chilling out. Looking at the pride of the UK's warship right there. One of them anyway. Absolutely magic. firepower. I miss most of the maiden voyage Joseph. Have you been having much luck today? We've only had one conger eel. Oh there's another comment there sorry. Not missing much Keith. Be lucky to find a hotel. Most have been taken over by the government. 25 likes to 500 guys. Pff, blimey. Thank you for all the likes guys. I mean it's amazing you know. We've been sort of making 300 likes on our beach sessions. I mean, it's nice to see that many on the sib. Like I say, it shows that people really appreciate this sib stuff and I'll try and do it as much as I can. It's still not right to get out on the solar yet, you know, but one day we'll be out there when it warms up a bit. Hopefully, soon. Farty farty. Fart box, farty, farty, fart box. We love you. Hey ho. <laughs> JJ, we do. We do. We love you, fart box. We do. Fart box, we love you. That wind is picking up now, though. I know it's going to get to 30 miles an hour when we land. You know, if we stay over till the early hours. The wind picks up to 30 mile an hour northwest. When is the cooking on the sib stream? <laughs> it's not. <laughs> no, we won't be cooking on the sib, ladies and gentlemen. I did attempt it once, but it didn't go down very well. People were like, no, what are you doing? We do love Farbox, regular character on the show, yes. And it's been a long time since we've got fart box out. It's nice. We've had a couple of opportunities recently. It's still early in the year. It's cold. It's cold, you know. Oh, it was nice when we came out last time, 12 degrees. But, you know, now we're sort of really pushing the boat out, no pun intended. Uh, JJ, video rendering in progress. Nice. Off to Ride Pier, Will. We'll be watching you. Oh, go off Ride Pier, Swifty. Yeah. Yeah, long old way for fart box though. Racing's a legend. But you know, now we've got this new reliable engine, who knows how far we could go. It'd just take us forever to get there. What time have you arranged for spinning tower? I'd like to go out around 11.30 LC. What time is it now? <laughs> Let's have a look. Oh, it's 11.30. They should have turned them off now. 11.32. <laughs> there you go, Gary. It's 11.32. Hopefully you're feeling better, Gary. I know you probably answered earlier, but I didn't get to see it. It's been chaos. I hope that you're feeling better. They're doing okay. And the dog blockers are doing good. Yeah, hopefully the bike doesn't go too quiet here on the outgoing tide, you know. Hopefully not. I mean, it is a bit quiet. Doesn't the tower go all pink before it turns off? No. No, there's a reason that tower's all pink tonight. It, it's, um, was that Terrible at Fishing that's just joined us? Is Terrible in? Did I, I think I missed Terrible at Fishing, if that's who it is. Yeah, Terrible Fishing. How you doing? All right, mate. Lovely to see you there. Yeah, it's been a long time. 
I was just thinking that when I saw racing say hi terrible. How are you doing all right? Hopefully you've got better at fishing since we saw you last. Very relaxing listening to the water lapping against the side of the sib. Yeah, yeah it's beautiful eh? When that's, I mean if this bite don't pick up I'll probably end up nodding off. That's what's the hard thing you know when the bite's quiet it's uh, you know relaxing chatting with you guys and you just want to uh, nod off. Uh, we need a bite to get the adrenaline going again. I mean, we got two lovely baits. They used to have a light show. They did, on the hour, which lasted eight minutes, but alas, they don't seem to do it anymore. Yeah, they, they do do it a certain colour for certain things. So the pinks, like baby reveals. People can pay to have a baby reveal. Still terrible. Oh, no. I'm sure that's not true. <laughs> Yeah, we're not getting any little breamy bites though at the minute, which is, in I mean, it's interesting to see, at least we know the bream aren't there. You know, if those rods were getting picked to bits, and we're not seeing any spider crab knocks either, you know. We're not seeing any spider crab bites. Oh, lights out. Oh, yeah, there you go. And there, two, one, and the lights are off. There you go. Three, two, one. Yeah, I did arrange for them to put them out about half eleven. They were late. I'm sacking that dude. <laughs> his clock, his watch must be slow. Yeah, his watch must be slow. <coughs> Five minutes slow. I shall be having words. You know what? Oh, there it is. Oh, I was just wondering what I've done with my sandwich box, but it's under there. I was just thinking, hang on, I ain't seen my sandwich box. Yeah, it's awfully slow on the bite here, guys. Oh, awfully slow, but like I say, it could go off at any moment and we'll be into the fight of our life. But it's looking really slow. Real shame I haven't got those lights for the rods at the moment. It's awkward, I'm having to put them over there. Oh, what was that? Oh, oh, oh! Right, hang on. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Yep, yep. Is he going to stay on? Is he there? I'm not sure. I can't feel anything at the moment. It might be swimming in. Yeah, there's something here. Something coming in. Right, let's get this drag right so we don't rip, lose it. There he goes, there he goes. There he goes. Right, it's up, here we go. Oh, oh, I might need a net for this. Oh, he's running. Oh, good fish. Oh, he's going mad. Oh, no, I should have had the net ready. Right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah, yes. Might not be massive, but feels... Oh, oh, oh. Got a good fish. We've got a good fish, yes. Got to watch that camera, don't go. Oh, he's powerful. Oh, he's powerful. He's powerful. He's powerful. Yes. We got to land it. Oh, he's very powerful. Oh, he's very powerful. Yeah. Yeah, go on. Oh, go on. Yeah, he doesn't. 
Oh, we got to be careful here. I want him to run if he wants. Wow. Oh, this is a bit bigger than I first thought. This is even bigger than I thought. Guys. Yes, this is what we came for. This is what we came for. This could be a double figure fish. I'd say so. It's gonna go mad when he gets up here. If we don't lose it. No. That's what I was worried about. Sorry guys, we've lost all the light. Guys, I'm just gonna have to fight him in and get him in or we're gonna lose it. Sorry, the light's gone out. Guys, I'm so sorry. I'll try and use my headlight to give you some light. Don't want to lose it. I'll put that light on in a minute. Oh, this is a beast. This is a beast. Oh, God, guys. Oh, he's just he's stuck to the floor. Whoa. Come on. Come on. Whoa, big fight here. Yeah. Yes, come on. Please don't pop off. Oh, here he comes, here he comes. No, no, no. Oh, he's strong. Strong. Oh. There's the leader. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, here he goes. Oh, it's massive. It's massive, guys. Yes. Yes! Oh, it's huge! Oh, he's going again. Oh, he didn't like that. 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 Oh, he's seen us. We're in trouble. He knows what he's got coming. This could be a 20 pound fish. Oh, 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 oh. Wow, it's massive, guys, massive. This is the one we came for. Oh, oh, he's... I don't want to lose it. I don't want to lose it. This is a beast. Please don't come off. I've got to let him run when he runs. He's massive. We're going to struggle to get this in the net. Oh, 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 there's the leader again. Oh, he's absolutely huge. Oh my days, look at the size of it. Oh yes, he's in the net. He's in the net, he's in the net, yes, yes. Oh, I'm sorry guys. Right, let's sort this light out quick. He's in the net. Oh, we've done it, 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 we've done it. Sorry guys, oh, oh, we have got a beast, a beast of a fish. This is what you came to see, ladies and gentlemen, we've done it, I've done it for you. I'm well chuffed, I'm over the moon. Guys, I've got you the fish that we came to see. Bear with me, let me just make sure this ain't gonna fall over again. We've got it, guys, we've done it. This is the fish we came to get. Boom, ladies and gentlemen, boom. Right, it's all gonna go wrong now with the wind and this up here. Hang on, guys. He's in the net, don't worry, he's not going anywhere. I think that whole mackerel done it, you know? I think that whole mackerel done it. Guys. We have caught a massive conger eel. I'm not even kidding, guys. I'm gonna try and unhook it in the net. I don't want this on the deck with hooks in it, if I can help it. Let's try and do it in the net. Oh my God. Let me, hang on, I'm gonna cut the line at the top here to save the risk of it going around my arm. This, this could cause us some trouble, this. Right, I'm going to get the other rod in. I'm moving the rods out of the way, guys. Trust me, we've got an event going on in this net here. 
I want to get everything out of the way, get the other rod in. I want to make sure everything's right for when we get this in. This is not a fish we want to play games with. Let's get this other net in. Oh, I ain't got my sling. I ain't got my sling to weigh it. Oh, it's in the beach bag. Oh, no. I know, guys, I know. No, oh, that's a big mistake, that is. You'll have to give us an estimate of it, guys. Oh, no, we ain't got the sling. Oh, wah. Right, let's see if it took the mackerel. See what this bait is here. I knew it was worth chucking that. Yeah, he took the old mackerel. That was a good shout, guys. Sticking that mackerel on was a good call, man. He has smashed the whole mackerel. Yeah, wicked. Result, guys, result. Right, I'm going to bring him on. And then we've got to try and unhook it. It's a big fish and he's taken the bait hole. Let's make sure we've got the tools ready to deal with it on the deck. Right, here he comes. This is going to be fun. No, I ain't got the scales. I haven't got the scales. They're in the sling with the net. With the net. Oh my God, this is huge. Yeah. Wow. Oh my God. Jesus. Look at the size of that. Whoa. Right, let's have a look at this. Holy Jesus. Right, there's only one hook in. Oh, I've tied that tail of that fish. Right, it's gonna be a little operation to get it out. Don't worry, guys, we've got it in hand. Only one of the hooks is in. So I just need to slide one of the hooks up the line. Then I can get to the second one. Only the bottom hook is in, but he's taken the whole thing straight deep. Well, not deep, but I've got to watch I don't get a bite here. Guys, I want to pay very careful attention to getting this first hook away from him. I haven't tied it round, have I? Let's see what we've got going on here. Right, I just want to move this first hook out of the way. It's not in him, it's in the bait. Well, watch I don't get bitten here or spun up on. This is a very risky procedure of a fish. He could bite my hand off. Right, first hook's out the way. That makes it really easy to get to the second one. But I've got to be careful because we're going to have a free hook here. So I need to make sure that's safe. Right, here we go. Now we get the other one out. I'm going to use the bigger tool for this. He's a good boy, he's got his mouth open, that's what we want. Sometimes they clamp shut. Don't want him to spin on me. It's gonna go, it's gonna go. It's gonna spin. Trying to hold him still, don't spin. There he goes, trying to hold him steady. Gotta clear this bait out the way, there it is. Right, that's what I want, that bait out of the way. There it is. Oh, there's the hook. Oh, he spat it, he, he spat the hook. There it is, brilliant. Wicked. Oh, that was a good procedure. Right, we've, we've managed to successfully unhook him without a lot of stress. I mean, obviously stressed, but we've removed the hook without problem. Right, you just gotta be careful with them, you know, treat them with respect and they're good fish. This is a 
this is huge, guys. This is huge. Right, I've got to try and tip him out of here. Oh my word, yeah. Quality surgery, well done, thank you. I know what it's like, I had my tooth done the other day. <laughs> right, let me just get him out of this net. Whoa! Got to be careful still. A lot of respect for these big beasties. Right, I just want you out of that net. There you go, you go there. Oh. Just clean that off. A bit of slime on it. Oh. Bear with me guys, just got to do a little bit of a clean before I hold him up, just clean him up a bit. Whoa, whoa, he's, it's going to be tricky this. Sorry guys, very strong. Just let him calm down a minute. Just let him calm down. Come on, calm down sunshine. Calm down, calm down. Right, I've almost got a grip on him. I just need him to calm down a little bit more. Come on. Try and get a grip on him. Oh. There he is, guys. I'm going to have to get him back in. can't properly see him. He's absolutely huge. I'm going to chuck him back in, guys. He's a beast. I can't, the camera light's not right. And it's starting to rain. Oh, he's spinning up again. gonna go again. I've just moved the light so I can try and get him in a better position. But he's not gonna stay still for us, I don't think. Nah, can't get hold of him. Might have to just get him back, guys. It's starting to rain now as well again. I don't want to fight him too much. He's problem child this one yeah that's the better view there he is right I'm gonna chuck him in guys let's get him back oh oh and here comes the rain so that might cause the stream to end unless I can cover the phone quickly in a second Right, I need to cover the phone. Where's the other cloth? There it is. Guys, how about that? How about that? Let me see if I can cover this phone again. I had it covered perfectly everywhere earlier on. 
18 and 21, he was a beauty, wasn't he? Guys, there's going to be annoying little flapping yellow bit in front of the camera here at the moment. Paul, thank you. Hey, eh? hey, eh? how about that, eh? Hey? That whole mackerel, ladies and gentlemen. That whole mackerel. I'm going to do that again in a minute. I've just got to try and clean the deck now. we got slime everywhere. As you can imagine, he's made a mess. He's made a mess. Oh, yeah. As I say, guys, it only takes one bite to change it all up. And there it was. Right, I've got to do a pretty meticulous clean here. It's going to take me a minute, guys, before we're ready to go again. Thank you, guys. All the time with nothing. This is made up for the whole night, Danny. Yeah, one tiny one at the beginning, big one at the end. We're anchored up, guys. We're anchored up. Let me just uh, clean up. It's going to take me a good five, ten minutes to clean everything up guys and then we'll get another whole mackerel back in oh beautiful beautiful fight as well he really gave a good fight that did he came up to the surface took one look at me and then we got the fight zip, 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 on that rod as he took off no stopping it i just had to let a bit of drag out and he was gone the full power of that paddle tail bang 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 just mm, and you could hear the drag going as well. I set that drag so you could hear it. Beautiful, but we got loads of cleaning to do now. Bear with me, guys. He's made a proper mess. Proper mess. When he, he puked up the rig, so he turned his stomach inside out and emptied the contents of his guts on the deck but it made the unhooking so much easier. But now I've got a whole load of conga stomach to clean up. Oh, I'll, be, well, I'll be back in the chat in a minute, guys. Bear with me, once I've done the clean, I'll sit down and we'll assess what the hell just happened. And then we'll get another bait in. Oh, beautiful. Slime everywhere. Lime. We gotta get this out of the boat, it's nasty. Don't want this slime all in the boat. Nearly there, guys. Nearly there. the rig packet over the edge sorry guys it was empty but I don't like it when we plastic goes in the sea a gust of wind just took it over the top right we're nearly there we gotta clean this slime up or we'll have double layers if we get another one right we're there we are there Who's that, LC? Oh, LC, you legend. LC, I can't touch the phone at the minute. I'm soaked, coming in conga slime and it's raining. I'm trying to stop the rain ending the stream. If the phone gets too wet, it will automatically cut off. Oh, 500 likes, guys, thank you. 307 living was number 500 today. Guys, your patience and persistence and the time you've put in has paid off. Absolutely beautiful, we've just caught the fish we came for, that was the one. That was the fish we came for. We know they're there. It's okay, read my message when you're 
done, mate, when you can, mate. Thank you, LC. Bren, you led you. Guys, thank you so much. Guys, thank you. Sorry, I'm trying to keep this phone covered with this cloth here. I've got to be careful. If rain gets down the phone screen, this it'll end. It'll end live. What a maiden voyage, Dave. Yeah, the maiden voyage of Far Box. I can't actually see the chat. The cloth is over the top of the phone, guys. What an amazing thing just happened there. I felt the bite. It was a little slow run. He, he took the whole bait in one go and then a slow just and he was picking up. I thought, what's that? I thought it was tied initially and then I struck into it and whack, a head shake. Here we go. Reeled him up, weren't too bad. He was fighting, he was stuck to the floor so I knew he was a good fish. Once I felt that rod straight down and lifted it, I thought he's sticking to the floor, good fish. Pulled him up, bit of a fight. Soon as he saw me, he was gone. <laughs> he was gone and we love that. They come up, they make eye contact and off they go. They do not see friend, they see human and off they go. I'm buzzing. There's a good chance of another one. We'll get another whole mackerel down there, but I need this, I need this um, rain to stop. I can't see the screen. The whole screen is covered by the cloth. I'm talking to what I assume is I'm looking at my face, but I can't see myself on there because there's a cloth over the phone, but I need to leave it there. Uh, it's raining hard. It's raining hard, guys. Uh, right, let's start sorting this out. Do you see what we've done with that big fish? You know, we've had reasonably big baits in all night. But as soon as we stuck a whole mackerel in there, you know, got the real bait in there, the magic happened. Right, let's get this in. You know, most most folk may think that that whole mackerel's too big a bait, not in here. You know, we know what's below us. Whole mackerel, perfect. Let's get this back in there, guys. Very exciting times. We need that rain to stop. I'll fish on until that stream dies. If the rain soaks that cloth and we can no longer control the screen, the life will obviously end. If we need it to stop, otherwise it's gonna soak that cloth. I haven't got any plastic bags with me to cover the phone. Hi Darren, how you doing mate? It was a beast, hey how about that? That's what we do here at Local Marks, we go for fish like that. That is the whole purpose of my being, those congas that size. You know, you want to know what Local Marks is all about? You just saw it right there, ladies and gentlemen. Most of you know, but the new folk, oh, you can see it's fine. Yeah, it's me not being able to see you at the moment. Yeah, most of the new folk won't really have seen that before, but that is what we do. That is what we target, fish like that and bigger. That was a beast of a fish. Right, let's get this other rod in. So I've made a couple of mistakes here. I need to get a spare set of scales and a sling that goes into this bucket and stays in there permanently. That was a big mistake not having scales because that was a beast of a fish. My biggest is 23. My biggest official is 23 and that fish there that was that was good fish. Yeah, I mean from the sim. I had a 27 pound one once, but I accidentally deleted the live, so you know we couldn't confirm it. So I our confirmed one that we've got on the sesh on the channel now is 23 pounds. Right, I'm getting it all set up, ready to go back in, guys. Ah. Oh. Wow. I was starting to get worried that we, we hadn't seen one of them yet, you know. Like on the last session, you're getting 18 ish, some heads, some head on him. Yeah, he was a beast. Yes, sir, have some of that. <laughs> oh, I'm so pleased because you guys have put the time in as well. You know, you've waited all night. And to be honest, it's looked a bit quiet, hasn't it? I was starting to get a little bit concerned, guys. I know they're down there, but it's hard to convince people they're down there when you're not seeing any sort of big action. And that was big action, rapid big action. It was zero to hero. 
I mean, there was nothing, and then all of a sudden, that line just started peeling off real slow, and that was it. Beautiful. Right, now let me see if I can salvage this mackerel, actually. It's still a good fish. That's still a, that's a perfect bait, perfect size. He's, yeah, it's all still there. He just smashed it. Let's see if we can save it. The tail's gone, so I can't do that trick that I did earlier. I'll tell you what, actually. Let's scrap that, throw it away, get a new whole mackerel on there. What am I doing? What am I doing? Let's not mess around. We got monsters below us. Let's give them what they want. They want whole mackerel. Let's give them whole mackerel. Right, I'm just going to cut this off. We're going to get another bait on there. I mean, there's nothing wrong with this bait at the top end. It's beautiful, lovely mackerel head. In fact, I'll save the head. We can use it on another session. There's a mackerel head. It's great for any bass from the shore and stuff like that. So I'm going to save the head. We've had a lot of success with mackerel head from the shore. Right, that rain appears to be slowing. I can't see the chat, guys. I'm so sorry. Bear with me. When my hands are dry and I've got the bait back on and we're all good, I'll try and adjust it a bit so I can see you a little bit better. Right, tools away. So you can see why we have to clear the deck before we land something like that on the sieve, you know. Potentially, that could be very, very dangerous on this little boat. <laughs> but we love it! Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the same cut that I had on the other right. You jumped out of bed. I lose it from, I could just see under there. Uh, I'm going to make the same cut in this mackerel that was in that one we just put out. So there was a third of the mackerel gone on one side because I'd baited up earlier on. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take up the side but not quite up to the guts. So I'm cutting below the stomach so it's all still in there. The reason that mackerel was smashed deep is because the conger wanted the stomach. So he took the whole thing from the head, bang, stomach and all, the bottom hook was, the, well, the hooks were in, but they weren't, I, it didn't appear they were quite properly set. I mean, I think one of them was set, but the other one wasn't. And then he just regurgitated his stomach and they both popped out, which just makes me think they weren't actually quite set. But the fight he gave, surely it would have pulled the bait out of his mouth. It was a bit odd but very, very pleased either way. Right, let's rebait this exactly the same way. One little stitch through, and then I put it through the gill plate on the bottom there, because the gill plate offers some good solid resistance to that hook. And then, We had a hook through the back of it as well, about halfway, and that gave me enough room to put a loop over the tail. There we go. And then that loop over the tail, pull it tight, and there it is, whip it on. <laughs> yeah, once I've got this bait in, I'll be able to sit down and take note of what just happened, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for your amazing contributions there as well, guys. You know, it just makes it all the more and more exciting, doesn't it? And, and, and so much more appreciated. I can see you guys really appreciate it. Thank you for that, guys. You didn't have to do that. That was quality. It makes an already really just outstanding buzz just that little bit better. Thank you. And of course, it means it gives us a good chance to get back out here and do it again, using the resources to fund the trips. Guys, thank you. Right, let's, we, we are ready to go. It's ready to go. Oh, hang on, that looks a bit dodgy. What's going on there? Ah, that's tangled. Careful here. 
We've got like a big old rig down the side here. Sorry guys, it was tangled, I didn't realise. Oh, we need that rain to stop, this is not good. The longer it keeps raining, the more risk there is it's going to stop the live seep through to the phone. Please stop raining. Please stop raining. What is going on here? What a beautiful beast of a conga. I knew they were there. Just took us a whole mackerel bait to find them. I've been going too small on the gear, that's what it is. Little size two O's and that, what was I thinking? A couple of eight O meat hooks in a mackerel and Bob's your uncle. what it's all about. Oh. oh, right, the rod's in. Let's just give it another quick wipe here. Make sure the deck is safe, no knives. Actually, let's get that knife in a sheath, actually. Right, one more quick wipe. Where I've got to sit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, Snowy Master, you're off to bed. Ma mate, take care. Thank you. Thank you. Let me see if I can just sort this out a bit. It's gone a bit skill-whiff. Can I do that? Is there any way I can just... Oh, yeah, that's better. That's it. And then if I move that to there. Thankfully, there's quite a bit of wind and it's holding the cloth. It's blowing it onto the back of the phone. There it is. Oh, guys. Whew. There you go. Thank you. He took his time. Took his time coming in. Three meters approximately, three HP. Oh, it's raining, guys. It's raining well hard. We need this. This has to stop. This has to stop. Please don't get any heavier. We can't do this out here in rain, really. It's dangerous for all the equipment. I've got a towel over the power pack and it's not getting, it doesn't feel like it's getting that wet and that cloth's all right, but we need it to stop. <laughs> Please stop raining. I broke my tackle box or it just needs to, there you go, that's it. Oh, that is some thumbnail we got there. <laughs> that, that's the thumbnail we want. Thumbnail the fun. Just been out back. It will, it's not getting any better, mate. Yeah. Is it getting worse, Gary? Is that the thing? Is it getting worse? If it don't get any better, that's not too bad, but we don't want it to get worse. Is it raining heavier where you are? Right, I'm going to tuck into a scotch egg, ladies and gentlemen. A slime covered scotch egg. Hopefully it's not getting any worse. That's our problem if it gets worse. Oh, that was a fight and a half. I can't believe the camera went over, the light went out. Oh, worst time. We had that the other day. Do you use white bait elastic? Do you use, oh, sorry, hang on. 
uh, white bait elastic to secure the cloth to the phone. Oh no, it's all right, it's okay, it's, it's stuck to it. Just an idea, we'll invest in more scales the waistling. That way you can have them in both the sib bag as well as the beach bag. Pat, but I don't think you were listening to a word I said earlier on then. <laughs> You've just repeated exactly what I said about 20 minutes ago. But thank you, either way. <laughs> yeah, I don't think Pat Bot was paying attention. It, it was heavy for a few minutes. Nothing showing on any apps either. I know that's why I came out, because it was saying no rain. What time are you open to fish till, Will? Let's have a look, what's the time now? 0014, forever, holy, forever. 32 more minutes of rain, my phone says, Roy. Right, okay. Ah, uh, Roy's got it then, Roy's got the rain. All right, well it is getting lighter. Look over the radar up here, see if you can see my headlight, Will. Ah, I think I might be able to. Have you got two red lights up behind you? Are you at the end of the pier? Shine it this way. Oh, I can see a light, I don't know if it's yours. Turn your light off a second and then back on. I don't think I can see you. Are you at the end of the pier? This is very good, but better in second position. Pictures were very good. Oh, Ridge, you've, yeah, in second position, yes. Yeah, yeah, I moved it uh, to pick, I picked it up again because I could see it was dodgy. Oh, sorry, Will, I've <laughs> been in and out, yeah. No, yeah, yeah. Good luck for the rest of the night, mate. Joe, thank you so much, thank you. There is a good amount of cloud over you, yes. Will a wee in the sea be good luck to catch fish at the end of the rain? Well, Todd, I've already done it and it seems it is. Oh, you're at the start of the pier. I can't see any light, Jack. Can't see you. Can't see you. You might be behind a boat or something. Yeah, I can't see any light, mate, if you're shining a headlight up here. No, I can't see you, mate, sorry. Ray fish in the dark, I would panic. Been watching you an hour, good catch. Thank you, Soames Robinson, thank you. Yeah, there's a lot of people that won't do what I do. There's a saying that I go by. I'm trying to remember it, I ain't said it for ages. Oh, it, was, it used to be a good saying as well. Mark Alienhead, thank you. Watch the last couple of streams that have been in the background. Mark, thank you so much indeed. LC, thank you as well. I know you did a chat, but I, I, I dare not touch the phone. Um, yeah, I used to have a really good saying. Yeah. Oh, that's a shame. Last year I used to say it all the time. It used to get people come in a lot and say, I'd never do that. God, you wouldn't see me dead out there. And there was a saying, like, some people won't do what you do and they'll never get what you get. You know, because a lot of people won't do it. And you've got to go out of your way to do stuff to get success. It's as simple as that. Oh, Elsie, was that it? Elsie, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, a lot of people see this and think I'd never do that. I'd never go out on the sea on a sib. And that's why, you know, they won't have a multi-million pound YouTube channel <laughs> at the end of the day, you know. You've got to do, you've got to take some risks and do stuff that's extraordinary or you'll always just be ordinary. If you do, there's ordinary and there's extraordinary, you know. So you can be an ordinary human being and do ordinary stuff, or you can do that little bit extra, which is what I do. And you can become extraordinary, extraordinary. Put them together, extra and ordinary, you've got extraordinary. And to become an extraordinary human being, you've got to do extraordinary stuff, like going out on the sea in the middle of the night. I'm not, I'm not advising people to do that. <laughs> but that's what I do. There's plenty of extraordinary stuff people can do to be an extraordinary human being. 
for me it's everything you see on this channel and manhandling massive congas that could bite your head off <laughs> you know what i mean fortune favors the brave rob yeah yeah that's another good saying yeah fortune favors the brave you're trying to stay awake so i can hear five watch two on the waves they'll see oh buck where's the fish you tell me buck Mo i put it straight back to you where have you been mate <laughs> where have you been you can't just rock up at this late stage and say where's the fish where i put it straight back to you where have you been if you'd have been here mate you would have seen the fish not only would you have seen the fish you would have seen an extraordinarily outstanding fish as well so i put it straight back at you but where have you been mate <laughs> where have you been you've missed it my friend you missed it nothing for him to fear out there if anything were wrong he would have 300 people ringing the coast guard yeah danny yeah and the police boats around us as well. I've got a load of safety equipment on me as well. Todd Projects, boy. thank you. Just getting home from work, Buck, yeah. Yeah, you've missed, you've missed it, mate, you've missed it. You've missed a, a very good fish. I'm still buzzing from it, you can probably tell. I will come down in a minute, guys, and stop all this silly excitement that I'm going through at the minute. I'm probably just chatting rubbish at the minute. <laughs> oh, Jack, thank you. <laughs> You'll swim over and save me. Are you actually a strong swimmer? No, Phil, I'm not a strong swimmer. I can swim, but I'm not a strong swimmer. When you go in the water, the best thing you can do is float to live. So, Phil, if you look at the, the amount of people that die on the water and look at how many people say, I don't understand it. He was a perfect swimmer. You need to conserve energy, Energy, go into an energy conserving position and float to live. Um, hyperthermia will kill you. Uh, I mean, I, I'm in my, I've got my life jacket. I, will, I can float to live and I can, I can swim, but I'm not a strong swimmer. But if I went in the sea, I wouldn't be looking to try and swim. I'd be conserving my energy, floating, calling the coast guard on my radio setting off the flares that i've got in my pocket i'd be blowing the whistle that i've got in my pocket i'd set off the plb that i've got in my pocket uh, but but ultimately i would float conserve my energy uh, when i'm swimming i can't get on the radio can't set off a flare can't blow a whistle can't set off my plb i go onto my back i float i set off all my devices and i wait for rescue the amount of strong swimmers that die at sea is unbelievable because they're swimming and <laughs> they're not setting off their gear. They're trying to swim to shore and they die in the process. <clears throat> but we only need to worry about that if we have an accident. So I don't want to get too deep into all that sort of chat now because we're not in that situation and that's what ifs and we've had loads of rows on this channel over what ifs yeah but what if you do this and what if this happens and what if that happens what if you find you have to swim and what you know it's hypothetical and we don't I don't like getting into that we just want to enjoy the fact that we're afloat and that we'll probably get back to shore afloat if anything goes wrong in between so be it but let's not let's not worry too much about that i do a radio check when i'm on the sib yes so do the popo that you see in the background yeah the popo are there they're all around us i've got a police boat 40 yards off the side of me well it's probably a bit further than that i'd say 80 yards off the side of me i've got a police boat sitting there he's right there so they're they're watching I mean, they're watching me with their eyes. He's been sitting there all night. So we've got people keeping an eye on us while we're here. What if you look into a monster fish wheel? No, Peter, shoulda, woulda, couldas. It's odd all that, how that can happen. I asked an ethical question to the member of my work team today because a huge row between opposing sides. I was gobsmacked. Is that, I know, Phil, because it, yeah, it, it's happened on here where people have done the shoulda, woulda, coulda thing I know they're good, they're good questions, but um, yeah, they're, they're sort of what ifs.
questions, they always cause rows because the answers are never set in stone and it causes opposing views because it's a what if, it's a question about something that hasn't actually happened and it can just cause rows. It's hard to explain, but they, they just cause arguments. But we don't have to worry about it. We don't have to worry, we're afloat at the moment. We're good, guys, we're good, don't worry. It's like when people ask if I've got like the, the bow lights and all that on the sib when they're watching from behind the camera. If you've got all the lights and all the safety gear, the only people that have to worry about that are me and other boats on the water. But still, you get people coming on saying, have you got this, have you got that? It doesn't matter. That only matters to other craft on the water that are coming my way. Because it's another what if question. What if a boat comes towards you? Well, we've got all the safety equipment here. But like I say, only I have to worry about that and any boat around me. But you'd be amazed how many people come on. Have you got this, have you got that? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, it's irrelevant. What is relevant is us getting the old big fish out there. <laughs> Eddie Costello Music, how you doing? Um, due to the rising water temperature, great whites, no, are and have been seen very frequent in the Solent. Cheers, Eddie, thank you. Uh, they can't be seen in the Solent because they're not a pelagic shark, so a great white will never make it here. So the only sharks we get in our waters are pelagic, and I, I don't believe a great white is a pelagic shark, so it can't deal with the temperature changes in the shifting currents like a fresher shark can, um, a tope and a poor beagle. Uh, whites are the same species but there's too much temperature difference between where they reside and here. They can't make that transition and they never will. Well I say they never will, not in, not in our lifetimes. But that's another it's another what if it's another what if <laughs> what if sharks come here what if they say oh well thank you for that <laughs> you're welcome Eddie you're welcome okay I only replied like that because people have claimed to have seen them but it's not possible we, we won't get a great white here We've had them come close in the jet, it, well, I say close, in the Gulf Stream. They tagged a female shark in Australia to watch its migratory patterns. And it came close to, to, to transitioning to the other stream that would have took us here. But the water temperature is too different to change between the two streams. It was just not possible. There will be people that swear blind they've seen them, but they haven't. They just haven't. You'd see the evidence of it. But it's just that's not going to happen. Not possible. It's a great theory and a great idea. Well, there's love in life right now. Yeah, yeah. Probably as close as you get to a, a relative of the great. Well, that's right. Yeah, they are. To give it a slow name. Yeah, yeah, the poor beagles are a member of the white shark family. Yeah. I met Eric the poor beagle Edwards. <laughs> I don't know if that's, you're having a laugh, Rids. Eric the poor beagle Edwards. Love that there's whites back in New York. Yeah. Yeah, there's whites in New York. Yep. I've seen that bloke jumping off the pier. And the fear as well, you can feel the fear. He jumps off the pier and his mates are there going, come in, come in now, come in. He's like, what's up? Like, come in, just come in. And he's in the water looking up. He's just dove off the pier and he's got a GoPro on and he puts it under the water and, and there's a white shark there and it comes right, I mean, it's gonna eat, it's gonna attack him. But he gets behind the pier post, keeps putting his head under, then above the water, under and above the woods. And you can feel the fear and he swims back to the pier and he throws up. But that is, you can feel the fear. 
in that video when he gets back on the pier and, <laughs> and then he starts having a go at his mates because his head's all over the place. Why didn't you tell me it was there? I jumped in. Why didn't you tell me? They're like, we didn't know. It must have come out once you jumped. As soon as dinner hit, hit the water, the shark must have come out from under the pier. And you can feel the fear. And I mean, it's a big shark as well, you know. Yeah, a big old shark. It's a wicked video, if you like that sort of fear video. You saw a documentary that the Mako is getting larger. Oh yeah, we get Makos here, sorry. The Mako gets larger as a species and the whites are in general afraid of them. Owing to spend the, the speed and the fact that they may attack the tail. Yeah, right, yeah. Yeah. You ain't top of the food chain in there, Dominion. No, that's right. Yeah, I can see where that would be the case with Makos and, and any shark, yeah. Even hammerheads as well, yeah, as you say, they bite the tail off. It's ho horrible the way they do it. Yeah, they bite the tail off and then you see them just attacking it, or oh. ripping them to bits. There's one that bit the tail off a barracuda and the barracuda's swimming around with no tail. The other fish are eating it, it's horrendous. I think that was a Mako, I'm not sure. Well, we, we've had Makos here. Yeah, boat engines, yeah, boat engines. Oh, is that why they do it? They mistake them for a tail, yeah. Because that's like a phenomena, isn't it? Why the sharks attack the boat engines. Is that it? They think it looks like a tail. It's like the orcas smashing off the keels of the boats at the minute and turning them over. Yeah, they're, they're attacking boats, aren't they? It's weird. Yeah. Oh, I'm starting to come down from the adrenaline of catching that fish. I think I was just on a real high there for a moment, guys. It's, it's like my chest is starting to oh, feel myself coming down from it. That was crazy. Woo. Wow. That was a good fight, that was. The electric magnetic elements of the engines, right? Only at night, Eddie. <laughs> yeah, I thought the motor thing was electric impulse from the engines, right? Yeah, possibly then. Yes, Phil. Well, watch out for the giant octopus. No, it's funny you say that. I was watching a video today, but oh, oh, yeah, that reminds me. I watched a video, Boris the Spider. Someone sent me a video called Boris the Spider. I watched it. Sorry, that was just a random thing. I didn't realise it was actually about Boris the Spider. I thought it was a take on the Prime Minister, ex Prime Minister. But yeah, uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I watched a video today. The bloke was sort of man handling a, a Pacific octopus in a tank. And it was friendly and curious. It was in an aquarium. And he's got his arms in there with it and that. And it was strong. Oh, you sent it, Phil. Oh, the Who sung it. Ah, oh, you could rework as Boris the Dogfish, right? You are safe with fart box powered by a rubber band. <laughs> That's it, Andy. Yeah, that song really reminded me of the old Cream, the, the band Cream, when Eric Clapton was play, playing with them. There's a song that Cream done, and that really reminded me of it. Yeah. I imagine it was from the same sort of era because it was really that similar. Yes, definitely similarities. It was that sort of similar guitar work. It sounded a bit sort of early Clapton sort of thing. When he was in Cream. Yeah, nearly low tide, low tide in an hour. So we've caught that conger when he's pushing up a slowing tide. Slowing towards the low. That rain's still coming down. I think that cloth's doing a good job of protecting the phone though. I don't think we'll have to wring it out. <laughs> 
If we have to wring that cloth out any time, we're in big trouble. If the water gets through the cloth and onto the phone. Let's see if we've still got control of the screen. Uh, yeah, right, we're okay. Can we hear the engine idle? Yeah, man. Is that because you want to see if a great white shark's going to come up and attack it? How could you? That's a cheeky way to get it done, isn't it? Can we listen to that engine idle in again, Will? <laughs> Do you want to just turn that engine on for five minutes, mate? <laughs> So we can test that white shark theory. <laughs> Leah, let's do it, let's do it. Let's get that engine on. Come on. I ain't afraid of no shark. <laughs> right, we're gonna idle the engine for a moment, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna billy idle it. I might be running low on fuel. Yeah, I might need to top up before we go. Let me just have a look in there. Oh, blimey, yeah. Let me just get a bit more fuel in there, guys. We got tons with us, and then I'll idle it over again, guys. I brought loads of fuel with us today. Overkill. Just to make sure we were good. great that we can idle the engine. I love it, it sounds beautiful. Right, there we go. Plenty of fuel in there now, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, absolutely magic. I've received a message, I can't open it or it'll end the live. And my hands are wet, so I can't touch my other phone. I am sorry. Hopefully it's nothing. Hopefully it can wait till I get back to land. Sorry. If I try to do anything with that, it's going to be dodgy. Sorry, being quiet, I got a migraine. Oh no, Tess. Just nice chilling here, that's all right. Mechanically rubby dubby, this could be fun. Speaking of songs, you must love the water boys. I wish I was a fisherman. I haven't heard that. Please don't send it to me. <laughs> Please don't send me loads of songs. I ain't got time to watch them. I'd love to, but I just, well, when we finish here, I'm gonna have loads. I'm gonna have to break all this down, then do the edits. It's gonna take me forever. <laughs> well, I'm sure it's a banging tune. Oh no, that has to stay there. The 
rain stopping. Oh well, not quite, I thought it was. Uh, man, it's a fantastic tune. Oh, wicked. I'm sure it's absolutely beautiful. When we're on the beach, I'll be able to have a listen to it. But after this, these boat lives create an awful lot to do. That is proper ticking, isn't it? Humor me, folks. Does anyone else know? Do you fly fish? No, I don't, Eddie. No. No. Lands in a bit of memories. Someone knows it there. Different problems, one. Yeah, I'm not sure I can handle this. <laughs> I'll see. In a good way, though, is it? It's in a good way for you. I love that rumble. <laughs> but the engine's designed to cut out when the handle's down. So if you drop it, it falls right down and cuts the engine off. That was originally in the design. I don't know if it'll work too much for it. Yeah. Oh, nearly. Yeah, so when you drop the handle, this handle's up quite tight. You shouldn't be able to leave them up like that. So they're designed for if you drop the handle, the engine cuts out. But he's tightened this up so that doesn't happen. So it can be idled at a lower rev. Yeah, if you push that handle down, the engine will stop. It's like a safety cut-off thing. I guess so if you go in the water and the handle's dropped, it turns the engine off. They're all designed like that. I just want to see you powering through the solar. <laughs> LC, it's a bit of an anti-climax, mate. <laughs> it's not that fast. But it's okay, it's good fun. <laughs> It'll get us there, just a little bit slowly. Is that gonna cut off there? That light's playing up in here. That wind's picking up a bit. Let's have a look at the time. Rain slowing down. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll give it till half one and then we'll head back. Oh, Phil's waiting for the McDonald's to arrive. Nice. If you listen really carefully, it sounds like a drag car on the start line. Yeah. Yeah. You have to flush the salt out after use like a jet ski. It helps, Reese. It does help if you do that. Yeah, I mean, I won't be able to do it because I haven't got the facilities to do it when we get back to shore. But of course, it'll always help to do that with an engine. Hang on, our light's playing up here. Is that because it's loose? Or because the battery's dying? If I can't get that to sort out, we might have to start heading back. Yeah, the, back, the light's going on the way out. Uh, that is a sign that the battery's running low. Yeah, all right. Uh, which, so I should have brought a spare battery. And that's a lesson for next time. Let's just make sure. Yeah, the battery's on its way out. Right, guys, we're going to start packing up now. The battery's starting to go. So we'll bring this in. We've had a good session. Next time we come out, I'll bring the spare battery. Because that one's dying. 
because we're running the phone and the light on all night, so it's running out. I'll, next time we come, I'll bring the the big seven amp, uh, the big twenty amp, and uh, the little seven amp, and that'll give us power for the rest of the night. But the the light's starting to flash out now, and so we need to start heading in. We don't want to run that battery right down, or it won't charge. But we've done all right, guys. I and mean, we've still got well over an hour of packing up to do. And we might make it back into the, into the pontoon if we leave now. So we're going to start a wrap up, guys. We came, we saw, and we conquered, ladies and gentlemen. We came for the big time, we caught the big time. Very pleased. There's bigger in there as well, guys. That's the scary thing. Yeah, I mean, the size of the conga you can catch. Pontoon was good before I headed home. So a fair amount of water left there, Jack, thank you. Oh, you're not staying there. I was gonna pop on the way through. Give you a wave on the way past. If you want to get down, down on the ground, bow, 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 bow. When your day is done and you want to unwind, bow, 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 bow. She don't lie, she don't lie, she don't lie. Bow, 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 bow. Right, we're going to start editing, guys. That cloth's not going to stay on the front of that when we motor in, but it's not really raining too bad, so we should be all right. Thank you. Safe home, Eddie. And if you don't mind me being cheeky, oh, God, no. <laughs> yeah, have a great sea fishing song. Oh, we're tuning in again. Oh, have a great sea fishing song. Oh, we're tuning in again. You're great, Craig. Eddie, thank you. A great crack. Thank you. Oh, I think you've done a bit more than all right. So long as you guys have enjoyed it, I'm looking at 529 likes on the screen and that suggests to me that you guys have had fun. Oh, what's that? One last critter, ladies and gentlemen. He's hanging on for dear life. He's not hooked. He just doesn't want to let go. <laughs> there he goes. One for luck, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get him back in. <laughs> One last critter before we go. It's been sensational. Ah, oh, you've done excellent, guys. Wicked, wicked. There'll be there'll be more of this. We'll be coming out for those big congas. This is what I say about the bait running down a bit more when we're out here because we're chucking big whole baits. We chuck that old mackerel in, bang. The best bait we can chuck out here are joeys. So the next time I'm in the bait shop, I'm getting joeys. A, one, a single little joey would have done the same job. So we don't want to chuck all our big mackerel away because we want them for when the bass come in and we're on the Solent in late September. Mind you, we'll have had a load of, we'll have filled the freezer again by then. With actual mackerel that we catch. Yeah, wicked guys, I'm well chuffed. I'm well chuffed. Of course I'm well chuffed that I caught a beautiful big conga as well. I love them, I love them. Those congas, they do me. What's the what the fudge is a joey. Phil, a joey mackerel is one of the best baits you can use for big conger eels and big bass. So it's a baby mackerel. Let's uh, do the conga. Oh, guys, yeah. Oh, what a night. So this, obviously this is a small mack, a big mackerel, an adult. A jo you can buy joey mackerels. They're baby mackerel and you get like four or five in a packet. So a, a deadly bait, a deadly bait for bass. Conger eels, you've seen the result tonight on a whole 
big mackerel. Joey mackerel, bite size, they whip them up. Yeah, can't beat the Joey mackerel for a bit of conga fishing, ladies and gentlemen. Right, the rain has stopped. The rain has stopped, I can move that off of you guys. Oh, what a session. <laughs> yes. We're back on the sim. It's that time of year, ladies and gentlemen. And we're well early in the session, in the season, to be getting into these big old congas as well. When we get out on the solar, we'll be smashing some proper beastie congas. I mean, there's big ones to be had here. I just need to wipe this off a bit. It's covered in conga slime. I do love this harbour for the congas and the bream. You get some beautiful bream out of here when they're in. That'll be fun as well because we can have two conga rods out while we're whipping bream up, you know, at the right time of year. Plus, like say, still a little bit early for all that. But... Oh, what a fight that conga gave. Sorry, I'm spitting. What a what a that conga gave us. Yeah, that light's on its way out. That's a shame. No. Oh, absolutely fantastic. As soon as I got it to here, and I thought, you know, you know you've got a big fish in when it gets below you and you're pulling the line straight up because the fish is stuck to the floor. You know, the weight of it on the floor, I, I dragged it all the way in and then I tried to lift it. The rod starts bending and you realise that fish ain't coming up. The closer it gets, the more weight it accumulates and then you realise suddenly at the end of it, it's a big beast of a fish. It was beautiful when he came up to the top and saw me and then bang, the explosive power. I, I just love congrills, I just love them. Absolutely fantastic. Right, enough of that, I'm just buzzing, buzzing, ladies and gentlemen. Right, let's turn that light out, save the battery a bit. Right, I'm gonna turn you round in a minute, guys. No, Phil, I don't fish for ling. No, I don't, we don't really get them here. Well, you get them out in the English Channel, but I'll never be able to fish for a ling. Not on this. Thank you, Jack, thank you. How many times a week do I normally go live? I try and go live at least three times a week, Danny. If I had it my way, I'd be live every day. But sometimes circumstances mean we can't go live every day. give the old popo a wave. Right guys, I'm gonna turn you round the other way so I can get the light on, because at the moment I need to get a light on at the front there. So I'm just gonna turn you round and put the light on here. See if that works, yeah it does. Yeah, right, so you can see that what I've done with the buoy here. Right, ladies and gentlemen. We'll take a nice little slow mosey back in. God, that engine is faultless. Absolutely beautiful idling. That's great. 
Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm making a mistake here. Let me show you what I just did there, guys, and it's a mistake you never want to make that I nearly just made. Let's just straighten out a minute, right? So what I did, very important this. See, I've got two ropes to the buoy. This one in my hand, which I tied to the side of the sib. Then what I do is I pull this one towards us to get the buoy, but then what it's doing, the other line goes slack under the sib, straight into the prop, bang, rips the transom off. So bring, I'm gonna bring us round to the side of that rope and then grab it and bring it up. You've got to be very careful with this. And then once the rope's in the bucket, you've got to tie it off so it doesn't go under the sieve when you're motoring along. Right, my friends, we are ready. Chances of you opening faster. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, it won't go. It's not very fast, they'll see, because it's got a three-bladed prop on it. I need to get the four-blade prop so it's up to the same standard as Sparkbox. Because this engine is actually a full HP strong for power, more powerful than Sparkbox. Sparkbox was a, a a two HP, two to two and a half. This one's a three. So it has got more power, it just, it's just got a much smaller propeller on it. Right, I'm going to get a smoke ring, ladies and gentlemen, if this goes in. There we go. And we're punching the tide as well, I've just remembered. We're punching the tide, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, come on. Watch out, we don't hit seaweed. That's one thing they do not like, these seagulls. Hitting seaweeds. Come on, Bob-Bob. The second. Yeah, yeah. Deep tight, so there should still be quite a bit of water around the pond too. A little bit choppy here on the open. We don't want this. That's why we find the little bits of shelter where we haven't got any cresting, even slightly cresting waves. Oh yeah, I love that sound. Oh yeah, I love that sound. Come on, fuck box. Oh, 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 oh. 
Right, my McDonald's is here. I wish you all a good night. Sweet dreams. Adios, Phil. Phil, thank you so much, mate. You are a legend. Thank you. Thank you, Jack. Oh, wicked. Yeah, we're headed in a little bit earlier because of the battery. I'm not even going to risk running it too low because then we'll need a new battery. And we don't want that. So what I'll do next time I come out, I'll put, I'll bring the seven amp with us as well. So we got more than enough power. Tarzan. <laughs> oh, box. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we love the fire box. We love it. Go on, fire box. You can do it. <coughs> Good night, have a safe trip. Richard, thank you so much. Putting your boat in the water and doing a little fishing around the shipwrecks. Ah, oh, nice. That's proper, proper boat fishing. Proper boat fishing. Good luck out there, Richard. It's brilliant out there at the moment. There are big fish to be found. Even, you know, in shore like we just done tonight. So off the wrecks, there'll be some beautiful beasts out there. Good luck out there, man. I know what it's like. It's lovely. We love the boat life. I love it. If you put your face really close to the screen now, it's almost like you're on the boat. Thank you, LC. Yeah, it is beautiful. It's a quality motor. Oh, we just hit some really strong current there. Oh, hang on, the windsock's come off. Big old net under there, stuck to that. You gotta be very careful here. At low tide, there's a really jagged bit of metal sticking up here. You don't want to go too close to that thing. Oh, it's me dropping the handle at the end. Oh, it's the fuel. We might be running low on fuel. Nothing wrong. I should have put more fuel in. They're pressure fed, you see, so the more fuel, the better the foot fuel flow. I only put a little bit in. I should have filled it right up before we left. But no, there's nothing wrong with it. She's all good. But like I say, compared to a modern engine, this is the problem. You know, you get one little glitch with a, with a seagull and it's like, oh, something's not right. But it's because we're, people are comparing it to a modern, fully functioning, perfect engine. You know, like a Yamaha 80 or something like that. These engines are from a different era. They're from a different era. So all the noises and that that you're hearing, where it doesn't sound healthy and you get something stuck in the prop or the water stop, this is normal for a Seagull engine. This is not a normal engine. We're dealing with an engine that's almost 50 years old from an era where they were mass produced. They're by no means perfect, but this is this is a Seagull engine. This is what you get. This is what they sound like, it's what they do. But we're so used to hearing modern engines, you know, four-stroke and two-stroke modern engines that 
you hear a little glitch in one of these and it's like, oh, so it's wrong, but it's not. It's just, that's the sea coal. That's what they do. They're by no means perfect, but the nostalgia is beautiful. I love them. And they're simple. Simple engine, simple but effective. She sounds mint, like music to my ears. Yeah, it's a beautiful engine. I've just lowered the throttle down a bit because, like I say, they're gravity fed the fuel. So if I put the throttle right up now, there ain't enough fuel in it to feed it efficiently, I don't think. Sounds like we need another gear though. <laughs> Yes, he's lovely. Come on, Bob, Bob. Is that the other gear? Absolutely perfect. Lovely water flow, it is absolutely pouring out of it. It is wonderful. <laughs> Come on, the food. The engine's character, that's it, the engine's character. Come on, Starbox. Come on. Come on, Starbox! You can do it, come on! Yes, lovely. I do need to get the bigger prop on it though. I can feel the difference with that pathetic little three blade it's got on there. The four blade is actually a lot bigger. The three blade is really small. It looks like it should be on a 40 minus. They probably put a 40 minus free break prop on this 40 plus. I'm going to get the four blade 40 plus engine uh, prop for it. It definitely gives you the extra bit of hook having the extra paddle on the blade on the prop. But I've got to be careful we're not going into too shallow water here. Let me turn this out into the channel. or avoid any seaweed. You'll be bombing around the harbour. Yeah, that's it, yeah. Yeah, man. Bombing it around there. <laughs> On the plane and everything. Be awesome. <laughs> I do need to, I definitely need to get another sling though. Spare sling for this pack here. So I do need to make a visit to Last Car Saloon. New sling and a new set of scales to keep on the boat or in the bucket. Otherwise, it's too much to remember, you know. Move it all from the beach gear to the boat gear, and then when I move it back, I'll just end up forgetting. And then we'll catch a big fish from the beach and won't have a sling and that, you know, to weigh it. So I definitely need to get another set. Yeah, this little engine's doing the job. Very pleased with it, it's lovely. I mean, it's really faultless. It's doing everything it needs to do. Pushing us forward. <laughs> Against the really strong. Well, it's not really strong tire, it's just a neat. But it does seem to be flowing quite fast the other way. You can see all the boats are pointing with their backs out to harbour where the tides push and we're punching the wind as well. So I'm quite pleased with it, it's lovely. If you haven't already, maybe you can put that 20 quid I dropped in towards the sling and scales and of course spend it how you wish. No Jack, I brought a load of bait with that mate. I've already been in there. Yeah, the squid we're using here tonight, I used that 
so thank you for that, mate. Yeah, I went in there, I brought... Oh, no. Is that... No, that's one. I've got a load... Of... Oh, no, I've got the sand eels. I brought two bait elastics, a load of sand eels, and a load of pilchards. Oh, yeah, and a packet of prawns. And we used a pack of the sand eels yesterday and a pack of the, and the, the prawn. So I've still got some sand eel left. So I've used the prawns. We've used a pack of the pilchards here. Sorry, not sorry, it's pilchards. So yeah, that, thank you. That went to great use. Yeah, we've been using that yesterday and today, that bait. It took me a while to get into JJ's to, to pick it up. But thank you. Yeah, I went in there. He always does a good deal on it, you know, get a packet, he does a he does a little sort of deal for you on 20 quid's worth. You know, he's brilliant. It's not dropped to me, Danny, no, it's beautiful. It's really doing well. Just gotta be careful, we're in shallow here. Watch out the prop don't start striking the bottom. Yeah, it's doing really well, I'm really pleased with it. It's getting us there. We've just come out into the open, so the wind's hitting us hard from the side. Still pouring water out, and we haven't run out of fuel yet. We're doing all right. I think we're going to make it, ladies and gentlemen. I think we're going to make it. Please don't run out right here. That would be unfair. We're right there. Oh, there's loads of water. So what I'll do, I'll cut the engine out and start rowing in a minute. Oh, it's quite deep down there, actually. We might actually make it right back to the pontoon here. There's actually loads of water. Sorry, you might make it back to the slipway. See, that's why when I saw that tide was a 2.0, I knew tonight was a night. Everything's been perfect. If we can get back on that slipway, then this has been absolutely spot on. We have done far better than I could have imagined. I'm going to have to row it in a minute. We're going to strike the bottom. See how close we can get. We should start seeing seaweed here shortly. Oh yeah, the phone battery's just started dying as well, so we're losing the power on the line. I uh, hope we can actually get right on the slip. That would just be unreal. I need to put the feet, the uh, wheels down. Right, there's our first bit of seaweed. It's still quite deep. I think we're going to make it back. Right, it's time to cut it. Oh, we're on the mud. We've hit the mud. We've hit the mud. Yeah, we're in the mud. Oh, I'm going to have to clean the blade off and everything from that one. Filthy now. Well, I just need to put the wheels down. Oh, we're sitting on the mud, aren't we? Oh, hang on, I'm not going to be able to put the wheels down. How far are we away? Oh, I don't know if we're going to make it. Hang on. Let's try and row us in. Wow, that water is crystal clear. Oh, the slipway's just there, just under water at the end there. Oh, if we could just get over to it. I can't put the wheels down, the water's too shallow. It is well shallow. But if we could just get over there, please. I've got my wellies on. If I can get my feet touched down on gravel. Oh, there's the little bit of channel. Oh, come on, we're gonna be so close to beach in here. Right, there's the channel. If I turn it that way, I can just drag it over there. We've done it, we've done it. We've done it. That's it, right, let me see if I can get out. Yeah, we're good. Sweet, right, I just need to put the wheels down. Actually, before I do that, I need to move all this because when I lift the front up, all that will hit the floor. So, battery off. There with us guys. Oh, this saves us so much grief. Just being on the platform here, on the slipway, we're right at the bottom of it. 
Right, I'm just going to wipe the prop off. It's covered in mud. Fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Right, that's it. Right, just get the wheels down. Oh God, the paddles are covered in mud as well. In. Right, is that in? That's it. Well, I got given a really handy bit of kit. This. For the sib. And I'll show you what that does. Hopefully you won't fall over it. So you clip that on underneath there. And then drag it in. Ugh. Like so. Right, I'm just going to put this up here and then move the camera, move you lot over there so you can see. Right guys, there's not a lot of power left in the phone. It might die. If it does before the live end, before I get a chance to say goodbye, I'm sorry. I'm gonna plug you back in, but the battery's all running real low. I'm running out. We've made it back to land. And now the work begins to break it down. Right, let's get that on there, see what it says. 86% battery. I can hardly see any light there. I'll just drag the sib to there. Let's see if we can get it in the light.
Oh, you can just about see it. Right, I've got to go and get some water, guys. I'll be back in a second. Two seconds over there for it. Oh, it punched a hole in the bucket. <laughs> there goes all the water in the broken bucket. Fantastic, there you go.
just going to try and run it into some fresh water, but it's punching a hole in the bucket. <laughs> Oh well, every day's a school day. Every day's a school day. I only just brought that bucket the other day. Right, I'll just see if this one works. I can't clean the sieve properly guys, I haven't got a bucket with that hole in. So I'll empty the sieve out and then I'll have to end the live because I'm going to have to take it to the hose to clean it. And uh, that'd be a nightmare doing it live. So I'll just um, get everything off it and then say goodnight because the battery's dying anyway. I was going to run the engine into a bucket, but 
but it just punched a hole straight in the bottom of the bucket. Been a great life though. Proper koala tea. It's going to be proper hard work now. Got to drag it all the way over there. Chuck this in the bin, guys. Ooh. Well, guys, you are legends. I'm so put a bag in the bucket. That's an idea. No, I ain't got a bag. I haven't got a bag. Hold up though, that is a good idea. I've got this bit of thing here, will that work? That is a really good idea, hang on. I've got this bag here. Don't know if it's got holes in though. What would I do without you lot? That's a great idea even if it doesn't work, but I'll give it a go.
Hey, put a bag in the bucket. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Sweet. Right, I'll be back in a sec. Let me just reverse the car up. That was genius. Put a bag in the bucket. Peter Hayes. Very good. Work smarter, not harder. <laughs> Turn it in, man. Come on. Right. I'll tell you what worked too smart. I left my windows open on the car. It hasn't been robbed, but it's soaked. <laughs> yeah, wicked. I'll tell you what, that, that has actually saved the day. Like proper. We was going home then, I was ending the live. But not now. <laughs> Quality. Yeah, I brought, I brought a um, bag to cover my seat because I spilt a litre of water on the car seat. So that, I had it in my pocket so I could put it on the seat and it's actually still a good bag. It maintains its integrity. Oh, this is going to be tricky now, isn't it? Oh no. There we go, sweet. Right, that's it, we can we can clean the sib. Sweet. Oh, it ain't half warm. Right, just got to put some rubbish in the bin. You know what, I wonder if that bag in the bin would work for this one. Oh, I don't know. I want to run some fresh through the engine, but... I don't know, it's a bit late. I don't want to upset the locals. I'll leave it.
Yeah, it will start upsetting people if I start making loads of noise at this time of night. Right, I've just got to do a little tidy up here. Do all the little bits. Oh, what a session, guys. It's just like, you know, when we had that 21 pound conga, we had one other fish that night, a dogfish. And then tonight we had one little strap con grill and then that beast of a conga. I love it when it's like that because it just confirms you just never know. It can be real quiet and then whack out of nowhere you've got a beautiful beast of a fish on the rod and that was that was just beautiful beautiful tonight that classic you know that shows that it's well worth just biding the time even when it's quiet you know never lose hope when those baits are in the water anything can happen i mean i was close to losing hope i was almost nodding off a bit because those waves were beautiful and it was quiet we'd had no a proper adrenaline bites and i was like oh dear and then it slowly just picked up and started dragging and i thought hang on are we dragging when you lift into a rod when it's tied and you hold it you can stop it dragging you lift into the rod and it stops dragging but when i lifted into that rod it kept going there was there was there was something pulling it at the other end beautiful beautiful right i've got a new petrol can here so i always empty the fuel out of these because what happens when this when on a sunny day the, the tank expands and when all the seals are shut it forces the fuel out of them so i always um empty the fuel out of them every time so I don't have a nasty fuel accident like I've had before. Oh, that whole mackerel. Beautiful. Right, I'm just going to put this in the bin. a little bit of faffing about putting this all down guys I like to be a bit meticulous with it Give it a little soaking down here. It's really just internally that salt builds up. Right, the oars are covered in mud, so to save me getting all mud in there, I'm going to clean these off in the stormwater drain. I know it's not very hygienic, but it's never given me an issue. If we worry about things like that, we'll never get anything done. 
so the storm drains just if you can see it there oh yeah oh i can leave that there and you'll still see it So that's a fresh water outflow down there, ideal for cleaning all the muddy gear off so you don't get it all in the water bucket when you're cleaning your sieve. The sieve's going to be a real mess underneath the boards where we've had that big old conger eel tonight it's going to be all slime and gunk under there it's going to be a horrible clean but we like that the worse the clean the better the night we've had that is just what it is if we got all slime and gunk and that in the bottom of that sib we've had a quality night Hey, what? It's really warm. I think I need to take this jumper off. I'm burning alive. Oh. Oh. It's because we're out of the wind and I've got all this thermal gear on. Well done, Fartbox. You've done us proud, man. You've done us proud. Very pleased. It won't be long till it's beaten right up. Now that we've got it, or I've got it, you know, this is going to have a hard life with local marks fishing and be used all the time. But it's still a quality bit of kit. I need to go back to using the, the two litre bottles. They're a lot easier than this. Lovely flow. Oh, thank God, there's not a lot in there. Brilliant. We just made it back. I knew we was running low. I could hear it in the engine. Like I say, they're gravity fed. So the more fuel you got up top, the, the better the fuel consumption. Once it starts to um, splutter a bit, you know you're running low. We made it back on fumes.
Right, let's get this beautiful bit of kit away. It's done us proud. See, where I usually hold the fart box, the other one, there's no clutch bar in the way. So I've got to be careful with this one. There is a clutch bar in the way. I'll do this slightly different actually. Now, I think. Oh, it's got a different tailpipe actually. Usually, fart box is leaking all the oil out, but this one ain't. Tailpipe's different. Well, I'll just chuck this slot in the bin, guys. As I say, it's always a bit meticulous, this. Want all that stinky seaweed on it when we put it in the car. Conga slime all over it. Makes it a little bit more of a difficult clean, but it's worth the effort. Like I say, the filthier it is, the better. The better the night we've had. You get to do a proper inspection as well, of every bit meticulously. Because if something goes wrong, it could cost you your life. And when you're this close to it, cleaning it, you can hear every little bit of air coming out. I found loads of or holes. The holes I've repaired, a couple of them I found when we're doing this. Because you're close to it, you can hear it coming out. And it's nice to love your machine, you know. Get right close into it and that.
Come on, stop I'll tell you what, with that weather was perfect. We really, we had a bit of luck tonight, stroke of luck. I'll tell you what, we made it back to that slipway by the skin of our teeth. There is no water there now. Not a single drip of water there for probably 150 yards now. <laughs> we could have timed that better. Veronica! Right, let's get this into here. Jackie, chat, take care mate, alright? Take care man. Be great, have a great evening. Oh, Steve-O was there, was he? Jackie, take care mate, you're a legend. Oh, yeah, amazing on the likes, guys. Brilliant. Thank you. Makes the effort all worthwhile. Thank you. I love it. Ladies and gentlemen, I love it. Oh, that conga left us a pearl.
Not much slime on the underside of that, that's good. I might not be as bad as I thought under there. Yeah, it ain't as bad as I thought. I thought we was gonna be well gunked out with that big old beast. Not bad at all. real junk was on the surface, not the underside. The surface of the floor did seep through. It was a little bit, but not too bad. Right, these two front ones don't really need cleaning, usually. Yeah, they're all right. Little wipe along the edge there, because that's what, they're all up front, so they don't see any action. See, this is where the sieve is a, another result. So it, it took me a lifetime to catch that 21 pound conga from the beach. With this, through the summer, we'll be catching them every week. Just goes to show the difference. And, and this is where someone said, do you prefer the beach and do you prefer the sieve? In my mind, they're two completely different areas of fishing. You know, because I'm so grateful for my 21 pound fish from the beach. Amazing, and we, we celebrate it, and it's a beautiful result over the moon. But you wouldn't think so, because we catch them all the time on this. But, but it's two separate areas. You know, I mean, I love all the congas equally, but that one from the beach was outstanding. You know, they fight great from the boat, but from the beach as well. But yeah, two different areas. Two different areas of fishing for me.
you know, the fish we go for on the boat are, are so different to the ones we go for on the beach. We had a 20 from the beach. We want a 40 from the boat this year. You know, we'd never, you know, we try, for, I'd like a 30 from the beach, but a 40 from the boat's possible. And it's possible now, because the big ones are here. We just need this weather to sort itself out, just to warm up a little bit. We know we can do eight degrees with a strong westerly. So that this is really the least that I go out in temperature wise. So if we've got any eight degree strong westerlies coming up, we might be back out. I won't do it tomorrow, I'll give myself a rest. Don't want to overdo it. <laughs> Break myself back into this slowly. Work all those muscles again, putting this away that we haven't worked for a while, like the back. A nice session on the beach is good after this. Just relaxing, no heavy lifting. No. No. We've got a hole in the bag. That's it. It wasn't half as bad as I thought it was going to be in there today. I figured there'd be all slime under there and that conga threw its guts up. Which was really handy actually. Sort of bittersweet. We had a bit of a mess on the deck but it spat the hook out. Good thing it didn't do that on the way up. I'd have been gutted. we would have lost a good fish. I've been offered fishing rod holders for this, but I don't think I'm going to put them on because I won't be able to fold it up, put it away. Not properly, they'll get in the way. Unless they clamp on the back here. I quite 
quite like feeling the bite as well when the rods are on our legs you almost almost you know the big some of them big congas can give a really subtle bite and you can miss it easily so i like feeling it feeling it on the legs Beautiful, she's good to go. Boat in the back. Coming up. Oh no, that's gone wrong. <laughs> Something not right there. If that strap goes on easy, it's usually the case that that will go back in the bag easy. The nightmare is going to be trying to sort this tarp out in the wind. Beautiful. Boat in a bag, ladies and gentlemen. Boat in a bag. This is why I prefer this over a solid boat, because you've got to keep that out somewhere. Like I say, if someone decides to sabotage it, there's nothing you can do about it. But this goes in the garage. No more in fees, no anti foul. Nice and easy. Oh, cheap as chips. Well, not cheap to buy, but cheap to keep and maintain once you've got it. Right, what's going on here then? What's going on here then?
quality. Right, how are we doing for power? Very low. Right, I'm going to try and put this last bit down as quick as I can because now I've moved that, we're on just actual power. Let's give you a look at the views out there. There's not really much to see. There you go, there's a bit of light there. Sorry, guys. Let's try and get this away quickly as possible now so I can get back behind here to say goodbye before that phone dies. Oi oi Mr Beast, you alright? Sorry mate, I'm just rushing about a sec. Right, cloth's going in the bin with a bag. My fish like a hat. Don't want to lose that. Oh, I was just going to say, where's my other phone? And there it is, on the floor, with the net. Oh. 
We are nearly done. Guys, we are nearly done. Oh, I can't believe we made it back. That made life so much easier, getting in on that tide. We were cutting it fine. We wouldn't have made it back if I'd have left it to the two o'clock, I don't think. We'll walk up the end of the jetty in a minute and have a look and see if we'd have done it. Right, let's go and have a look, see if we'd have made it back in. What time is it now? 2.24, low tide. So this is when I was thinking we'd have sort of been coming back in if I hadn't noticed the batteries were dying. Let's go and have a look up the end of the pontoon. I can't quite see it from here. Just, it's just so I can gauge a 2.1 low tide for the future. Because I know it should be pretty close. It should be pretty close. Coffee time. Yeah, I'm going to end the life. I'm going to end the life and then I'm going to shoot off. It's been a long one today. What are we done? Oh, it ain't been that long. Well, six point. I'll tell you what, we will go and get a coffee. Yeah. Uh, Right, we wouldn't have made it back. I'll tell you what, we'd have been tantalizingly close though, wouldn't we? Let's have a look actually. Oh, I don't know, there's flood there. Is that flood down there? Oh yeah, there's water there. Oh, it would have been scraping the barrel. Scraping the barrel. There's, there's water there, yeah, we would have made it, yeah. So we would have made it on the 2.1 low tide. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, we were good either way then. We'd have just had to have pulled the sib up there to get in. Yeah, let's go and grab a coffee then if McDonald's is open and just have a little wind down and uh, take five over what we've managed to achieve tonight by getting that beast of a conger reel out. And I'd love to hear people's estimates on its size. So I'd so uh, it was fat. One of the fattest, chunkiest congas I've caught. I mean, it was fatter than that 21 I had, but it's hard to say the size of it, but it was a lovely, sizable beast. Most pleased. But we'll go and grab a coffee if McDonald's is open. We'll go and have a look. You missed it, you've been asleep. <laughs> Don't worry, mate, that's why we record it. So you do not miss a thing. And even when I dream of you, the sweetest dreams would never do. I still miss you, fish. And I don't want to miss a thing. I don't want to miss one smile. I don't want to miss one kiss I just want to be with you Right here with you Just like this Right, I just got to kill the Oh, I've got the windsock here That has to go back in the power pack That's why I put two in Oh, what am I doing? If I hit the reverse, yeah Right, hang on uh... oh, Right, bear with us a bear with, a bear with. Is that gonna go? Oh, don't play up now. Is that seat really far forward? Is that what it is? I think it is. Yeah. There you go. Can't start the engine yet because we're on a proper tilt. And this car does not like proper tilts.
Right, we'll go and grab a coffee, have a little chat and a wind down. Reminisce over the most incredible stuff that just happened. And then we'll shoot off. 38% in the battery. We only just made it back. I left my right hand side window wide open. Wide open. All night. And I got, I got back and it was the rain's come in and out. I'm sitting in a wet seat. But I've had to use my bag to clean the sip. I need to get a new bucket, so I left to Blimey, I'm well low on fuel. Oh yeah, I was close to We didn't top up yesterday, did we? I just went straight home. Oh uh, uh, I'm gonna have to top up. Otherwise I'll forget tomorrow and then that's game over. We will run out. In fact, that's dangerously low. So I'm going to have to get some fuel later today. That's because I was so keen to get in and we broke down yesterday and I rushed. Oh no, it was the day before I was supposed to top up. Well, we was coming back from a long old trip. And then I was like, oh, I'll do it tomorrow, you know, food priority. And then that led us to yesterday and I forgot to do it yesterday. I've just looked down and I'm nearly out of fuel. <laughs> so I better do it tonight or I'll... I'll forget, I'll forget again and run out tomorrow and we'll be bang in trouble. See, the times I get up to go out and fish, it's usually rush hour, so I just beat it through the track, it, traffic to the beach and set up. But it means the petrol pumps are just rammed with people filling up after work and that. So I, uh, now's the best time for me to top up a sort of fuel, fuel, fuel. Fuel, fuel. I tell you what, for a, for a seven hour session, that was really good. Usually we have to put in mega hours on the sib to find them fish. You know, oh mind you, no, no, yeah, no, that was a good session. Usually we're hitting 12 hours on the old sib. <laughs> mind you, that is in summer. When we go out when it's daylight and we come back when it's daylight, <laughs> we hit the afternoon mackerel and then we use them through the night to catch all the beasts. And then we've run out in the morning, so we have to catch a load of mackerel in the morning to replenish what we use through the night. Quality fishing in the summer. It's going to be wicked, man. Getting into the bream and the mackerel and that. You know, touch wood. It all goes well and we make it to summer. You just never know, can't take life for granted, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely fantastic. The boys of summer have gone. Tooth seems to be healing up quite nicely. Until the boys of summer have gone. Oh, 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 oh. oh, McDonald's is open and it's well busy for 3 a.m. What's going on? I want to think it was Saturday night. Saturday, 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 Saturday. Saturday, 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 Saturday nights, all right. Oh, wow. Oh, what's that? Quarter pound of deluxe, that looks all right. Take out the tomatoes. Chicken Big Mac, oh, they've changed the menu. How are you doing today? No, not today. What can I get for you? Have you got the quarter pound of deluxe? We do. Can I get that as a meal? But would you mind taking the tomatoes out of it? Uh, yeah, is that medium or large meal? Large, please. Did you say double, sorry, I'll think of four. Uh, double, please. Good, no tomato. And a drink with that? Yeah, white coffee, please. White coffee, no coffee. Anything else for you? No, that's it, cheers. Well, I've got 80 to 9 please. Thank you. Thank you. That's one of my two meals a day. Breakfast in the morning. Well, breakfast when I wake up and 
McDonald's when I go to bed. <laughs> and whatever I eat. Oh, and a meal deal. Three meals a day. Simple life, ladies and gentlemen. Don't want to make it too complicated. Just enough to maintain walking energy will do. Hiya. 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 Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Jesus. Wow. Her arms are massive. Christ alive. What was that? She was solid. Jesus, I've never seen arms like that. Like, like, no, I'm just going to stop right there. Yeah, very well built, that one. Christ alive, she must work out. That was crazy. Like five times the size of mine. She must do some sort of sport or something. Absolutely incredible, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I think they've done away with that chicken select meal, you know. I didn't see it on the menu there. It might have been there. I just saw that double burger jobby. But, um, you need to work out more, Will. I, would, I could never be the size of her. Ever. No, I just know it. Well, there's no, I can work out for the rest of my life and have arms like that. Like, seriously. That woman has the, the biggest arms I've ever seen on a man. Like, seriously. Power in those arms. That was serious. She's like, seriously, honestly. It's like, like some dinosaur. I mean, it looks like solid workout, but she might just have something wrong with her arms that make them really big. That could be the case. In which case, so long as it's not uncomfortable for her, it's a bonus. But they are extraordinarily large arms. All tattoos up her as well, like proper arms. I wish I had those arms, ladies and gentlemen. I wish I had arms like that. That's that's crazy. Fair play. I'm serious hours put into arms like that. Saturday, 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 Saturday. Saturday, 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 Saturday nights. All right, yeah. Oh, wow. God, that, that conga was absolutely massive, man. Oh, mate, I can't believe I didn't have the scales. That might, I mean, that's a big conga, man. That's a big conga. That is a big conga. That, I, I should have got, I can't believe it. That looks very close to 23, if not more. Yeah, that, that was a big conga reel. The chunk of it, I mean the size of it, around its head and that was absolutely massive.
Absolutely beautiful. Oh, yeah, quality that. Very pleased. You have changing my name today as I'm doing YouTube channel, Will. What are you changing it to? What are you changing it to, mate? What are you changing? Hang on. Changing your name today? You mean you're changing the name on your YouTube channel from Mr. Beast? 1976. Because it don't look right. No, it doesn't look right. It's never looked right. You should have changed it years ago. Sexy beast. That's just... Oh. <laughs> yeah. I've taken the slow mode down to 10 seconds. So you don't have to wait for ages to reply. Yeah, that, I've always called you Mr. Beast because it just don't sound right saying calling a man the sexy beast. I don't know for why, for me, it just seems odd. <laughs> it's Mr. Sexy Beast. And I don't know if YouTube algorithm would like it, so I try not to say it. They get funny over the word fart. If you write fart box in a title of your YouTube channel, you get a restriction on it. So I have to abbreviate it when I put it in there. You get a monetization warning. So you've got to be careful what you do and say. The AI don't like it, it picks up on it. So yeah, I'd definitely change the name. Well, YouTube probably won't let you put out too much content with that name. They are funny, or you'll be restricted. It will limit the adverts and that, that you, because it doesn't want to show its, you know, high-end customers particular sort of channels so you'll be limited on your adverts what are you doing fishing or have you got like a mixed bag of stuff that you're thinking of doing what are you planning what's your plan oh what's the plan man Can't wait to watch back that fight for that conga. Oh wow, I've just found a picture that looks wicked. I'm saving that. Oh, I'd love to make that the profile picture for this live feed. Let me see if I can shrink that down. Well, a massive catch. The fight was awesome, JJ. I can't wait to see it back. Honestly, I cannot wait to see it back. I'm so excited. Oh, wow, that is a wicked photo I've just found of an eel. I'm going to use that as the screensaver. Oh, doing fishing. Okay. All right, wicked. I'm going to see if I can change that now. I just found a wicked... Oh no, I won't be able to do it now actually because the edit version's on that phone that you're on. I 
think. Let's have a look. Let's go into lives. Yeah, I won't be able to do it now. I could do it from that phone there, but not while we're live. Do you know, it's really annoying when it takes them forever and there's someone in front of you who's ordered truckloads. Come on, I'm actually starving. <laughs> hey, there we go. He spoketh it, and iteth was done. It just annoys me, because now I'll get there and I'll have a freezing cold coffee that's been sat on the side since they ordered. Winds me up. Oh, hang on, is that the Karen in me? I need to wind it in. Wind thy neck in. Here we go. Oh yeah. That's all I know rose. Can I get one sugar with that coffee please? Oh sorry, one sweetener, one sweetener. Lovely cheers. Thank you. Lovely cheers. And you cheers, thank you. God, they never give you a stirrer with a sweetener. I know I've got one in here, so I didn't ask, but you know, why just give someone a sweetener? And, oh, hang on, there's the Karen again. Hold up, hang on, turn it in. Turn it, why am I even complaining? I've got a stirrer. Turn it in, it's all good. Right, let's go and sit over there by the Tesla electric charge point so that I can pretend that I, driving an electric car. <laughs> Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna go over there and pretend that we're wealthy. Are you ready? Get ready, guys, we're all in it together. I think I might just go and park over here. Give people the impression that oh, we can afford an electric motor. I might just get out and take a photo of the car next to it. There we go, that would do nicely. There you go, now anyone that looks at us, Rodney, is gonna think we've, we're in the business of, uh, of electric cars. I've been waiting on a McDonald's trip. <laughs> Have you really? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They are infamous. The McDonald's, local marks McDonald's. There's half a cup of coffee. Oh well, never mind. No Karen today. No Karen today. You'd have thought they could have used, though, all of the wood that they would have put in the stirrers to build a ladder for me to get down to this coffee, actually. There you go. Oh yeah, lovely and cold. There we go. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Let's have a look at what the chips are like. Yeah. Oh, you've done it. So what is it? Am the fisherman. Am the fisherman. So is it supposed to say that? I am the fisherman. Local McDonald's mark, that's it. Local McDonald's mark. <laughs> I just want to help you out. So what you've written is am the fishing man. Yes. Okay, all right, fair enough. I'm the fisherman, there you go. You weren't meant to write, I'm the fisherman or something. I'm the fisherman. What does the am stand for? Like amberjack. Amarillo. Who's Am? I just 
just want to help you out if possible because um, starting your YouTube journey, you want to get off on the right, right sort of foot with a title that people can understand. And sort of, because um, a lot of people are going to ask you that. They're going to say who's am or what's am. So it would be good if you're able to sort of explain because you will be explaining that to quite a few people I suspect. Eon, Eon Drive, it's so close to Elon, <laughs> Elon, very good, Elon Musk, Eon, Oh, what did that say? Authenticate. Authentication. Please authenticate. What? Is that a fingerprint scanner on them things? No way. They got fingerprint scanners on them. Man, there's some crazy tech there, isn't it? Oh, card. Oh, authenticate with a card. Do you have to... Right. Oh, I see. Right. Right. Oh, okay. I was totally ignorant of that. I thought that when you brought a Tesla, you got the fuel free. You just charged it up and that didn't cost anything. Included in the price of the lifetime price of the car, but I can see you paid for the electric light fuel. Lots of electric cars around. That's a good bit of charges. Yes. Yeah. <coughs> there's there's not many electric cars around here. I've never seen one on here, but it's in a shopping complex. So in the day. I imagine you get a few lined up here. Stick it on charge, go shopping. I mean, it's slightly inconvenient, you know. If you're going to do 20 minutes shopping and you need to charge your car for an hour, you just got to take your time strolling around. Three hundred kilowatt max. I know they had a problem in America where they had a load of these. Well, there were so many electric cars that it was draining the grid, the local grid. I had to change all the power cables and that from. Couldn't cope with them. I think it was in Hollywood or something like that.
Well. Right, we just got this burger to get through, guys, and then we are done. In my area, they don't fare well in the winter. The cold kills the battery, yeah. I heard a report the other day about them, and it's saying that in the States they're struggling because they're, you know, they're crossing fast distances in these cars, and they're not, they're not built for it. <laughs> you know, their batteries ain't lasting. And as you say, in cold and snow, they're, you know, when they're stuck in a blizzard, they're running out of battery. They were sort of high, Philbert, they were highlighting that, that although there's great benefit, now they've been out for a while, they're starting to realise that there are some non-benefits. Phil, but you're raiding the bins. What are you doing? Oh, what? Look at him. I thought he was going to get in that bin. Is he going to get in the bin? Look at his fox. Is he going to get in the bin? He is. Oh, no, he's pulling something out of it. Little terror. Philip up, no. Philip up, no. <laughs> An eight for VW Rabbit. Best fuel mileage I've ever had, JJ. Nice. Look, he was almost in the bin then. Look, he's pulling all of the rubbish out. But Philip Bart, you are terrible. Philip Bart, no. Philip Bart, no. Look at him misbehave. Look, he's getting in again. Look at the way he's pulling himself up that bin. <laughs> he's in the bin, look. He's in the bin. Philly Bart, no. Oh, we found something. That was a good bit of burger he just found there. Oh, well done, Swim. Want them chips. I am the fishing man. Oh, I am the... F I am the fishing man. Right, got ya. I am the fishing man. There you go. He wants them chips, he does. And the photo of me too. And there's a photo of me too. Hey! Oh, sweet. I can't quite see it on here. He's back. Philbert likes extra pickles. <laughs> he did really well there. He pulled that bag out and something, a large bit of something fell out. Like a burger or something. He's going back in, ladies and gentlemen. Is he? He is. Maybe. He's going to lick the cheese off of that packet there. The old breakfast bagel packet. He wants my burger. He can't have my burger, unfortunately. I'm well hungry. <laughs> I'm starving. I need this burger. It's actually quite nice, this burger. Here we go. Oh, no. 
Oh, he's gone round the back to have a go. <laughs> Cheeky. Alright. He's chasing the bag that was blowing off down there. <laughs> <laughs> he must think there's food in it, he's chasing it. <laughs> the wind's blowing it away from him, bless him. <laughs> Dinner's done. Wow, what a fight we had from that conger, I'm so pleased. The best bit was when he saw me. The best bit was when he saw me, I like, literally made eye contact with him and that was it, game over. He was gone, he weren't having none of that. <laughs> it was perfect, it's beautiful. We've had a few of them that do that, they come up. I mean, the, a lot of it was the weight of him, the, the initial fight, there was a f bit of a struggle, a bit of a, head shake but when he saw me it was crazy yeah he drilled right to the bottom JJ it was amazing they do that the really big ones you know they they sort of swim towards you but and you feel like you're making ground you feel like you're getting them up through they're coming up through the water column but they're not they're just coming towards you so as the line sort of draws level underneath you you feel it, it looks like they're coming in but then all of a sudden you're winding and the tip of the rod's just going down but the fish ain't coming up and it's like hang on there's some weight here and then all of a sudden boom he started to fight a little bit on the floor and through the column I thought we got something on here and then when I saw it and he saw me oh, it was just instant recognition I knew he was a conga and he knew I was not friendly or in his perception, he's like, that is alien to me. And he was gone. He was gone. Beautiful fights. Beautiful fights. I'm not sure how far back it was. Yeah, I have, uh, I'll put a timestamp in the description of the video as soon as I get in. So people can see it immediately because I've got a bit to do so I might not be able to do a full description tonight but I'll definitely put a timestamp in there. Actually I said I was going to change the screenshot to a picture I found but I'm not actually because the screenshot of him, me holding it, is actually quite a good one. It shows the whole conga. But yeah, very, very, very happy with that result. I'm gonna go for coffee. If gone when I get back, see you on the next one. All right, mate, thank you. Yeah, we'll be gone soon. I'm just gonna drink this and, and be off. Oh, it was such a relief, such a relief. Cause you guys, I mean, we had like 400 people at one point that had been there from the start right through. And I was starting to think, Oh, we need to see a fish here now. We got a lot of hopeful folk that want to see a good fish. And then the fishing gods blessed us. Absolutely fantastic. It was an all or nothing with that mackerel. The little baits weren't working. I thought we're gonna we'll just go big. Let's just go big. Big big bait, big fish, you know it does work. You just never know. You just don't know what you won't know. You don't go, you won't know exactly, yeah. You just never know. You don't go, you don't know. At one point, I thought the conga was going to be bigger than the boat. <laughs> well, he was very long. I mean, he was well long. 
Yeah, proper long he was. But I, I was impressed by the, the girth of the thing. It was absolutely huge. Massive. Uh, the complica It wasn't too complicated getting the hook out as well, which I was quite pleased with, because one of them was quite deep, or appeared to be, and then he spat his gut up and it came out. That was a relief, because you know, you don't want to be round the business end of them conger eels really, with your fingers and that, it's very, very risky. Very risky, so I was very pleased when he spat the hook. Great conga, love it, Scorby Ken, you legend, you're still there man, wicked, fun, 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 oh great to see you there, I'd have thought you might have been in bed, oh I always imagine there are quite a few of the folk are in bed by now, but oh great that you're still there and enjoying it, it's great, right guys, we better start wrapping up though, um, you know, as much as, as great as it is in your company, I've got a few bits to do, oh, oh hang on, my fuel gauge has gone up, oh it must have been because I sat on the hill, at that angle on the hill. The fuel's gone up. Oh, that's all right. Oh, I thought I was in loads of trouble with my fuel then. It's gone back up. It's all right. It's because we were sat on the hill, the slipway pointing up. That's what I was saying about the dodgy motor when we're up on a hill. Can't start it when we're on a hill because it can drain the fuel out and we get stuck. But lovely ladies and gentlemen, I'll tell you what guys, in five seconds, I think we'll shut this down. I'm going to go and jump in the shower and then get off home. Um, get the screenshot done of this video, get the timestamp in the description so people can see the epic battle that we had. I can't wait to see it back because it's all just a blur to me now. I mean, it, when, when you're partaking in it, you know, but I can't wait to see it back and see what you saw. The camera went over though and the light went out. That was horrendous. So I just want to watch back and make sure you could see enough of the fight. Hopefully the bend in the rod that it was putting in there. In four seconds, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to shut this down. And vacate this beautiful evening that has been good to us ladies and gentlemen there's the popo probably wondering why there's a petrol car sat at the electric pumps <laughs> oh scorby ken turn it in <laughs> oh mate you're a legend i think i've got veronica here i look oh no i put it back in didn't i yeah because we haven't put the pack away oh scorby ken i'm so sorry i haven't got anything Scorby Ken, thank you so much, mate. You absolute legend. Thank you. Absolutely amazing, guys. It just adds to what has already been an absolutely outstanding evening and helps towards us getting these quality evenings done again. Oh, sorry, we buffered. It helps towards us getting these quality evenings done and we will do it again. So I'll keep an eye on the weather, see what we can do. As I say, we'll have a night off on the beach so my back can just recover a little bit because I never know what it's going to be like physically the next day and I had to lift the whole sib up and pull it up that slipway early, <coughs> earlier so that might be an issue in the morning but we'll see. Scorby Ken thank you so much. We are, uh, well, yeah I'm on tomorrow JJ but we won't be on the sib. We won't be on the sib but we will be out Oh, no, we are better go while looking to the car park is the pole pole. We're looking at the car and I don't know what fault. <laughs> Come on, everybody, now we are better go with the... Oh, no, we are better go while looking to the car park is the pole pole. Thank you, Scott Weekend, amazing. Thank you, everyone, just incredible. What, what incredible um, sessions we're having. I mean, we're getting into the fish as well, which is great. We've got a few little select marks where we find them, but they're almost always there. JJ, thank you so much. Thank you. Amazing, guys. Thank you. They're coming for me and Phil, but making a mess. Yeah. Yeah, can you imagine that? They pull up and do me for littering. <laughs> Look at all this mess around your car. What's with me, officer? Three seconds, guys. We're going to shut this down. And I'm going to have a look at that footage before I go. Lost the tooth. Got a conga. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, we got a conga with big old teeth in it. So... 
<laughs> absolute quality thank you guys in two seconds we'll get this down I'm gonna get off I'm gonna go and jump in the shower and then uh, go and get the video done uh, my name's better is it will yeah um, you, you've what you want to do where it says I am the fisherman 1976 I mean it's unique to you because I know that's how you would do it but if you want to do it in a different way there's a space between the I and the A at the beginning of, of the sentence so where it says I am you've done it as one word but the, the actual correct grammar is there should be a space between the I and the A and the A you've got as a capital letter. So you want to put a space between the I and the A, so it says I am, and then the, the A, um, let's have a look, not as a capital. So a small A and a space between the I and the A. And then you'll have it right there. And then, you know, if you want to put a space between 19, Seven, uh, the end of Fisherman in 1976, that's up to you. But yeah, the, the right way is, you know, it'll just stop people ridiculing you, you know. Because, you know, the time on the internet, where especially when you start a channel, it's going to test you. And the people are going to test you. Uh, and you're going to get trolls. And they will, they'll use anything they can on you. You know, and so you want to try and maybe not give them any ammo. But right, we're going to have to shoot off, guys. We're going to have to shoot off in one second. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to shoot off. We're going to vanish. Vamoosh. We're going to head out and see what we can find. Can't change it for 14 days. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. All right, well when the time's up and you've got to change it, ask me again and I'll, I'll say the same thing again, just in case you go to change it and you've forgotten a bit and you, and you don't get it right and then you've got to wait another 14 days. So when your 14 days is up, give us a shout and, and I'll talk you through it. All right, guys, you're welcome, you're welcome. Scott Ken, the legend, I am the Fisherman, 1976, outstanding. Ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the conclusion of a fantastic live feed. Guy, so could have been one fish, one tiny conger eel with their own time. Ah, oh, the difference between a fantastic session and a very poor one is one fish. We caught that one fish today, ladies and gentlemen, to change the game. Beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to shut this down and watch back that catch before I go. Guys, thank you so much for your time, your patience. You know, because could, people could have easily got bored on that, you know, and been like, oh, there's not a lot happening here, but you guys know the score. You're stuck around. We was all rewarded with a beautiful big fish. Guys, I'll see you on the next Local Marts Fishing Live show. Be there or risk being square. All right, I'll see you on the next one. Good night, guys. Be safe and thank you so much. Take care, guys. All right, bye for now. See you on the next one.